All right, stream started. Uh, let me refresh Twitch. I should be able to see it. Because... Yeah, Dragon Code Zero. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, it's set yep. to Guilty Gear Strive. How do I change that? Uh, it's in the settings somewhere. Yeah. I assure you, I am very knowledgeable of streaming. Uh, I know how to start off OBS. Uh, sounds good to me. Yeah. Well, let's uh, change scenes to the live chat reaction. Oh no. Oh, wait, you're not here. Let me just add you real quick. I have disappeared. Oh no. The enemy saw John altered, and uh, <laughs> I no longer exist. Rip. That should be... Whoa. Yeah. Do you see that, that circle there on the stream? That's me. Whoa, there you go. We are. have the highest production quality. Real. Bum, 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 casters. There you are. Yep. Oh, now I'm actually properly behind the table as well. I'm watching the stream at the same time. Whoa, we're behind it. Oh, there table. we go. And I can see there are people in chat being active. And there's a chat. And we have all of our players already. Are they setting anything up? Yeah, the budget went from uh, five cents to three dollars because I paid for my Red Bull. I have no Red Bull. Well, neither do I. I lied. We're still on a five cent budget. Damn. If only we got a Red Bull sponsor. Yeah, so I'm gonna fall asleep midstream, but don't worry, it's just gonna improve the quality of the commentation. Yo. Commentary. Sleeping stream? Sleeping stream. Let's go. Now, uh, let me check. Man, dealing with uh, full screen shenanigans is gonna be a bit of a pain. Don't worry. Uh, we're, we're doing an Overwatch tournament. Everyone is in pain. We're Fair sharing enough. it equally. Real. So, it seems like both the teams are ready. So, we can start off at any point. Nice. We have our two teams here. The... Oh, they didn't put the team names in. This is so sad. Uh, the teams are the Bold Raccoons and Sen World. Sounds like some these are awesome some of the names. teams. Some of the teams, maybe ever. Sen World was uh, made up of solo signups, with oh. uh, varying degrees of skill. What we need to look out there is um, one of the supports is actually good at the game. No way. I, I heard. One of us good at the game. Possibly. Uh, meanwhile, the Bold Raccoons have uh, uh, moved their Diamond support player onto DPS <laughs> because th they believe he can pop off there. And totally not because they had trouble finding a, a substitute. Um, yep. Real. This is live footage of the real cool people that are good at the game. Look, it's a yep. Dragoon with a gun. Isn't that cool? Anyway. And dragoons do indeed tend to carry guns. Yeah. Uh, especially wingmen. Damn FPS addicts. 
Okay, uh, apparently <laughs> one of the people had uh, some computer problems, oh. so we'll be delaying the game for a little bit. Feels Instead, bad. you have to listen to me talk. I don't know if that's an upgrade or a downgrade, so, you know. What did I just select and what am I moving? <laughs> oh. You're moving the audience's hearts. Yeah. Thanks. I Oh, I'm grabbing <laughs> the whole image folder. That's awesome. You see, we are a Niji Ian cord, so you know, we're getting our small share of the Ian curse. Yeah. Here's a, oh, that's an upside down gun dragoon. And that's a spinning gun dragoon. It's been Let's have it commentate. It's with basically us. doing Reaper's Ultimate. This is the Death Blossom Dragoon. <laughs> oh, that's that's quite a thought. Die, yeah, just hope die, the enemy team doesn't die. have transcendence. <laughs> who gave that dragoon a gun? Uh, who was the artist that did this? <laughs> I do not remember. I could probably check the drive folder. My memory is about as good as my aim, and my aim is so good I'm commentating on this tournament instead of participating, so, you know. Whoa. Is that why your power is sealed? Yeah, my power is sealed very deep from birth. <laughs> from birth? Damn, that must have been really difficult to live like that. Mm, I have no furniture. It is quite embarrassing. Uh, feels bad. The burden of being too powerful. Mm. But at least I have the uh, Dragoon and Rosebud buff. I am both a Selen and a Rosemi fan. Well, that's even more power. Why would you do that to yourself? Well, uh, unfortunately, uh, they are both cute. <laughs> Fair enough. VTuber is life, I guess. Sometimes when you have too much time, you just go watch the funny Rose Lady play GeoGuessr. God, GeoGuessr must be such a trip. <laughs> I I can't believe Chad is watching this stream instead of the uh, Rosemi Summer GeoGuessr stream. Now on youtube.com slash watch. Question mark V equal... Okay, I'm not going to spell out the entire <laughs> URL. But would it be funny if you did? It would. But I am not spelling out an entire URL. I need to preserve my voice even a little bit. Ah, uh, fair enough. So now we're just waiting for the one person to come back. And once he's back, I'll inform the teams that we should be ready to go. We're only waiting for the last missing person. The first game will be fought on Lee Jung Power. Lee Jung, Lee Jung Power. Lee Jung is a very popular map for good reason we we will see how many people will fall off the map when uh gardens comes up surely no lucio will mess up the rollout i hope chat will point and laugh at the people who fall off they i will it. point and laugh at the people that fall off that's why we're here yep good supportive community Oh, last person's here. So now we have everyone. And the uh, my my Hyun is at 10,000 drum skips because that means I will get a fair warning beforehand and just uh, dip and force, you know, my fellow co-caster to say it instead. Hey, entering game. Now Let me change the scene. Now arriving to Lijang Tower. Oh, that gun dragon yep. shouldn't be there. And we can see here, we have the best teams in all of Nijicord. These are in the top six teams in all of Nijicord out of the ones that signed up for this tournament. I think this is going to be a very high quality match.
These are the top 30 players in all of Niji Chords. Whoa, top 30? Yes, out of the ones that joined uh, this tournament and showed up. How many of them are top 500? Uh, none. Uh... Well, okay, top 500 within this tournament, all. <laughs> True. This is actually interesting. We can see the red team is utilizing Diva and Brigitte. I think they're going to try and just absolutely annihilate with that combination because their sustain shouldn't be that strong in a longer fight. Whereas the blue team is running... Oh, oh. That's a... Uh, Junkrat Soldier... Zen Mercy Orisa. Oh, God. Jody is escaping from that death trap yeah. of billion red players there. He has the balls. He's playing like a Junkrat player. Yeah. Blue team does have control of the point right now. But I think red team has oh, really good pushing. Fell for pushing. Off. Um... Okay, wow. they had good positioning for it. Unfortunately, I think we found out that the D.Va um, died. And as we know, dying is bad for the case of winning. <laughs> for sure. Oh they are actually God, regrouping, though. This there. is nice. I don't think they'll get staggered too hard, and they can easily go for a second push. The Junker spamming is doing quite a lot of work, I think. Yep. Watch it's forcing out. really awkward positions. And, like, you can see... The red team just had to dive him. And, and now the Brig is... Wow, oh no, he does man. get out. Yeah. Team I thought he could delete right it before here. he was able to do that. Minus Anna. <laughs> yeah. Dio got demacked. The red team is still pushing. Risa just keeping up the pressure. Rough battle right here he got going. At least... Oh, an ult uh, already. Fighter. Yeah. Oh, but anti, let's see if they he can does get survive. Kill. Yeah, survives. But I think this is just blue team is massively benefiting. Red team doesn't have the the push power. They need to actually get a push going, and unless they do, like you can see, blue team has gotten sixty percent off of that just first Ooh. team fight win. Two oh, now picks. this is a push. It's yeah, you can see there the Arisa push. moved somewhat unfortunately, grabbing the soldier into the possible radius. You can see here, Zen dying, yeah. And uh, then, how much can Junkrat hold on, or is he just gonna run away? Yep. Yeah, he's Going running away. towards the enemy spawn. Yeah. You see, this is the strat known as, um, run away no matter the direction. Hell and he yeah. has survived. Works, now, he can go for a surprise flank, or force the enemies to take a 4v4. Oop, he's going straight into he's the enemy backline. He's back pushing line. straight to the point. This is actually really potent. If he manages to... Because oh, now they bro. have the point, and their team should have an upside on, like... Ooh, Nano fight, Tracer. But, yeah, the red team has pretty decent ults. This is gonna really depend on how they use their ults. Because both teams have the potential to win this. Oh, you're killing a junk rattle. Yeah. What's he gonna do? Yeah, the tire could be big. Ooh, no, he's... Two kills. He blanked the brick ult. I think this should be going for the blue team now. Yep. Oh, Diva Bomb. Uh, let's, wait, does Diva get to remake? Rough. Diva gets to remake? Nope. No, yeah. rough. If Blue Team loses, this is their fight to lose. They have such an advantage here. Yeah, I was gonna say. If the Junkrat plays. <laughs> uh. Yeah, rough. Yeah. There was a lot of impact there from the Junkrat. Oh, Just, that... like, random bombs in a somewhat scruffy team, team fight like that. Just annihilate players. Yeah. And here comes another. Okay, they got over the bridge. They're pushing up. Tracer okay, putting pressure on the Mercy. There That's a visor. A it should be getting eaten up, but I don't think. Yeah. Diva does not have enough Matrix for the entire Soldier Alt, so. And that's a. Uh, this is looking to end up victory. like a blue team win. Yep. Yep, Diva doesn't even get to contest. Gets knocked back by the Arisa Spear. <laughs> yep. And again, even though the ramp. But now we'll over. see what have the teams learned from the, you know, upsets and downsides. Yeah. Uh, Where is? I just open real quick a 
Dragoon Cord Twitch window to see how it's going. Yep. It's going decently well. See here, I think they're running... Are these the exact same compositions from both? No! There's a Moira on the blue team now, instead of the Zenyatta. I think they may be running DPS Moira. Oh, that's uh, an interesting choice. CGB I have no proof for this claim, but a uh, DPS Moira. <laughs> I mean, every Moira is a DPS Moira. Oh, oh that that's a big damage orb. It's gonna be about which team can actually just, inside. you know, get a good position. I think the Moira Hills are gonna be pretty bad to deal with for the red team since they have been relatively unfocused. Yeah. Let's see. Red team does have point here, so as long as the D.Va can just survive, I think blue team is gonna have a really hard time pushing. Uh, I say that. Oh! Yeah. yeah. The, the D.Va does not get it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna have to get D.Mech. It, you see the diva is really trading room. Yeah. And they don't really have like they don't have the leeway to ignore the diva. They have to push him, but then the diva's getting healed enough they can just push. So as long as the diva stays in mech and doesn't actually get killed, I think blue team is gonna have a really hard time pushing onto this point. These are so like you see the Arisa keeps structures. getting blanked by the diva. Yeah. He doesn't. She doesn't have the room to do it. Then the tracer in the back line. This is really. No tank for blue team. Yeah. Rough. Oh, oh, oh. That diva's. No. The, the heals are on point. So the diva's just sort of not lighting. dying. Oh, trying to get the pick on the Moira. Will they get it? They're using the secret tactic of not dying. And the which Moira. Which keeps them alive. Okay, now, now the teams are somewhat split. So, there could be really big. Place Soldier here. flanking yeah. with ult no. gets sojourned. Gets, gets shut down. Kiriko Junk, solo in. point. Dmex the D.Va. Oh, this, has, this has a lot of potential. I think, yeah. I think that was Fire. a tactical move from the Soldier to force the enemy's focus elsewhere. And now yeah. they have the point, and Orisa's really hard to push for points. That Soldier ult, even though it didn't result in much, forced them to... The Soldier ult was clearly a tactical distraction. Yep, tactical distraction. <laughs> Worked out at least. I mean, the soldier ult forced out at least like three high impact cooldown abilities. So ultimately, it did end up being actually beneficial, even if you know the soldier himself just died. Mm, looks like they're Since pushing from the side. It distracted the enemy team and got a lot of good cooldowns. And I get about... clipped by a bomb. What can they do? Can they push in? Nano soldier uh, just um, taking the scenic oh. route. Flanking, yep. technically. <laughs> I think this is they they have a lot of pressure on the point, but the the race is just not dying. No. Um, I say that. Cast I, I am a master of jinxes. Oh, that Anna was a one shot. And that yep. is blue team gets the point, probably. Red team has the point. I mean, and I think the D.Va might be enough to actually hold it. Oh, man. Oh, that was a really big Sojourn shot. Now, the D.Va should be able to remake. Yeah, so they can keep contesting. Yep. Pulse bomb and I think Red Team jump. actually has the advantage here, as long as they can get... Yeah. Okay, that Moira ult might actually be enough to close it off. Uh. Yeah, Blue Team has all of their ults. But red team is forcing off ult out of them and getting to 99. So one good team fight win means the win for the red team. They just need to be able to use their ults properly. Like they have Kitsune, which by itself is a massive swing. It is. So if they can get a good itself. engage, good picks, and just win the game. Well, the map. Well, uh, sorry. Not even the map, technically. Yeah. Just the point? <laughs> they can even out the odds. Oh, and here comes Junkrat. That's higher. I think that's gonna get at least one pick. Gets the conditional we've been just seeing like here. My camera work and gets uh, and, two. Yep. Here's a tracer going for a flank. I think Tracer's just gonna try and contest. I don't think he's going for a flank so much as um just touching the points. Ooh, okay, that's the Kitsune. The... Kitsune. Kitsune Diva is really dangerous, by the way. This could actually no. Feels the rough. Diva dies, and then just... Yeah. 
Kitsune Diva is good, but it's not uh, 2v5 good. Nope. And with two close rounds at 99%, blue team yep. wins the map. The bald raccoons, I think it was. Yeah. What a funny name. Bald raccoons. And here, just pushing the mercy. Although, if you ask me, the Junkrat tires were the plays of the game. And here we go to the live chat reaction. Your messages will be displayed here. Oh no. And here we are, with furniture. What's it like having furniture for the first time? I don't know, it's quite shocking. Yeah, the stable I'm no longer nice. embarrassed. And yeah, this was definitely a game of Overwatch. I agree. True. You can see. I think we have some very notable plays from the match there. For example, we had um, the blue team soldier with the tactical distraction to bait the enemy team into using all of their cooldowns on him while the rest of his team goes and takes the point. It was Very one of the game-winning plays. Yeah. <laughs> then we also had the junk tires, which got a lot of value. Absolutely. I think the red team had a really hard time just managing to kill the junk tires or space out so they don't get multi-killed. I don't think I saw a single bad junk tire that entire match. No. Nope. But yeah, it's just they are incredibly potent at this skill level. Yeah, junk tires are very fast, and you know, aiming is hard. I get it. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't have shot it on time. Also, kind of disappointed that they weren't falling off the map more. What's up with that? I think there was exactly one falling off the map, and that was the diva getting demeked. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure it was which the is... junk rat that caused it, which is yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's the. I'm pretty sure it was just the diva getting demek, and then just uh, since he uh, she gets pushed back a bit when she demex, she was just standing on the edge, and mini diva fell off. Oh rip! I didn't see the exact moment, but I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Is the diva was playing on the edge, with her back to the edge. Is there a now, game happening? By the way, I cannot see Overwatch. <laughs> the they've picked the next map. It's going to be Eichenwald, uh, and. But it looks like we're gonna be going in. Oh. Uh, scene time. Yep. Eichenwald, another uh, fan favorite. Yes, this is the home place of Reinhardt. Who doesn't love A very Reinhardt. popular tank. I believe the enemy team when he's swinging them. I mean, he earned it though. He had to get in with all those sojourns, all those widows, all those ashes boosted by mercies. When is yeah. Ryan gonna be good again? Ryan has always been good, if you ask me. This yeah. may not be factual, but you know. I guess. Since you are the we're gonna most see. powerful person of all We have the systems. new tank. Uh, on the red team. Got well, Ramatic blue team. Oh, wait, Ramatic. oh, blue team is bringing the Ash. They have Cholula, uh, the expert soldier player. Very experienced with ultimate usage. Coming yep. with the Ash. And Ash has a very potent ultimate with uh, Bob. I think they're just going to try farming Bob. And then whenever red team gets an actually decent push going, they just Bob. And red team has to focus, and they get to recover during that time. No mercy on the blue team, though, to help the Ash. Yeah. That's, you know, pretty mm. typical. Mercy is also nice to prevent any picks from the attacking team. Like, you can see the McCree on the red team. He has a lot of damage potential. So they can just start getting picks. And especially the Sojourn. 
I'm pushing in. Uh, I think the junk is doing a lot, forcing the enemy to tank. Stay back. Yeah, that shield yeah. being broken immediately. Yeah. Might it's well just a lot of spam. And that is really hard to push through if your team isn't, like, helping. Oh god, this Anna was uh, in a rough position, huh? Yep. You can sleep the junk, but uh, that's still a 1v1, so... With an Ash, which even more rough. Yep. No, oh, that's the McCree getting picked off. But the Romatra so is great. getting some space. He went to Hulk mode. 100% charge uh, on the I high ground. I think he's ground. just getting bullied. Gets a pick. Oh, nice. Now, that, this is where a Mercy would actually come in really clutch, because then they could, you know, force a soldier on a high ground and get a Mercy red. But as they don't, now they have to wait. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. Yep. I'll they are in a 4v5 situation. And the Sojourn on, on high ground is getting so much free reign. This is... Yeah. I, I'd say this is really scary as the defending team. I, I would not be happy in this scenario. Say, the Sojourn is, like, holding the gate all, all on her own. Yeah. Jesus. Like, he just... The Sojourn is waiting for the team to come. So then they it's can try using... The yeah, exactly this. And then they can just... Snowball really hard. Yeah. Support down, Soldier Purple, soldier I think he's gonna get... One, yeah, yep, he's gonna get killed. But there's the tire! Now, do oh. they have the positioning to survive the tire? They do. Well, it only hit the tank. This is... Yeah. yeah. You see, the red team is really learning from their mistakes. Yeah. I don't think blue team is gonna be able to recover. No, unless... Junk's Junk trying to get some... off some crazy play, uh, No, but... Junk's just getting trash damage in. And... Dead. Also, blue team does now have the Mercy, but I don't think the Mercy is as valuable in the payload phase. No. Defense definitely be has nice. a better time. Yeah, also, do you know what is extremely scary? Look what? at defense team ults, look at attacking ults. Oh, god. <laughs> this should be like two team fights, one for the attackers. As yeah. long as they can utilize their ults properly. Surely not I do not want to be in the shoes weapons. of the defending team right now. Not at all. And Soldier dies to the orb. Rough. Positioning errors, oh. but they have the mercy. They can recover from the picks. Hey, they listen to us. Now they just need to hope to not get someone deleted by the Soldier on. Yeah, it seems like... Or by the Ana, apparently. <laughs> Hey, Alan is a sniper too, Okay, you know? <laughs> it's still a 4v4, but the Arisa's solo on point, pretty much. Well, no. She's yeah. getting on her heels, but this Soldier is a really awkward situation. The flank. They're just getting free range. Ah, uh, there's the go. The Soldier ult gets, oh, two. gets two. I think three. he's getting a three. Yeah. Might get I don't think he should Ana. be getting the Ana. No. The Ana had good positioning. Yeah, or runs away successfully. Yeah. Better Broke line of sight, and now he's just waiting die. for his team. Sun <laughs> Well, there we go. You see, the soldier has really good ultimate usage. Extremely. Also, because he ulted, he forced the enemy team to, like, turn back and allow the Orisa to position himself again. You can see, now the Orisa can function as an anchor for the team again. Ramatra's in Hulk mode, but... Soloing. Oh, that's a uh, fuel. I think the Ramatra shouldn't be doing too much here. They just want to be wanting an Orisa, and, uh... One wanting an Orisa is a really bad... Oh, sorry, um... 4v one in an Arisa. Yeah. yeah. That that ends bad for the Arisa. There's a creel gets uh, two. Uh, that's a two pick with a noon. I'm very surprised. Yeah. Seems the soldier like... tried to like get as much room as possible, but I'm very surprised the Mercy got caught. It seems like neither team has a defensive ult to shut down opposing ult, so. Yeah, and the defensive team is exactly where you need the defensive ults. Theoretically, they have the Mercy ult, which is um, a defensive ult. It sure is one of the ults of all time. <laughs> but that was um, shot down by the High Noon, so... Oh, you're Unfortunately, tired. dying does tend to uh, be quite bad, even when ulting. Tire gets the ult. That's a tire. So uh, can, they, can they stem the flow? Can they manage to stabilize on the last point? Attacking teams, he looks strong, although not with all their ults anymore. You know, the May coming in, blocking the Ramatra. 
A solo. That's a nano mate. That's a nano mate. This could actually be massive. If the mate can do enough, May alt will just stabilize the last point. May alt is, is so good. Such a powerful. Especially for payload maps where yeah. you need to keep yeah. that space. We managed to stabilize and the May is at 34. So one team fight and then the May has alt. If this keeps going as it's been going. It looks like the blue team cleans up the team fight yeah. without. Any but you know the scary thing is, um, okay, I mentioned one team fight. They have Ramatra alt, they have Nano, and they have Noon on attack. Yeah. Defense that, has Visor and Arisa alt. That high Noon with uh, Ramatra shield could be big, but you know how Junkrat goes and blows up. Her oh wait, no more Junkrat. Nope. Wow, the May wall. Yep. Great. Play. However, they do have the Ramatra and the Nano still. Oh, May got picked. And then oh. pushing with the Ramatra ult. Yeah, Ramatra got Forcing the Arisa ult. And Ramatra ult still gets value. Keep I think this is just. Going yeah. And going and going. But can they. Con no. They cannot contest. Attacking team reaches the end. Yeah, with I think. One minute and the attacking team had. Seconds. Really good uh, alt usage and pushing off the picks they got. Extremely. Like once yeah. they started getting pressure, it was really hard for the blue team to stabilize. Whereas blue team had a lot of trouble just surviving ultimates and other powerful abilities. Like you saw that Ramatra alt there. Oh, that okay. got what three picks? Yeah, I didn't realize that it's. And broken. they <laughs> resulted in response. Like it got an alt out of the enemy team. And he got three kills, like... Yeah. <laughs> that kind of thing is really hard to play against. Whoa! The door reappeared magically, isn't that awesome? Now we can see... Uh, blue team coming in with the... Uh... Okay, I think they have two offensive alts. Well, three if you count Mercy alt. Uh, I, I don't count Mercy alt in anything, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they do have the Sojourn alt, which is incredibly potent. And then they have the tire, which has shown its value most of the time. Yeah, that last team fight. Well, the red team is also that. lacking in defensive alts. Like they have no way, except for well, the honor to just be gaming. Yeah. To shut down alts. Let's see if they have the gamer genes, as they demonstrated. Last round. I believe their honor is uh, Masters, if I recall correctly. So, Ooh. and um, Anizan gets punished hard. That's Starting off four v five on defense is really scary. Yeah, but it depends on if Blue can capitalize. Wow. Yeah, uh, I, that's two picks from the Junkrat. He's really been doing work. Yeah, just catching people yeah. with a one two. Mm, nothing you can do One, two about punch, that. and somehow survives finding the Ramatra with no heals. Like, he just walked off. Now they're on point. And Junk's fighting in a small corridor, and, um... Unsurprisingly, wow. Junk in a small corridor is quite scary. But... Oh. He died to the orb. They didn't even get... Oh, they didn't they even get a tick. One tick. This feels so... Oh, that was a really nice, but they just failed to close it out. Oh, feel I really like that push. The Junkrat got so many picks, but... Yeah, the Ramatra did so much work there for the defense. Yeah. Like, he's actually just gaming. It feels like they took I need a to bit ask too long to capitalize he has. on the picks, and the defending team got t time to get back in time. Yeah. I, the Ramatra's just doing his work. He's doing his job. Yeah. And the attackers are just having a hard time. Like, look at how much work he's doing! He's got his bolt hole. And then you have the McCree. As Ramatra. Because the Ramatra's taking up all the shots. The Ramatra just. Yeah. McCree just has free reign, goes for the kills, and. Just demolish. I don't think Blue Team can even do anything here. Wow. Even finishing off the Junkrat. What a change of pace from but, last map. Uh. They have Noon on defense. And, uh, no, Sojourn should be able to shut it down. But if Sojourn doesn't shut down the High Noon, I think he can do a lot of work here. Because yeah. only the Sojourn can provide direct pressure. 
Oh, there's a junk rat ult. Yeah, but I think it was a bit far. It did get the McCree though, and the McCree had noon. So yeah. now defense has no ults until they get Kitsune online. And here mm. they push onto point. Yeah, that was a. Ramatra's solo got back to the team and slowing down the. Okay. Rez, that's a very cheeky Rez. Did not get punished. Okay, if Blue doesn't manage to close this now, I'll be very scared. Um, that was the classic high noon yeah. where. Um, the classic yeah, yeah, it's You hard. die. <laughs> also, seen done by Pharaohs with a slightly different voice line. Just as range from a blood. You can see the Sojourn already getting space for the attackers. Like, Red Team is setting up a bridge. Just because of how much space Blue Team has been taking. Top of the castle is a defensive mm. position that the previous defending oh, team did. Now, now this could be... Yeah. They all went up to the castle. And now I think Blue Team's going to have a really hard time attacking. McCree's getting so healed true. from the Arna. Oh my god, the Arna's doing so much work here. He's just, just like, not dying. The McCree should be dead. <laughs> the McCree should be dead. Does he still have 225 like, health? Yeah. Oh, also, the man. Arna is like, he's not only keeping the McCree alive, he's keeping everyone alive. He truly does. I want to see the Arna's heals at the end of this. Like... Also, now you can see Reddy's taking a really cheeky defensive position. Playing very aggressive. Forcing... Oh my god, they forced wow. a Kitsune in spawn. Already. They... Then the Ramatra ult. This has been very valuable these few games. So, let's see. Can it bring it now? Yeah. Um, that was another high noon. I, I believe he did press Q. He and and McCree gets killed. This is ultimately not even a win for the defense, as long as the blue team doesn't kill themselves. Yeah. They should be able to have a 4v5, because McCree does not come back quick. That roll being the only movement ability is yeah. not ideal. So you can see here, McCree, and now McCree's back. There he is. Oh, and he manages Junkrat. to get the junk rat. Oh my on god. The flank. He's, he's in their back line. Gets a pick Nobody on the see, soldier. They haven't seen him. The honor's keeping him. They simply do not see him. He Remember, if invisible. you don't believe in the McCree, he doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I just say one thing? The defense has been using that ult really well. Like, you can see, they always have an ult online. Yeah, that rotation. Of like right now, they have Kitsune, which they can use. Then they're gonna have Noon. Then they're gonna have Nano. Then oh. they're not gonna have a Ramatra because he walked in and didn't get heals. And uh... that Junkrat just does so much damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Junkrat is a menace. Yeah, just as we were tire, just the defense, the tempo. they just get yeah. demolished. And I was about to say that Ramantra ult always gets so much value. He waits until the enemy team walks in so everyone's in range, but yeah. <laughs> Y'all can see what happened here. Ramantra on the flank. Let's yeah. See how that'll work out. They have the noon. Ooh. I'm surprised they didn't just keep the noon. Yeah. Just force the enemy to stand back. He wasn't under any pressure and the attackers only have, like, one person who can delete. And they advance past the bridge. Looking to get on the other bridge, I guess. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's see, can the blue team push it? The Ramash has been doing a lot of work, but they Not have enough. the tempo now. They have the Sojourn ult, but they are 3v4-ish. I think they can get to 4 before the actual fight. Arisa's gonna come back at the start of the fight. Do, just they, do they actually contest? They do not. They do not contest. Oh, oh wait, they, they do? Did. Okay. Oh, they get touched, but yeah, no, they don't have the pressure. The no tank, and then they just melt. Yeah, I know. Oh, the Sojourn didn't even have to ult. That's, uh, trying know, to work yeah, yeah, the robots are just getting bullied. Oh, that uh, ult was... 
Moira is uh, asserting dominance on the enemy team. Yeah. Like, getting space. And then we'll see, can they get in? Wow, can blue team so snowball? Is so large. Blue team does have three alts, and the Mercy is probably going to get the alt mid-fight. But right here, they have the Ramatra alt. And, and the Ramatra alt has been doing so much work. That tie does a lot, but Ramatra alt here is going to be, yeah. Yeah. That's a nano Ramatra. Wow, I did not realize it was a nano because of all the red going on. Yeah, and just the Ramatra alt is so powerful. It's really nuts when uh, the enemy needs to stay on the payload. All that damage reduction is really powerful. And here they are. At the choke point, waiting for people to respawn. Yeah. Can they get to the payload in 10 seconds? Under and a high noon. Another <laughs> rough high noon. They, they did get to the payload, but can they now win it? It's That's a completely different... Three, so yeah. it is possible, yeah. but... The three haven't mm, No, the, one of the three is Ramash, bro. And that makes this a lot harder. I'm surprised they survived. Like, oh, never mind. The thing is, uh, Red Team has the advantage in this fight. So, yeah, the Robotra can literally just stall and they're gonna win. Yep. Red Team wins the map. It's 1-1. Uh, one, one. Yep, and now we're gonna have the third map. What is the third map going to be? Is this going to be one of the High Dunes? <laughs> is, is it gonna be? It is I definitely it one is. of the high nudes. Oh yeah, it's the one where it gets the mercy. You can see the mercy here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So actually, the high noon does not have the reaction to just go down. Control in a really exposed position and work. getting punished. The soldier just doesn't have the reaction time. I believe he was getting damage boosted in that clip, by the way. So the sweet, sweet damage boost proves. Yeah, apparently it's one one. So we'll see. Now we just wait for them to pick the next map. Yep, and here we are at the good old studio with the breaking news being on cut TV saying pain. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, so we can uh, see here we have a lot of furniture here. We have one table. Yeah, and we got yeah. one, two TVs. They're they're curved. Does that make our gamer skills even better? Unfortunately, we do not have gamer chairs, so I do not think the <sighs> curved ones do enough. And we don't have RGB mice. Uh, yeah. I could okay. take a picture of mine and just. But looks like the, the next table. team is going to be Dorado, and it's going to be very fast. Is that my cue to swap scenes? Uh. I believe it is. Okay, here we go. Back to the match. Soon, TM. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, that is us. What's what's the deal? En efecto, estoy listo. Vamos. They are talking to us in uh, Spanish. Unfortunately, I do not understand it. I mean, CGD does say that he speaks Spanish, so it's his time to prove it. <laughs> I speak uh, many Spanish languages. Initiating... And by that, I mean none. And hey, here so we now... are in Mexico, the origin of Spanish, as everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dorado is an interesting map. Because... Uh, there's a lot of variance in the team comps you can run here. I hope we'll see some, you know, new and exciting innovations, or we could just see the same comps as we saw last map, which I wouldn't be surprised by. Okay, Red Team's bringing an offensive May. Are they going for May strats? May rush down would be a yeah, fun I, thing. I to think see. the idea here, um, if I'm reading this correctly, they're gonna push up the staircase. You can see God in front of the. One door, and then you're just gonna may wall up to the high ground and go from there. That sounds very exciting. That oh. is a very potent spot. If they're actually doing that, I will be pogging. 
I yes, probably oh, um, was the they... exact reaction of everyone here. Five, four, <laughs> There's a junk rat trap there, One. so someone might be going for it. Incoming. Now they're getting spammed. That junk rat bottom. <laughs> that grenade angle was crazy. But junk yeah, rat. I, I think in that the plan did the fail. Team. Uh, the maze just fighting on point. And they're just going for a more traditional fight now. Yep. Payload's moving. Uh, well, if it works. If like, it they broke, are clearly just getting room. Here's the Blue main team wall is just blocking up yeah. the window. And the maze just right clicking in so John showing off she's the better sniper. Yeah. And uh, now the Oh, sleeping crap. before Mercy. I think this is going to be really awkward for the blue team. They might not even get to contest here. Yeah. Just get I, I don't think point it's smart for them to contest, even. They should probably just regroup. Yeah, if the Junkrat dies here, it would yeah. be a very sad thing for the blue the, team. The D.Va can punish the Junkrat here if they have proper communication. Yeah. Do they know? <laughs> but will the soldier yeah. get... Oh. Yeah, well, Zojin tries to push. Is he here? Arisa just sitting in front of the D.Va, and the D.Va can't do anything about it. Arisa Two healers on Arisa is, is um, very annoying to deal with. I'm speaking from personal... That armor uh, okay. is so, so crucial to not dying, which is very good. Yeah, I, I hear it is a very good strategy. <laughs> And he was trying to get out of room, but then just... <laughs> oh, oh my god! That's... Those heals coming that, that in That was, um... Oh! Oh! oh. Gaming! The gaming! Red Team's gaming. Mailed gaming. That... Wow. That, that, that player was, um... How? I'm very surprised it managed to go off. How? <laughs> but I, I think Red Team has it. They should be able to win this fight. Battle of Mercy getting the pick on the Kiriko. Red team should be able to regroup faster DPS than blue team. Moira, who? More like Battle Mercy. There we go. Yeah, red team just has to faster regroup there. So even when they, you know, fell. Yeah, the blue team lost having more. the longer walk to the cart here. Yeah, they were essentially fighting in front of the red spawn. Yeah. And now we can see the blue team just is three people. Red team can push and just like you can see oh, they're doing wall. really cheeky pushing. <laughs> It's, I believe that was to uh, assert dominance. That's uh, oh, it's definitely one of the Diva ones I've seen. Go across the Marisa spear spin thingy because I saw her. I believe get it does. Back. That's interesting. I thought it would be immune to everything. And that. No, uh, I don't think it's even immune. I believe it only blocks projectiles, although don't quote me on that. I have not played Arisa since the rework. <laughs> Yeah. And that sure was a Kiriko ult. I mean, we made sure they were able to fight. Uh, Mini Diva, uh, <laughs> the poor red team Kiriko. He yep, is um, alone. Does, does it, he manage to does get out? He, uh, yeah, that's that's really awful for the red team. Almost gets in range to teleport to either the May. Uh, do they almost get in range? Probably not. That's just rough. Yeah, this is really bad for the red team because that's essentially a second loss team fight in time loss. Yeah. But hey, here goes back with that good old teleport. Yep. And in now the soldier is doing uh, pressure from the high ground. Will they actually? Yeah. Forcing the honor to basically just not be and in the fight. And another. Two and that's kill a double higher. kill. That's Red Team's DPS gone. Wow. Yeah. That tire that tire's has just been a life. very consistent. Yeah. Kill a uh, secure her. <laughs> very consistent ult. And like, they just keep doing work. Here's the Battle Mercy no. ult again. <laughs> and Sojourn looks like. Going uh, yeah, you plan. can see here, Red Sojourn, they have alt, 
And uh, there's also a nano, so. Oh, I think there's a lot of potential for the here. flank, so it's no longer really. Yeah, a uh, Diva solo, I think, yeah. They did get to ult. Get to oh, they got the jump trap. Oh, that. Orisa got saved by the Sujo. Oh, the Diva. Oh, the Diva pushed the team. I thought the Diva would push the Sojourn on the high ground. Uh, red team just. Yeah. yeah. Sojourn just isn't doing enough. Will they get the stagger on the Sojourn, though? That's very important. Uh, yes, they do. Yep. And now, they're at second point. Check. No, it's last point. Oh. Second point was this. Well, yeah. Second well, point they need to reach the second point, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but now they're fighting at the third point. And I was about to say, Orisa um, seems to be about to go down, but once again, that Suzu nope. comes in. The cleanse. Plans coming in. Yep. And here's some more poking. Cause no diva. Yep. The diva does seem to have a bit of a suicidal streak. Yeah. But also But also really with some clutch plays. Yeah. I do Going believe the red team is also sometimes just being a bit too passive and the diva suffering from that. Yeah. Oh, that's two ults. That oh, that's it? a tire. Oh, and the wow. tire gets killed. First I mean, time we've seen that. Yeah, first tire kill of, you know, tire destruction. But now you can see the Junkrat's by himself. If yeah. they're smart, they could just get the free pick on the Junkrat. But, but... Uh, instead, they choose the enemy Sojourn. Which is not very, a bad choice. Yeah. But Ana with now that. Now the junk on the high ground joke. Yeah, that. That, <laughs> that yeah. is not a big draw. Oh. Rat bottom that next. Was a very questionable mail. Uh, I mean, he got the Arisa, I guess, but. No, no, but they didn't have a team. Yeah, they did not have a team. <laughs> yeah. I'd recommend mail ulting with people to kill people. Yep, that's. I also another tip for me is don't die. Uh, dying is good for your health. Uh, sorry, not dying is good for your health. <laughs> dying is bad. Yeah. Can someone put it up the uh, uh, the more you know graphic whenever I say this stuff? I can do a little sound effect very badly. There. Oh no. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. <laughs> managing to remake on the point. Unfortunately, it's actually does not diva get the got the, the diva got the. They might be able to do something here. The Sojourn flank can actually put up a pressure. No, no. Diva hey, D-Mech. And I don't think she's farming her... Actually, wait, she might be farming her ult. And comes the Sojourn ult and oh. the Kiriko ult. Let's see, what's this? Yep, Sojourn yep, up. Diva got back. Diva got back into wow. back. Wow. This is... This is... They're gaming. They're gaming. They're gaming. They're gaming. The Junkrat tire, wow, does not get anyone. There you go. Sojourn trying to go for a pick. Oh, gets a Kiriko. Yeah. Now, yeah, see last point. Soldier. Can they... Can they get it in? I... Uh, yeah, looks like they might be. Nope. Risa gets to contest. And Sojourn going for the flank, sort of. <laughs> yeah, Battle Sojourn trying to force the Ana back. Ooh, that's a really good diva. Ult. That diva boom just yeah, yeah. That. Nothing they could have done. I don't think the Arisa had fortify, so no. she couldn't just stick there. Although I'm surprised nobody took cover behind the payload. So, what do they mean, C9? They were forced by the diva. Uh, that no, they they could just use the payload as cover. True. So that was, that was a that I did was a C9. Think of that. <laughs> Hey, it goes to show why I'm not one of the players. <laughs> mm. Now we'll see what the teams do on the opposite sides. Will they have changes to their tactics? Yeah. Will we have side. defensive May or is she being considered an offense only tool? <laughs> Defending side. That defending side seemed so dominant. Don oh God, I cannot speak. Oh. Dominant no. at third point. Defense again. No defensive ults. They have faith in just killing the enemy. 
They will just. I mean, it worked for them last guy, last time, so you know. Yeah, why not do it again? After all, you can't get killed by an enemy who's already dead, unless they're a junkrat and they're all off. Um, <laughs> the I'm speaking from personal experience. Uh, my condolences. <laughs> So, hmm. Seems like there. If Blizzy had a flag to this honor, would really not be happy. <laughs> but they don't. Here is the. Uh, the Sigma's tanking alone. So we'll see. Here's a junk rat going for the crazy off angle and gets the pick. And flanking gets. Wow, clutch Suzu. I was about to be a double kill, but... You can see... Sigma dancing around the shield. But the blue team has the res to keep up the pressure. Sigma is a pick we had not seen before. Yeah. Did you know Sigma's actually a very big queen fan? I did not know that. That's because he will rock you. Death. Yeah, uh, now from bad puns to the Orisa pushing the Sigma and the Junkrat. Orisa gets the kill, and it does seem like defense will regain control of the point. Yep. They also did manage to grab the Ash there, so that's another 10 seconds. Yep. And here's some more poking. <laughs> oh! Junk gaming. Oh, wow. Junk Got gaming. Got the Sojourn. Indeed. They're starting off the fight 4v5 now against. Oh no. Battle it's Mercy's a off. Headshot. Battle oh. Mercy's in action again. They're putting pressure on the supports. Sigma's ulting, but did he actually get I people? I don't think he did. I think the Sigma's in a really bad position here. Yep. Oh, wow. I mean, he does have a nano on him, it's but I, like, he has unlimited heals, but like, we'll one junker going into the healers and um, yeah, the Sigma's in rough. a far worse position. But if they can play time, they are getting the team back. And the Ana does get away from the Junkrat. Wow, that's very yeah, um, impressive. The Ana's been really good at just staying alive, surviving and keeping her team alive. Yep. And gets a pick on the Kiriko and manages to heal her team while they're yeah. at it. That's that Nano Sigma did so much work there. Like very good judgment from the Ana. Managed to like get them enough time to get the rest of the team back and then survive the fight. Now the important question here is whether Sigma will be able to come back before the next team fight or will they have to fight tankless? Uh, uh the answer is Sigma does get back. Yeah, they're they didn't push immediately, so Yeah. I guess they were like, a bit longer where than is necessary. <laughs> oh! Synchronized Junkrat ulting. And they both and get And that's two, two for both. Yep. Uh, but red team's heal- Red team heal still has a healer. Game. Blue team does not. So I think this should be in the favor of the red team, and then they lose their tank. Oh, get to sleep on the junk. Uh, I think this kill. is actually in the favor of the blue team now. Because, well... They're fighting yeah. in front of the spawn. Blue Team just needs to keep fighting. Like, Blue Team literally has the payload here. If they just push it, I don't think Red Team can stall them. But most of the Red Team is here already. And only the Sigma... Yeah, the, the Blue Team on. just didn't push early enough. Nope. Same thing happened earlier. Red Team gets a lot of time to just recover. Yeah. Like, they're not being punished. Blue Team is being really lenient. And I think Red Team is really capitalizing on that. Like, they can take dumb risks, because they don't get punished hard enough. I mean, and they now do we get, get the killed, kitchenaise. but they don't get pushed enough. Bob on the payload, that. I think the Bob on the payload could be value, except uh, he's behind the payload, so he can't yeah. actually shoot anyone except the Sigma. Sigma improving so Bob's positioning, but um, Red Team does have a nano ulting Sojourn. Yeah. And, yep. Yeah. I highly doubt they can contest this. Victory. Red team has a really good 
uh, how do I put this? They just stay alive. Yeah. They manage they just... not to die. Viana is crazy. Yeah, like, there's a lot of fights here where I'm just thinking, if blue team just pushed more, if red team didn't manage to stay alive as hard, it'd be going the other way. But then just... They just don't die. Yeah, they don't. Ana just gets away. Yeah, the, the Ana's doing so much work. I and the Kiriko is cleansing whatever the Ana can't do. Like, I think the healers are doing really good cooperation. Yeah, absolutely. A Kiriko coming really clutch a couple times with the cleanse on the Orisa when she gets... Na uh, not nanoed, <laughs> grenaded. Yeah. And here now, we are, back in our studio. Now we wait for the next match, which is um, Ronin versus the coalition of uncircumcised men. Oh, uh, please do not, not abbreviate them. They are simply the coalition. coalition. They are simply the coalition. We Check do not abbreviate the them. Black bracket. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're just, just the coalition. coalition. Yep, yep. No funny name business going on here. Which, are we doing all the games in this lobby? Uh, I do not believe so. Although, I'm not the one organizing the lobby, so I have no idea. Uh, I should probably okay. know this, but, uh... <laughs> that would be... That would take out an extremely long time if we did all the matches on this lobby. We are doing all of the um, winners tournament, uh, winners brackets matches in here, and I believe the losers finals is also being done on stream. I see, I see. Man, I'm hungry. Do you think making a peanut butter sandwich would be uh, short enough for the teams to... I mean, we do need to invite the teams. I have faith in your speed. Do it now. All right. I'll I will keep the chat entertained. Be right back. I'm making myself a peanut butter sandwich. Oh, they're already in a lobby. Oh. Never mind, uh, then. Uh, go make the peanut butter sandwich now, quick, and... Okay. I'll see what we actually have to do. I'll oh. invite you to the new lobby. Thank you. Okay. So, chat, is there anything uh, wrong about the stream? I don't think there is. No one said anything, but I just quickly want to check. Well, we have some, you know, spare time. See, well, while we wait, I can give you trivia on the teams that will be going up next. We have the team Ronin, built off purely of solo signups for the tournament, and we'll be seeing what how up? they perform. Well, oh, you came back. Uh, I have no new information. Awesome. I, in fact, did not make myself a peanut butter sandwich, but I do have the ingredients on my desk, and I will be making one. Good. Now, time to check whether there is any... Okay. Live so they... sandwich yeah. reaction. Live... Oh my god. Oh no, there's no sandwich on stream. This is so sad. I could take a picture and put it on screen. 
<laughs> I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> but it would be funny, right? <laughs> no, no, no. You, you don't understand. We need to tease the chat with this. We'll post oh. a picture at the end of the tournament. Okay, I'll just they post They need to stay here all this time. Bread. Yeah. We'll simply <laughs> slowly upgrade the bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll, I will just send the picture to the Nizicord Tournament Discord server. So, if you Enjoy want that if you already have it. access to the uh, bread. Good old bread <laughs> on a cutting board on my lap, uh, then join the Nizicord Tournament. Uh, what's the full name? Nizicord Tournament server and check Overwatch chat. Because I will send a picture of my sandwich. Oh, uh, apparently we're getting uh, a commentation offer from the masterful soldier player from last game. Whoa. We can ask them about the depth of the strategic knowledge. I wonder what his insight will be on distraction ults. He, se he seems to be an expert on those. Yeah, but he did also do a very powerful ult in the enemy team's backline and just um, pew pew. Yeah, I got a three kill, three kill streak for mm. that all. Which... I believe he's normally a healer player, so that explains his exceptional game sense mm, and alt yeah. usage. I sure do love that one support that has an aimbot as their ult. Soldiers a support, right? He oh, hello, this is. We now have a CGD live at the studio. Oh, that sure oh, is. Oh my CGD. god. Am I live on on Twitch.com? Hey, what little forward goon slash you dragoon be? cord? No, you you're live on Twitch.tv forward slash dragoon cord. Ha -ha. Just use me and move me out from hiding behind the Buta over here. But no. uh, uh, full screen shenanigans. Give me a sec. <laughs> uh, CV caster. He's where he belongs. He hiding. Go wee! Oh my god! Jeez. I'm already I already have fans in chat. He sure is <laughs> okay, um, facing directly forwards. Van Nico Nico. Wait, what? Oh, and I already don't have fans. I'm, I'm being booed. <laughs> <laughs> you have both fans and antis. Wow, what a what a world we live in. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that, that so, was a rough game. can we know what was going through your head during that uh, Amazing game soldier changing ult. alt on Lee Jung? Night Market um, specifically. The very like first one where like I just shot it all the way into Brig, shield. Uh, I, no, 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 no. I mean the one where you just uh, died, but your team got the point because of you know you distracting the enemy team. Uh, that was exactly the goal. I not because like I don't exactly remember what you're talking about, but that was exactly the goal. Okay. <laughs> you see, he just does this kind of strategic thinking normally, so it's understandable. Yeah. He doesn't really think of it as anything specific. I was just thinking about like I wish I could sue you right now. I wish I could sue you right now. <laughs> Where, where's where's my where's my healing button? Where's my healing button? Where's my dink? dink I mean, you do have a healing button, on soldier. That does well, explain why you are. I do. Yeah. I was pressing it. I was uh, occasionally. That's why I, I believe them, you had so. the third highest healing on your team. In the top fifty <laughs> percent. Third eyeless. Wow, that's Whoa, that's uh, crazy. It's only like there's two. Yeah, you have the bronze healing. Uh, Bronze healing, yes. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yep. Yeah, now, uh, looks like the teams are actually. Uh, oh no, they've been abbreviated. Oh, oh no! Oh, but th there is a small O there. Luckily, it's the Coalition of University, uh, Massachusetts men. men. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Coalition of University Men. That's definitely it. And we. Oh, do you want me to uh, live stream on Discord so you can see? Yeah. Otherwise, uh, I can't really join. I think the yeah. two spectator slots are taken. Uh, we do not have spectator slots. <laughs> Feels bad. We are in queue. The game is starting? Is that what you're saying? Uh, no. Huh? Doesn't look like it's starting yet. I Wait a sense. second. But yeah, that, that was a rough game. I mean, we, we had the good first round to start with. Uh, but then the second two rounds, like we, 
we were really close on Eichenwald, but my my DPS abilities started fading, and Anazon's um, McCassidy was doing really good. A lot of work, uh, really frustrating. And then yeah. the third map, we just got you know rolled over. Let You're clearly having problems me. with McCassidy. <laughs> Keep like the Arna kept healing the Cassidy whenever he was actually getting damaged. Yeah, and he was really hard to remove. Man, yeah, it was the, the pocket was, was there. Godlike. Yeah. He also had excellent high noons and um, other oh, high. Wait, noons. There's more spectator yeah. slots. I can join. Yeah, we're, we're, invite me. Uh, do I want this CGT guy? He's a bit suspicious. Is this Cholula? Uh, that's kind of weird, right? I mean, he's not even a Dragoon. Or there we a go. Beta, so. I think that should work. Oh, no, Who you're setting Q. Uh, doesn't matter. Somebody's no, move, gonna... just, just move me. <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to move you, but I do not have the permissions to do that, so... Now, we have the Ronin and the Coalition teams. Ronin is made up of solo signups. While the Coalition is a team that has been tested through, I believe, multiple tournaments. And multiple games. Oh yeah, this is the first I watched tournament. I would be very worried if they had um. <laughs> hey, maybe they're making a contenders team. Who mm -hmm. knows? Yeah, dude, they got the Dallas Fuel like um, symbol on one of those guys. They're pretty pog. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, their team are all equally powerful, pretty much, so... I'm a bit scared. They might be showing. Uh, I think they might be doing a real show. Ready, by the way. Oh, uh, this is my cue to change scene. I think yep. so. They need to start. Oh. oh. Yep. Go. Now, while we wait for this to start, we can also talk about the team Ronin's uh, rankings. If I recall correctly, their tank is diamond. Let me quickly check. Whoa, is that famous Dal Dallas Fuel player Athan? No way. So yeah, they have a diamond tanker, and I believe the rest of the team is also gaming. I do not want to check all the ranks. I think they're like, they're good enough. I think good they can enough. win games. <laughs> Sounds like a group of good gamers hey we're no. going we're getting I'm into really it interested. what will the team compositions be since one of these teams is battle hardened they have the synergy while the other one might have higher individual ranks in total but do they have the teamwork do they have and where you know, will i leave my knife that has a bunch of jelly on it <laughs> <laughs> stay, stay tuned to find out <laughs> More sandwich lore? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll take a, another image. Well, not right now because the game's about to start. But okay. like... Wait, actually. I'm afraid got, like, of what Red Team's seconds, going to right? do because um, I, I very briefly saw Wrecking Ball. Oh no. No, they are just playing Arisa. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> oh, oh, oh the blue, blue team! The Ryan Hart. Um, the I, I am very Ryan. interested in this composition. <laughs> I think this might actually do work. Wow, uh, they have Wide Hut and the Brig and Reaper being speed boosted by Lucio while Tracer's off just deleting backline. I really hope this I works. I love comp like these where it's just rushing. They, go, they might go, be go, go, go. And they are going. Although they do where need to are they fast. going? Oh god. They, they have a severe lack of, of healing. Yeah. Oh, they're going down. They're going back. The, the push from the middle. And Lucio speeding. Do they push as a team? I think. Do they um, uh, okay, well, that's. Uh, this is a 4v5. Yeah. Reaper just got deleted. Rough. Ryan lost barrier, oh. and. As we can see, the McCree's doing a lot of work here. Yeah. Like, just forcing people back. The Tracer manages to get the Mercy, but, well. Oh, she also dies. The splits. Yep. First point, though, goes to the red team. Yeah. And now they're going to have a real hard time pushing the red team off because 
as we've seen, previously seen, Risa just doesn't move off the point. You just need can to kill her. Can hear my dog go crazy? Yes, we can. It's a uh, new actor. And there goes the Reinhardt. Yep. That was now 4v5. Matrix is low, but he's getting pocketed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... They got Reaper isolated. He has to use Wraith to go back for the heal. And he's Surprise. Killed. Yep. Killed. Get tracered. <laughs> Let me just see. The Trace is trying to go for a sneaky peek, but doesn't succeed. Oh, now there's the Ramatra. Coming from the blue team. We've probably seen Ramatra has a really good matchup against the Risa teams. Because the Risa teams tend to bunch up, and then the Ramatra ult just wipes them out. Yeah, that damage I think Ramatra ult is just good nuts. against anything. I yeah, mean, Ramatra it... ult is generically good. It's especially good in this scenario. It, it needs to be dealt with. Just going in, the, he should everyone, not have huh? extra move speed while in ult, especially if it's gonna last forever. But uh, you know what? I'm it, not a balancer. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean he needs it? Uh, necessary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Necessary <laughs> to be overpowered. Man, I mean, they need to sell to some remotes. Sort of. Well, not anymore. Damn. <laughs> Let's see. But I think that are they going for an EMP or a Matra ult? That would Maybe. be evil. Ooh, that, that there goes Brig on the pulse bomb. Uh, oh, the double pulse bomb back from Dippity! <laughs> yeah, Dippity wow. is back. And the reason, yeah, this, this should be point taken. Yeah, these pulse yeah. bombs really... Red team just gives up the point. They do not even try to contest. Yeah. Makes sense. Trying to fight out, like, no, 2v4. The Sombra's giving them a lot of info on Red team's positions. So, they shouldn't really be surprised. Sombra going for the Mercy. Oh, but... The yep, Risa they're just ready. hacking the Mercy and forcing them to, like, focus on the Sombra even a little bit. Grieve did claim to be a top 500 Mercy in the game, so I don't know if even hacking them is going to be able to hold Grieve back from yeah. the impact that they could put on this game. Uh, no, this is, unfortunately, but they were held well, back. Unfortunately. That, that was, I think, uh, it, I think it was hacked. the plan from the blue team. They knew Grieve was really powerful, so they just dove him. Get the EMP with EMP. for the... Yep. Yeah, it would be for the cleanup. I, I think this may oh. be uh, overkill, but also. Bob they know a nice headshot on Dippity. And here we are, speculating the spawn. <laughs> when you play really Jericho, impressed. when you get those headshots, man, it is amazing. Yeah. yeah. I'm really impressed by the Ramatra. Managing to, like, just not only stay alive, but actually put up pressure while, like, living on Lucio and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Roger's doing this while on R Lucia Brig Hills. Uh, yeah, then we see the Lucia Brig Hills. And Arisa just going in. Will they use their ult? No, won't need it. Rita in a very rough situation. Yeah, and... the Brig tries to get them a few extra percent. That's so now point. if they win, they have a better time, but they have no alts. I mean, maybe if Dippity just pops off, gets like a one clip into a Pulse Bomb 2k. Like, I think DPD is the by far. The yeah, that high noon pretty much sealing the deal. Or. Mm. But will it? Well, oh, that yeah. mail definitely sealing. Oh. No, no, no. Ball, 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 ball. Ball. No, no, it did. Because wow. he already left by the May. The slowdown. I think uh, there's a very big problem with the blue team, which is that um, the tank is getting no healing, so they need to kill the enemy team fast, or they just start collapsing. Like, they are living on Brig Lucio heals. Yeah. So, if red team focuses at all, they're gonna kill. Yeah. But there's a Kiriko I... switch. Yeah. Kiriko Matra, I think this... Yeah, they are also, I think... Are they focusing on the backline with the Sombra Tracer combination? Five, Looks four, like it. Three, the Ramatra's doing the frontline damage. One, round two, and then the opposing team just keeping the very standard uh, stay together and kill stuff. <laughs> mm. No funny business going on. Maywall goes down so that way Red Team can secure entry to the point, but that's where Dippity is hanging out, waiting for them. Yeah. Full See. rotate into the point. Keeps poking into the back line. Get yeah. out charge. Might get a May kill. But back 
away. Yeah. Oh. Roach is just flexing on the enemy team, pushing up. Oh my god, Ubisoft is doing Infinity so much work. Take... Wow, look at this. Did you see this? We just have, like, I think the DPD Ubisoft combination they is doing a lot of work here. Like, they have Ubisoft at the front, DPD at the back, and then they just die. Wouldn't it have been funny if the Arisa Spear knocked Ubisoft mm. off of a map? This is like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, where the peanut butter and jelly is the red team, and then the bread is the blue team's tank and DPS. I, I was kind of worried where you were going with that one, but you know, you were able to finish it off. Um, it is a definite good uh, allegory. Yep. I only have good allegories. Switches. And speaking of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, my peanut butter and sandwich, my peanut butter and jelly sandwich is ready. So at the end mm. of the stream, I will be sending an image of it. So was that a pulse bomb and then it was blocked by a Suzu right there? I think that was. That was an excellent Suzu to save the whole team because that pulse bomb was on three people basically. Yeah. Damn! Imagine talking about the game. Shut up, sandwich boy. <laughs> that is what we are here for. <laughs> Also, the Pharaoh just going completely uncontested. Yeah, that Ramach is trying to shoot. Yeah, him. they swapped to Pharaoh like before this team fight, and she had justice. And then she justices and keeps going. Yeah. She's not even getting pocketed. And that justice She's literally did just living. Not get interrupted at all. I mean, what? it was a very safe justice. They did it so they had a cover from point. Yeah. But still, like, how are they contesting the Pharaoh? I don't see a game plan there. Well, right now they got ults, so they don't really want to give up, I imagine. Um, yeah. But hopefully we see But they a definitely need to get... Soon. They need a hit scan. Oh. Yep. Ah, uh, the Ramach was getting frozen. Oh, that's really rough. And the Kiriko. Yep. I think that was very nice May ult usage in that he won them a fight for free. Yeah. Like, one May ult. Yeah. It was really early into the fight no random picks that they had to suffer through just that mailed yeah here's a sombra in the back line sort of waiting to hack Remember scouting them out oh Ooh, emp yeah. that hits oh, the whole no, team they collapse on the yep yep that's, the... that's what you were saying EMP, Ramatra, Ramatra. but will the Ramatra have enough juice <laughs> yeah will he just be able to do enough yes that's the worry here <laughs> yeah also, here we the see red. the wow. Hauna to the Pharah. Wow. Or much ult. What an ult. I'm pretty sure that's going to be play for the game because that was a Ramatra 5k. Yeah. Wow. What a team wipe. Like, Ramatra is just an incredibly powerful hero. Yeah. This shows what you can do with uh, an infinitely lasting ult, an extra move speed. I mean, what happened is that. And oh, there's another damage. bomb. It will take two of them out. But wow. yes, yep. it is so powerful. It's all, it's more powerful as a denial of space. And if you don't want to get out of that space, well, you're going to pay the price. And another it looks like a red team. For justice rings from above, Feral. I, I think Matrix is doing uh, relatively safe Feral, and I'm I'm actually a big fan. Yeah, it is not a lot of days you get to see a feral that doesn't end it. Like, he's going for like one or two kills in a safe location. And Blue Team just doesn't have the coordination to punish that. Or the hit scans. <laughs> We're approaching Ooh. last fight territory here. They gotta push up if they want to stop them from getting the map, actually. But yep. they are in very similar percentages. There's the May ult. Wow, the Ramatra yeah. gets clipped but does not die. Oh, dies now. I, I think the Pharaoh's just gonna wipe, clean this up. Yeah. On point. Oh, the yeah, first thing yeah. now. Can hold. It's only Tracer and Sombra there. Yeah. I don't think they're good enough oh. in a scrapping fight like this. So the right. Coalition... Definitely having some recent picks. For example, a Farah, excellent choice. And here we see the Remark World. Yep, that's a uh, 5k, I think. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four, and that's five. Mm.
But ultimately, the remote from itself is not enough to carry the entire team. No. Blue team definitely. does need to think of like ways to support the remote from, like maybe enable the remote from more, or use heroes that can benefit off of Ramatra's work. Like, for example, could... more frontline pressure to support him could be very nice. That and switching to a better hit scan, because leaving that Pharah out there is just... It, they're going to get punished for it. There's no way that you could leave a Pharah just up in the air without shooting at her. Yeah, that spread from the Sombra <laughs> SMG is rough to get uh, people from far away. And so the yeah. their damage drop off. You also can't just hack the som uh, hack the Farah anymore with Sombra. I mean, oh, it still man? punishes the Farah, but it's no longer like the Farah's oh, dead. Oh yeah, yeah, where it just, just falls like off two the map. Seconds, yeah. <laughs> so here we are back in our studio. Hmm. It's pretty comfy in here. You, I mean, you got a nice temperature set in here. I feel you know loose. I'm not really sweaty or anything, so I'm enjoying it. Yeah, well, oh, and apparently the next uh, map has been picked. It is going to be King's Row. Nice. Not Will to be confused with Peter King Duel? Street. No. Ah, uh, I wish. Because someone will pick Reinhardt, and then one will lose, and then it'll go right into an Orisa. No yeah. King's Canyon. Uh, Grieve might still be playing Apex. Um, huh. I'm not sure. A bit confused here. I mean, he did get hacked quite a bit, so it's possible he actually has Apex on his other screen. Very <laughs> possible. Very bad malware. People's lives have been ruined by Apex. Yeah, I've I got almost 2,000 hours in the game, so it's a, a I'm lot sorry for your loss. Well, you know. My brain has melted a little bit, but I think I've done all right. Let me see. Hey, Her fun team. fact about this map. Did you know that you're, like, guiding a bomb to, like, where there's an Omnic shelter oh, yeah. uh, if, when you're on attack and that you blow it up and kill a bunch of Omnics? So, Technically, uh, I believe it's an EMP, not a traditional explosive device. You Technically, you're a fucking nerd. <laughs> True. <laughs> But yeah, it's the same thing, basically. It goes over there and not nukes them out. Terrorism, bottom tanks. So, you guys are are evil people when you play an attack. I mean, when you look at these teams, they're both evil. So. Yeah. Yeah. Now we'll Sombra. see the strategies again. Blue team playing a... Sombra Tracer on defense. This is a very interesting DPS lineup. I I think this is very demanding from the players. And I don't think it's going to do enough. But also, but Red we... Team is bringing the Hog. Uh, which and is... Also... Whoa. Hog is prime farming material for the Sombra. If he can't hook her, they're going to get EMP 24-7. The widow shot, not able to connect. Mm, but Maybe hit the statue. Oh. Does Blue Team have a way to pressure the widow? I think they could have just stayed on widow the entire game. Yeah. Because their positioning is not good enough to not be vulnerable to widow. Use a tracer versus somber duel, or somber yeah. in the middle of the enemy also, team. Also, uh, we can very clearly see the problems of Hog with um. Look at Ramat's result charge. Oh, wow, yeah. The robot has just been farming the hog. And I think the hog is feeling it. But also, oh wait, wait, is robot actually getting killed? Do they have the- no, oh. they do not have the heals. This wow. is massive. This first fight was exactly where they needed to do this. Wow. Otherwise, the robot is going to have alt every single fight. I thought the blue team had the point secured for a second. No, no, no. But it's the, the steady pressure. Well, what happened there is that blue was playing on both sides of this, or sorry, red was playing on both sides of the statue. And so as soon as that there was a commit onto the hog, the heels were trapped on the wrong side of the statue and mm -hmm. they weren't able to, uh, to heal yeah. Ramatra in time. Like blue's having a really hard, uh, hard time keeping space other than where the Ramatra is. 
Yeah, with that somber trace. Like you can see here, um, Ramatra fighting, and the rest of the team is just not able to, you know, force where people are off. They? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, holding that kind of choke is not exactly a great spot to hold anyways. Um, yeah. Most teams kind of fight once it gets to about where that open door is into the uh, bar. That choke is actually optimal if you door. can hold it. it. The reason it's not held often is because it's really hard to be able to hold there. Like, since if you're losing the point, you generally get full wiped and have to regroup at bookstore. And they got full wiped. <laughs> yeah. Well, almost. And... Will they get full wipe? Nope. Tracer I think blue team's having a really hard time just having pressure since Tracer and Sombra just aren't DPS who can create pressure and they don't really have other options. No, but nope. here comes the ults. They got Sombra ult, they got Ramatra ult. Mm. We saw last time what that could do, so... The Ramatra ult is a bit scary, but the, for example, the Ash is just staying away. Oh, there is a Sombra. And no yes. follow-up ult. Well, oh, there yes. is the uh, Ramatra ult. But it's only the Hog and Tracer. Yeah, the Ramatra's getting pressured too hard. But, like, he can't just ult with the... Oh, that was a clutch oh. immortality field. Huge yeah. play. Enormous. Keeping the ulting Ramatra alive. And, yeah, the Hog's just dead. Yeah. And... <laughs> The rest of the team. But oh, oh my! They did do. They did the Charlie Niner. They did the, the Charlie Niner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. It was looking so good from our perspective that also, even I didn't notice. <laughs> I was very focused on their match, but yeah. No, the blue team just... I was wondering why the Hog wasn't just disengaging. It was because the Hog was playing time for the Charlie Niner. Yeah. I was... Yeah, I now was the Hog ult. Oh, this Whoa. is... This is brutal. Oh, one down Shoulder. the hole. Yep. Renee went down. Now, the Ramatra is trying to solo fight the enemy team. Um, Which does work to... out sometimes, but... Wow! Yeah. The ult again. The Ramatra is getting ult so ult. fast. Like, it's just... It's nuts. Yeah. Wow. Like, red team has no way to mitigate Ramatra's damage, and the Hog is playing incredibly aggressive, so... Yeah, I'd be very worried if the Ramatra wasn't having alt. And we see the about swap to the Orisa. Can't able to get a pick on the Baptiste. Yeah. Renee gets and, picked um, off by the Pulse Bomb, but Dippity also did pick off Grieve with his own Pulse Bomb. Pulse Bombs so have been floor. on point all game. Uh, and Ramatra's dead. Now, can we see... Can the Tracer, like, play time here? Try and get enough time for his team to regroup? Uh, Dippity doing a lot of work, just trying to get space. Well, as much as he can on Tracer. Oh. Before finally going down, and now he's going to put himself at a stagger. They're yeah. not really going to be able to walk up against this. Well, uh, this is a and, last team. Oh. This is a last point fight. It's not gonna be a stagger. They're playing Tracer. Tracer's gonna respawn. Yeah, Tracer's already back in the fight. I, I thought the Romantra was going to fall into the pit for a second. Oh, they did almost. There's no. that Can they be the contest? Nope. Hey, terrorism happened. Payload killed a bunch of Omnix. Yeah. They had 228 remaining. I think this is still doable for the blue team. I don't know. That was a pretty dominant push there by red team. Yep. Yeah, but the thing is, if blue team can just start rolling, I think they're going to be incredibly hard to stop. Oh, I just figured out that if you press E and Q, that's how you rise up and down. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that? Oh, well, I'm trying to do it like it was like the buttons to control a, like a, a, a flying Controls. ship. Yeah, which would normally be control and spacebar, but for some reason they're like, yeah, Q and E, that sounds great. Yeah. Okay, now blue team. Uh, wait, red team running Widow on defense and Symmetra. 
This is interesting. What? Yeah. Yeah. Can but we hey. get an update on the sandwich? Chat is asking for an update on oh. the sandwich. I was silent because I just finished eating it, so um, no sandwich for you, chat. Dude, Unless... there's just an empty plate. <laughs> Unless... Unless... You go to discord.gg slash dragoon, wait, no, slash nijicore tournaments. Is that, do we have a vanity, vanity no, link? No, we don't have a vanity link. Ah, damn. <laughs> Unless you go to one of the nijicores and find the tournament link somewhere yeah. there. Yep. You can see exclusive posts about delicious peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, pot, potty pity. Anyway, Overwatch. <laughs> Was that a mercy boosted body shot from Widow? Aww. Oh, oh, Reaper wow. teleporting to Reaper the back. trying to punish the Widow. I, I don't think this is gonna... Oh. oh. Yeah. Although you Mercy boosted Widow is himself. really scary. Oh. No, mercy boosted Widow is doing a lot of work, and I don't think... Does Blue Team have the coordination to do anything about it? Okay, but, like, let's just ask the question here. If you get damage boosted when you're playing Widow, does that mean that... Your mercy doesn't believe you can get headshots. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> is that an insult I mean, then, or is it, it? It's either an insult or it's um, <laughs> I believe you will hit so many headshots you don't have time to fully recharge the sniper. That too. <laughs> but like, honestly, the damage with the widow is just incredibly scary. One hundred and fifty damage per body shot is a lot. <laughs> That's a. Widow huh? The problem with the Widow is um, wow. they're not able to contest, so once you can put pressure on them, it's a lot harder. Yep. They were able to get one point up before the recontest came yep. in from Aikman. Widow is still up there. Yeah, Dippity the is just like trying so hard, but he can't beat the pocket. Yeah, no. <laughs> Mercy. Wow. Mercy fucking on Widow does make it a lot harder to carry, but the Ramatra on point is just making it really hard for them Too to fight. Far. Yeah, no way to contest that. Yeah, I think the blue team might start rolling from here. Unfortunately, they had to use the Mirachal to secure the point, which I think is going to be a really annoying... Uh, it's... I don't know. We have uh, seen that he gets his Mirachal back very quickly. He's yeah, already at almost 30%. Hey, I was Sigma, the enemy team, that. could be doing a lot of work to... Yeah, I'm about to see a graphitic flux come in, though. And that's some Moirold. That wall is not gonna help against that Moirold. But... It does seem like those turrets are doing... Uh oh like Huge pulse bomb from Dippity! Yeah. Uh, There's a graphitic flux? Three, three people signal. in the graphitic flux! None die. They're just trying to... ...stem the bleeding, but... Ramatra is just farming alt. Yeah, wow, at 90% already. They, they might actually be able to... Yeah. And, yeah. Look at that, ult's back in one team fight. Yep. We doubted though. The Ramatra's like really they're... aggressive, and the blue team is now enabling him. Yeah. And I think it's it's doing so much. Like, you can see the Mercy's damage defense. boosting Ramatra half the time. But... On the offense, this comp seems to work. Switch yeah. to the D.Va. Like, once they start rolling, they're gonna be really hard to stop. And they're rolling, and they're not stopping. Not at all. And they do kind of the last nice. second. Nine every time. <laughs> you say point six nine meters? And will there be the much alt? I believe that's just an instant point win, but they might want to save it. Yeah, let's see if things get rough, maybe uh, check out some high value. Reaper buildings. behind. The Tracer has a new one. Oh yeah, Remontral to clean up. Yeah, that should be a wipe. Oh, the BM just saying hello, looking at the D.Va. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the damage over time to kill him. And the Ramatra's just farming! Already 33%! Yeah. Wow! 45! Almost 50! How does Blizzard balance this hero so well? Right. Oh yeah. It's almost like he's like, making them lots of money. Yeah. And... Another fight? 
Another day, and another Ramatra mm -hmm. ult almost Oh, online. Ramatra got That was a really, really wow. juicy headshot. Oh. Ash really clutched that fight out. Maybe. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, without the Ramatra, blue team is far weaker. Yeah, blue team is scattered everywhere. There are three alive. They need that focal point, which is the Ramatra. And, like, when the Ramatra is in play, they are so scary as a team. Oh, and here he is, but the rest of the team is not there. I'm not sure. Oh. Uh, that's Blossom, but unfortunately, um, the defending team One has a D. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe that was a very misjudged ult. That 50% damage reduction ult. is not going yeah. to help you 1v5. I, I don't believe Death Blossoming in front of a D.Va is the best idea. That too. And the, um, the Robot Ralt was, um, there may have been a 5k in a previous match, but 1v5 5 k is a bit harder. Surely he'll get his ult immediately, right? <laughs> but you can see the Robot is getting pocketed by two healers. Yeah. But and they're just enabling him. Defending team has uh, most of the and oh, Only the Mercy got got. That Mercy could but, not jump oh. off the platform. The Reaper's been getting punished a lot. And that looks like... Like when coming out of invulnerability. One fight. Yeah, but Ramacho does have 50% alt. So, the next fight might be going very differently. Yep. Like... Red team has the Kitsune. They have the Bob. I think the Bob might be a real problem. The Noon shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think something the Moira needs to think about, they're throwing these damage orbs out, but they're throwing it into D.Va, who could just mitigate all of them. Yeah. And with a Bob ready, and being on the high ground, let's see what Ancat will yeah. use the He bomb. has it. the Bob in the back line. In the corner. Yeah, this is a real life position. Wow. Since it's forcing the... Yeah. Cat just on point. Going to get... trying to do it, but the Ramatra was gaming so hard. He took his G Fuel, took his Red Bull, he made is... the Holy Drink. There's a Devault that's possible to happen. Like, if they get to contest, they can Devault and try to wipe the point. I'm pretty sure there should be a Devault coming in. Oh, yep. there's a Devault. That bomb. And that that's a tracer. That's a lot. Yeah. And a Moira. I don't think um, it does a 1v5, no. And here we might be seeing a Reaper. <laughs> the two Reapers, <laughs> the two Reapers they are just... Right next to each other? Like, do they, they just... know? Do they... And uh, now they know. Uh... <laughs> well then, that was something. Yeah. <laughs> Looney Tunes looking sequence. Here's a Reaper. Yeah, Reaper getting... in the enemy backline. Oh, barely doesn't get the Moira. Yeah, but the Moira's now gone. Ramatra yeah. has no heals. And gets that was mercy, gets... Yeah. That's GG. Yeah, that's GG. And that's the second match. And come... 1-2. Comb? The Coalition. Comb? Comb, <laughs> sure. We'll go with that. So... We've seen a lot of work. And another Romantra play of the game we're seeing. Yeah. But here, I think the Diva ult was very big. It was nicely parked on top of the payload, so you couldn't use the payload for cover. Yeah. That tracer death was rough. Yeah. Live chat reaction. Hello, chat. How's it going? Also, if y'all want some more awesome sandwich updates, definitely go to the Discord where we will run more tournaments and you might be able to sign up to a couple. Yeah. 
let's check what our next match is going to be. Do we have like I an believe... exclamation point bracket or something? Uh, no, no, I'm manually searching where it is. Oh. I have it somewhere. Don't worry. Here we go. So the next match is... Uh, what teams do we have? We have Quillers and we have... Uh, Sailors. Yeah. Good old Sailors. Yeah, the Soaking Sailors. Yep. They are men wait, of the wait, sea. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are two teams that are playing two uh, different these games. are two different teams and uh, they're fighting the winners of the last two matches uh we'll yeah, see. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's the, gonna be yeah, quillers no. versus the the set sen yeah right? quillers versus sen i believe let me check are the quillers ready yes yeah, CGG check world. what yeah do it i have Fine. the curse of the full screen so you're the only one left Who's the Quillers representation? Is that Whirlwind? Whirlpool? Uh, I can check. Quillers is X Cavalier. Whirlpool oh. is for the um, soaking men of the sea. Okay, X Cav or what the X Cavalier, and then what was the other guy's name that was for? Uh, the, other team, the teams you're looking for are XCAP. Yeah, yeah, but like, who is. And... Okay, I'll just do Amazon. Amazon's the representative. Amazon, are you ready? Question mark. Your teams are up. And now we'll see how well organized these teams are. Surely no one will be delayed. Hopefully, praying. Oh, there might be a problem. Do I have time to make uh, Do a we need to sandwich? swap the teams? If necessary, we can just have the other game go first. In case. Oh, it looks like Aphen is saying yes, that they need to... So then it's Quillers versus the Coalition. So... Coalition playing twice in a row. Wait, um, isn't it the... Sailors versus Coalition? Yeah, yeah, so it's so the Soaking Sailors versus Coalition. Yeah. I'm just going to open the bracket and have it constantly open. Yeah. Yeah, I just opened the bracket too. Uh. So we need to do coalition and. Yeah. Coalition going two matches in a row, they're already warmed up. Yep. This is the incorrect team. It's the battle of mm. the funny. <laughs> yep. We have the coalition of people and the soaking men of the sea. God bless. We are arriving at Li Zhang Tower. Wait, what? Never mind, this is not a game. Yeah. Okay, I thought. I guess they're doing one v ones to warm up or something. I'm just, I'm just waiting to find out where the lobby is being held.
And this sure is a nice studio, isn't it? It has more furniture than my current room. I don't know if that says more about the studio than it does about your room. Uh, also, I played the fifth. You want to get angry about the studio? The table we're on is very not centered in the room. <laughs> Even though that's it's like a circle. Uh, that's your fault. That, that's budget difficulties. There's a second table on the other side, but we didn't have, you know, the money for it, so... That's also why this table is not RGB. <laughs> True. Time to mess with OBS. No, I won't actually. But... If the desk did start glowing in different colors... That's because oh. we plugged it into the RGB gamer outlet. Yeah. Oh, sadness. There was a change colors option in OBS, but it was just for like the tag thing. Not the actual table. Kill issue. Yeah. <laughs> What's blending method? I don't know. Blending mode. Let's lighten the. Oh. Okay. Alright, so we have the Soaking Sailors versus Coalition, which is honestly just like. What a wonderful name. We're going to figure out the name. The, the people with the most. Uh, Interesting names are going to decide who gets to keep going on in the tournament with their, well, interesting name things. <laughs> Although, one that gets eliminated out of this one still has a chance in the loser's bracket. They'll have to play either my team or another team. Um, and then, uh, we'll see how that goes. The battle of uh, interesting names. <laughs> uh, probably need a third spectator slot. Mm, unfortunately, we do have the uh, CGD as a third commentator for now. Until he has to go off to play his match. Oh, he does. Yes. Oh, yeah. He is a player, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Uh, he did do that awesome uh, distraction ult, didn't he? I did a bunch of other things, too. Yeah, yeah. so... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get in one of the guys. There we go. I got grieving. Now we just need to organize the teams. Yep. I got a new sandwich update, believe it or not. There is a very awesome update that you can't see in the Overwatch chat. And it's of an empty cutting board with a knife because I ate all of it. And it was delicious. But you ate a second one? No, I wish. But I doubt I have time now. Uh, there's definitely some issues going with the match creation here. Uh, trying to figure out how to sort some teams around. I've been placed on the red team. Afen has been placed on the blue team. There's people all over the place where they shouldn't be. <laughs> mm. But I do have faith in these teams. We're going to get a good game, even if the lobby setup is a bit scuffed. Wait a second. CGD's in the funny team. There, there we go. And there, there. That looks like there everybody's now on the right team. Is it gaming time? CGD, you somehow got owner of the... Uh, they gave yeah. him owner to...
Now we are ready. Uh, are the teams ready? Uh, let's check. Okay, both teams seem to be ready. So go! <laughs> yeah. Gaming time. It's time to game. It's bubbly. Tra Oops, I clicked the uh, bubbly transition time. I love bubbly reveal. Top ten. Now we can see what team compositions will we be seeing. Think 5v5. Yeah. Um, I'd be very concerned if it wasn't. I mean, we have seen some games that were 4v5, but... <laughs> that, that's a different issue. Damn, called out. I did not name names. I could, but I won't. Uh... Oh! Oh! Yes! Oh my god! They are yes! gaming. Blue team! Yes! Holy... Uh, peanut they have the having... ball! Oh my gosh. Ball, Bastion, <laughs> Sombra, Lucio. Here we go. Wow. Please tell me they keep the ball. Please tell me they keep Please... the ball. Oh, no. Please tell me they're gonna kill no people with the ball. way they went no. in the nerd. Okay, so no. I'm rooting for the red team now. I absolutely um, am rooting for the red team. Red team taking the bridge is deserved. Sorry. Let's see, red team taking the scenic route. Red team doing good with Ethan getting lots of ult charge. Mm -hmm. Let's Blue go. Blue team has the red bay, team. so red team can't really come into the point recklessly. Let's back the widow. Yeah, the widow. Getting some shots. Softening up. Softened up both the supports. Did not get the headshot, unfortunately. Ooh, gets the reaper. There's the headshot. Yeah. That's either wall hacks or very good reactions. Uh, you can hear the, the reaper Lucio there. And gets the Kiriko. That's amazing. Red team able to get the first secure on the point. Yeah. Most of you as a Matrix and is a widow tacular shots. Yeah. Hmm. We don't think we're creating a lot of space and just the picks are incredibly powerful in this kind of they fight. They have to play with the angles and I'm, not get headshot. I am a bit curious widow. as to why the blue team isn't pushing the widow at all. I mean, the Lucio did try, but. Yeah. yeah. The pocket is really hard to push through. Yeah, and the widow just. Oh, they, did they not to get care. the. Wait, wait! We don't. She wow. gets a free roll! Oh, she get... Yes, punished, but that was the top 500 mercy main, so <laughs> I don't think we should be surprised at that. Widow ults yeah. already. His team does not cover for him, so he does get ultimately killed. Will he get another headshot? Mm. The witty diffy. <laughs> oh, oh God, never say that again, please. Hey, I was reading chat. That's would you Godfather over there, okay? Oh, no. Now we see. We're gonna try to go for picks. And oh, here we go. Going in with the old so oh, John like Kiriko Walt in a way with this. A little boost bit of a mess right going on here, but Aphing. Yeah, this, this is a very messy fight. Very taking so out. Getting, oh no, the soldier's is getting uh, bullied. Yeah. And, and then will the Kiriko be able to Kiriko. disengage? Looks oh. like it. Maybe no. Yeah, no. Nope. Lucio gaming. Lucio finishes it. And back to the widow. We can never mind. Yeah. The like widow is not swap. getting punished. They're gonna swap. Uh, but huh. while not being punished, it doesn't do anything yeah, if your team's like... not staying alive. Yeah. The Reinhardt pick though from Aethin. Yeah. The Reinhardt pick Reinhardt... can be really big here because they're always fighting on point one rhyme right swing is gonna hit multiple people if they can get a good fight for him he's gonna do a lot of work the problem is when they don't get a good fight for him oh yeah feels bad. so yeah th this is the no i don't good fight for him. think i remember that arisa's ult goes through shields now yeah 
So I guess it was know. blocking. It was blocking the reaper ult. That's that's true. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not gonna. That's not gonna save. It was blocking a lot of damage. But uh. Oh, oh no. no! No! Brutal! Oh, that's so. Oh, look at this! The reaper, contesting. Can he? He did not. That did not just happen. Oh, the man. Kiriko puts down her like bridges off the edges of the map, oh. and then everybody else gets booped off the map after getting frozen. Yeah, no, that and the May wall there did so much work. Otherwise, the Reinhardt would have been able to get on point, and they would have Rein and Reaper on point, and that would have been much more scary. Instead, uh, they only had Reaper to contest with, and uh, yeah. The Rhein pick only made me root even more for Red Team. Now we'll see that, what. Uh, oh, oh, Blue with the Symmetra. Do they know the strat? Of course, they're going to put the window or the teleporter up in the window. There's no yeah. way that they don't know. They don't pick yeah, Symmetra I... and not. Wait. Uh, oh, are they just doing it for the fast deployment? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm definitely rooting for the red team. Yeah. World's slowest teleporter deployment there. But um, do the Lucio speed boost and able to get to point. <laughs> and the Ryan is trapped. That's really not good. Or Reinhardt. Survives, though. The Ryan Arisa matchup is a bit uh, sad for the Reinhardt. Yeah. Especially yeah, in case you can't. Has so much Like, you armor. cannot fight her. I mean, you can fight her. But it's it's an uphill battle. You need to have really good like composition synergies to justify Reinhardt for that. And they're regrouping and looks like they're going through main once again. I'll be honest, I'm questioning the Reinhardt pick into um May yeah. and Risa. Ooh. Yeah. The charge right into the wall didn't go anywhere. It's a little rough. Exo being the first one down in this fight. It's a 4v5. Yep. But the May wall able to create space. Another May wall in. And the charge gets stopped. And the May ult. But... Oh, they get the Lucio. Does the Lucio survive? Capital... Okay. They do. They were able to. They did manage to kill him. I am... Maywall is just not quite in the right position. Reaper is able to pick up McCree. Yeah, just man Reaper he left. Himself. Oh. Almost timed that right. That would have been great. Yeah. Now, one advantage you do have against the Risa team as Reinhardt is they have oh, no shield. Off so, Risa, Shanna but... is going to do work. Oh, yeah. However, Maywall. Maywall. If they Maywall the Shanna, um... Yeah. Sad time. Oh, and they rush in really Engaging quickly. with the blizzard in center point. Yeah. Wow. This is okay. just um, brutal. That was... I was not ready for that. How would they be ready for oh. that? Oh. Oh, no. Wow. That was abusive. Yeah. Yeah. However, thanks to it being such a quick team fight, Red Team has time for, like, a really Big solid group. fight or two scrappy ones and they do have the Reinhardt if they oh, can manage the to do... now here is where the Reinhardt will do work um wow well it won't no be work chance. now all I yeah. can say is wow I am a broken record and I blue team really this. not getting punished on these no Really, really good old usage from the blue team. Oh, got the Maywall. Oh. I didn't even hit the Arisa because Arisa. Oh, Arisa pinned. But, pinned but there goes the beat. Uh, oh, oh. Kitsune buff. Yeah, uh, I highly doubt Red Team will be able to win this. Yeah. Also, they have shown that they are pretty decent at these types of fights. This is rough. Just with a Kiriko and Tracer, only Kiriko. So that's map one, going 
to the favour of the salty sailors. Yeah, I think this is going to be the blizzard ult. Uh, it was... Oh. oh, no! It's this one. By the way, there... I'm pretty sure the shield actually drops before a resalt hits. Yeah, it got broken. Which is... Well, it didn't really matter because it doesn't break the ult. I mean, the ult goes through it anyway, but still. Shows how much damage the enemy team was outputting. Mm. I think now they need to reassess, especially red team, needs to reassess how they're doing these games. Yeah. And the blue team should reassess their hero picks. Like, come on, you were almost... And based. Glorious. You were almost based, exactly. But, I mean, if it's working for them, winning is always, you know... Winning. They're winning. Yeah. If it works, why fix it? If it works, then... Am I allowed to show a sneak peek of the Grand to Trophy? Um, yeah, you can show a sneak peek of the, the trophy. The grand trophy they will win is right here. Ooh, look at it fly with its gold wings. It's going and moving and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is a dragoon with a sword, also known as a Twitch mod, but, um... Oh. You so... will be getting a gilded Twitch mod as the prize. A gilded Twitch mod? The, wow, win no, the winners I mean, will become Twitch mods. No questions asked. No, no, questions... I, no, are, no, no, no. Questions are definitely getting asked. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's, it's like Why would you want to be a Twitch mod? Uh... Oh. The words of the... Um, yeah, don't, don't listen to him. No, the bribery happens behind the scenes. We don't do it live. Man, I don't yeah. know how to edit, like, where a team is, like, on... How do I pick a team defense and one team to be not defense? You know? Uh, you can just move them manually if you're ready. <laughs> There's the move button. Uh, red team is always attacking first, I think. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just fine as is. Thank you, thank you. I am, in fact, a purple dragon. Uh, you can see here we have the Dragoon, we have the Buta, and then we have, um, I don't know what this is. Is that a, a human? Oh. Uh, I think it's a CGD. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes more sense. I'm an anime boy, alright? Anime boy, alright. Unfortunately. Now yeah. we'll be able to see which are the teams. Are the teams really? Yeah, it's, yeah, they want it to be defense, so you don't swap them. <laughs> <laughs> Zero brain. It's like said, switch them because we want to be defense. It's just. Uh, yeah, no, they, they want it to be defense. They did not ask you to switch. <laughs> the game. other website is just uh, keep us as is. Oh, have... is the game on? Yes, yep. it is. We have Midtown. It's gaming time. Mm. We've seen previously that even, like, a team can be uh, pretty decent on King of the Hill. When it comes to more objective-focused game modes, they lose a lot of steam. Have you looked up at the cars in the sky? Like, I play on low, and they're just white, strange, car-looking shapes, and, and they're white I never and noticed that before. Those are yeah. a lot of cars, huh? I wonder if I can get yeah, them. Uh, that's no, so I'm, lame. I'm interested in seeing... Goddamn. Blue team... Ceiling. Are they actually playing Symmetra? No. No. Uh, Red team bring the... Oh, they have Grieve on Zenyatta. I think this can be a big gaming time. As we know, Zenyatta is one of the highest, like, 
damage healers in the game and capable of immense burst damage. I think that honestly, Zenyatta is a super good counter pick to playing Arisa because yeah, I, I think this is extra damage is insane. Like, not only the Arisa, also the Reaper. Yeah, if you discard the Reaper, and like, Reaper has a relatively big head, so Zenobs are gonna hit. Yeah, I, I think also... the Zenyatta pick is pretty decent. We just need to see enough pressure being put out to make it worthwhile. And they walk up the stairs. They want to go to the quarter of death. Mm. Oh man, oh, this is gonna be. No. I mean, there oh. are the two maze, but um, unfortunately, there are two maze, not just yeah. your own maze. So one pick on each side, lose it. Yeah, both maze. The maze are gone. The I mean, important thing is, can they capitalize on the Zenyatta? I think this short corridor should have been a pretty good place for it, but um, they are now tankless because. Yeah, Zenyatta yeah. is not the biggest healer. And now they're just getting cleaned up. Yeah, that yeah Zenyatta is... cannot run away without, you know, being helped. It just doesn't Zenyatta happen. does not run away. You kill or you die. We're very, very rough. But hey, that's just one team fight. They have yeah. quite a lot of time. Three minutes, well, now, two and a half. They're trying to push through the underpass. I think another Still... difficult part that they're having to deal with is that the two DPSs that are on blue team are both high health, like high survivability DPS players. Mm. Like Reaper and May both have an extreme amount of health and they can use, you know, self healing abilities. Yeah, they're really sticky. Wow. They're annoying to get rid of. But they do have the answer to that as well in the Zenyatta. They need yeah. to have better focus to actually delete the targets. Yeah. Also, now. They're coming with alts, and without, like, there's the May ult, but Zenyatta. There's a May ult on both sides, and um, Zenyatta doesn't save you from headshots from an icicle. It does. If you're already, like, getting team shot, it's 300 yeah, no, if, DPS if, a second. If the team is focusing you, no, but uh, if cool. it's just the May, yes, yeah, so it depends on the team's focus. And there comes so the May ult, and there's the oh, Zenyatta. Yeah. Will wow, there be a kill? Kiriko getting clipped by it. Yep. But, Man, yeah, awesome. this was what I was expecting. Yeah, there was two ults. They saved from one, but can't save from the second. Now... Oh, are I think they the gonna blue team spawn a, doors? You know, blue team has the Lucio ult. They do not so, touch the spawn doors. I mean, red team has three ults. Two of which are incredibly high power, and the third one that is, um, I don't think visors that impactful against this team, but it can be nice against, like, health pressure the Lucio, like, oh. mid team fight. Gets no Perfect one. use of Everyone Suzu. disengages. Everyone yeah. disengages. Suzu is Wizard. such a good counter to that. And is it me yeah. or has. A this is where the visor can do a lot of work, but I think oh. the. They're just getting a bit too much pressure. And yeah. Gets. This is winnable for red team, however. Well, there was no coordination. They were kind of all picking yeah. three different fights. 76 gets destroyed, and then once the tank is gone, mm -hmm. there's nothing that red team can really do to just hang on here. Yeah. I think red team did have, like, they had three fights, but two of those were ones they were winning. If they managed to capitalize on that, that could have been really big. Instead, they're getting um, frozen in spawn. Touch the spawn doors. Touch the spawn doors. That's a full hold. Absolutely brutal. Wow. This is too sad. Now we'll see. Can they do the same on offense? I do think that this first hold area is a pretty strong area. There's a lot of avenues for the defenders to, to mm. you know, protect from. Because going through the Tunnel of Death is useless. Holding the main um, 
low caution whatever entry area is a great area and then even when you back up you still have the fire truck and some even the stairs to play off of um that are really good angles for defense it's just a problem is that if you get run over in one fight it's already that's it you can't you are no fight lose territory i think one big thing that needs to be taken into consideration is that blue team knows they only need that one fight yeah so they can just like they can design their entire team comp around it. They're not doing it, but they could. <laughs> a Torbjorn pick and Symmetra. They're going for hard defense. They're, they're hoping for the full hold. They have the Zarya. They have the Torb. They have the Sim. This is just going to be a relatively spammy comp, and they hope the Zarya is going to be able to take enough. Five. I don't think this is necessarily the worst like picks. Because, for example, Torbjorn turret is much harder to remove when your DPS are Reaper May. But I don't think it's necessarily going to do enough. Going inside. The sneaky Torbjorn turret is not going to be the best way to use it in um, this kind of fight. Yeah, it's... they take all the turrets out. Yeah. And now they're going to rotate. They're going for a close quarters fight. They're going to try to rotate and just walk onto point without ever approaching any open. And now they force a CQC fight on point. Cat gets a pick on Lucio. Yeah. The Torb turret is doing a lot of work here. They can't push comfortably. Yeah. Not the location for the Torb turret. Uh, unfortunately, the Torb turret... Yeah, uh... And Lucio it was, was doing good work, in. but it should, like... I don't know why they're trying to push with Torb turret. They can just hold with it. Yeah. Grieve is low. Grieve is the first one to go down. We lose the support. We lose the tank. No. Uh, top turret gets killed. Yep. And I don't think this um, is too winnable. Nope. Symmetra is not known for 1v5s. And that's that. And that was the match. Now the, this was the game four, so uh, CGD, I think you'll be going. You'll Is lose it? this bracket match. He's against the coalition. Baldrick, well the gaming. So while yes. loser's bracket has a uh, Bald Raccoons versus the coalition, in winners we'll be having Quasi Quillers versus Senworld. Worth it. <laughs> I may have turned a little bit British. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great. Okay. It's not, it's uh, they're, what, you eight hours ahead of PST, so you're at 10.30? I am currently enjoying um, a very nice Sunday. <laughs> oh. The, you're a little bit further ahead than yeah <laughs> it's 030 for me right now yeah i've for some reason i took two and added it together and i just add two and they i don't know i'm not very smart okay let's see here what's the next one Check next one bracket. for winners is the quillers and send world so right, well, then i'm gonna go find my team yeah, we you enjoy. Uh, may you have good soldier ults there. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, the world was um. Oh. Disappeared into the void. Rest in peace. Will never be seen again. So that's ex cavalier and and is in the steam, right? Okay, they seem to be having some uh, roster issues, so we'll be enjoying a nice little chat here. And I'll be enjoying another sandwich. I'll be right back, I guess. So if you want more pictures of sandwiches, 
go to uh, Discord dot gg slash um we have no vanity link unfortunately let, let me check is there a or discord dot gg slash uh what's the dragoon Selen. court name just slash you can just call yeah you can just join the dragoon court and the ninja court uh link should be available there yeah we hold tournaments who doesn't like tournaments and video games yeah anyway back to sandwich haiku Okay, so Okay, so most of the issues do seem to be continuing. Well, how's chat? Are you enjoying uh, watching this amazing gameplay? We did have a top 500 Mercy. Grieve is actually a verified top 500 Mercy player. Uh, verified by himself, but well, um, I didn't check. So I'm just going to assume that's true. Mm. There is a losers bracket match starting up soonish, so we might go watch that. Depending on how the roster issues go. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's Mister Grip himself. Did you enjoy your match against the um? Was it soaking sailors? Yeah. Don't worry if the name keeps changing. I do not remember names. So... We have Sinworld, headed by Anizan, versus, yeah, so, the, by the looks of it, we will go watch the Losers Bracket game, and we'll at least see a bit of high quality gameplay. Are people gaming yet? Uh, we'll have to go look at the Losers Bracket game temporarily, so. I see, I see. Well, I'll be here making uh, a sandwich, waiting for the game invite. Yeah, I was uh, unable to invite you by leaving the custom game. Uh, or... Exit. Leave the game. Yep. But last time I was in the custom game. Mm, oh. Sometimes um, Blizzard is a bit um, Blizzard. Yeah. Oh, apparently the loser's bracket is also having oh, <laughs> roster man. difficulties, so, um... <laughs> Whoa, uh, difficulties? What difficulties? Here is a gun dragoon. A dragoon with a gun. I can't believe you gave him a gun. Who gave him a gun? And why is he pointing it at my head? This is a cry for help. I mean, I'm glad it's your head and not mine. Oh no, the mini dragoon is going rogue and it's pointing at your head now. Isn't that very concerning? 
and very entertaining, must I say. Whoa, now it's doing backflips. Who doesn't love backflips? He's a very talented Dragoon. Yeah. It can shoot a gun with its mouth only. So... Who doesn't love guns? Um... And so all the... Uh... Here's a normal Dragoon without a gun. Watch out! Oh, wait, I think the winner's bracket might actually be getting fixed. Oh, nice. Are we out of this uh, loser's bracket? Yeah, so... Time to check. Uh, there we go. We're doing our best. Oh, oh. I'll see. The game will be uh, slowly created over time. Wow, I almost clicked exit to desks. De desktop. I am very cool. And now... Whoa, we're back. Yeah. We'll be enjoying the wonders of... um. Is this supposed to be Blizzard World? I'm very worried. I think this is still in the process of setting up. We'll just, uh, yeah. So, chat, how have you been enjoying this tournament so far? Any Overwatch 2 gamers in here? Remember, you too could be in this tournament. Yep. If you join the Nijicod Tournament Discord. Uh, you, you cannot sign up anymore. Oh. You, you should have done it before. True. I think the signups are closed. We are not taking here? new signups mid tournament. But except for subs actually. Yeah, I yeah, think I we might have signups up for subs. If anyone wants to be a substitute in case someone just cannot make it, we're open. We do have demand for the subs. But surely nothing will go wrong ever. Nothing has ever gone wrong in any of these streams. Nope. At all. Uh, in the meantime, while we wait, I will be um, also intaking some food. Unfortunately, it is not a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I have no idea what I will find when I go look into my fridge. Good I will luck. inform you later once I return. Alright, here I am, enjoying my good old sandwich. Well, not really, I haven't made it yet, but hey, everyone loves some raw peanut butter. Yum, yum, yum. I do love entertaining. 
Entertaining is my passion. And so is eating. Not really, though. I just eat when I'm hungry. So, how are y'all's days doing? Mic audio is quite quiet. How's this? Ah, uh, better. How much delay do we have? Oh, I don't want to think about that. Nice. Well, here we wait. Well, Peanut is getting his uh, meal. What would a Buddha eat? We know that Dragoons like peanut butter sandwiches, but what do Rosemi fans like? Roses? <laughs> I heard roses. Ah, uh, yeah. I was indeed saying roses. So now the other team for this game is um, the Quasi Quillers. I'll go quickly check in on them. Uh, the Quillers are. Yeah, it is this team. So I'll come back in a short period. Oh, he is gone, reduced to atoms into the void. Just like CGD, he is totally not playing a game of Overwatch right now. He's dead, buried. Also, some fancy pancakes do sound good for a pig. Not, you know, in real life, but in some children's book, sounds like a pig would steal some, and then the moral of the story would be, don't steal food or you will be really bad person. Okay, they're joining in now. Whoa. You just reappeared from the void. I did appear from the void. How was it? Is it nice? Uh, dark. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's where all Overwatch players come from, so... True, not false. When will it be gamer time? Uh, once they're 50 person joins and they say they are ready. Awesome. Also, I wonder how fed up people will be with Lijiang Tower by the end of this tournament. I would never. Granted, I don't have to pay, uh, play, but like... <laughs> Lijiang is Lijiang. Who hates Lijiang? No one hates Lijiang. Uh, the maximum amount of Lijiang a team will have to play is six games. Ah, good enough. Also, OBS has a red circle. It's probably because I'm streaming right now, but I haven't noticed it all this time. So surely it's not a bad thing. I Don't hope. worry, even if the stream fails, we'll still have our amazing gamers gaming. Yep, and that's what it's all about. It's a lot all about the gaming. In the Nijikor tournament server, we have a lot of gamers, as you may know them. They do be gaming. Now, we can talk about the two teams. We have the... Uh, I believe these are uh, Ike Evelyn's fan discord. The Crazy Quillers. Sorry, the Crazy Quillers. I see, I see. And who's the they other are all team representing? Children. 
The other team is the Sen World from Assorted Servers. They were all solo signups. Ah, I see. And they did have to get a substitute for this match. But I have great faith in them. They showed a lot of promise in their last match. Absolutely. Well, yeah, that's why they're in winner side. Yep. They are... God, I, I need to stop saying gaming. My God. He's gaming! Hmm. I mean, I do not uh, recommend for anyone in chat to try a drinking game where every single time the word game or some form of it is mentioned on stream, you drink. Because alcohol poisoning is not good for your health. Real. This is uh, very surprising, I know. <laughs> or should I say, gaming? Oh dear god. Now go, take a drink. Whoever not... Whoever didn't follow... If you keep doing this, I'm going to go actually get a drink. <laughs> I'm going to start doing the drinking game. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, they don't call it a game for nothing. I mean, I am still, you know, a caster, even if in name only, so I'm not drinking on stream. Um... However, once the stream is done... Wouldn't it be, like, actually 5 a.m. when the stream is done? Yes! That's when magic begins. I guess. Uh, that was not, um, hypothet- like, uh... Okay, I- my brain is not functional, but yeah, uh... That was not a I actually am capable threat. of playing Magic the Gathering after the stream ends, so, um... So if I will be gaming. 5am Magic the Gathering gaming... Join the Niji Core tournament server. No, no, that's the um, Ena Alouette fan discord. Ah, yeah. That one. Join all we the We have Niji Magic Discords. the Gathering Commander Knights every week at 3 a.m. my time. Huh. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, yeah, now I've uh, plugged that other discord. Uh, oh yeah. Why the fuck am I the leader? Uh, we'll be starting the game. Hey, time to clean my hands. Now arriving at Li Jiang's tower. And so now we have Li Jiang tower. Oop, that's... Oh, oh my god. We might see Genji gaming. Uh, that would be very cool. So now, we have yet to see a game from the Quillers. However, we do know somewhat what Sin World is up to. And it will be interesting to see how these two teams match up against each other. Uh, so who's who? Uh, Sin World is the blue team. And the Quillers are the red team. I see. Quillers seem to be running... Oh, they're running Winston. This is interesting. Monkey. Well, blue team is... Uh... Diva. Yeah. Genji Diva is a pretty nice combination. Since uh, if you Genji dash into an opponent while Diva also dives on them, Five. most 200 HP heroes will just die from that. Two. One. Round one. Die the is... McCree... Is sure. uh, looking to keep the backline safe. Yeah. It looks like monkey. A solid the really aggressive monkey gaming. But he's They're really taking up space. And a yeah. bubble. How that bubble kind of. Now the Diva's isolated. They might be able to. No, they do not. They are not able to capitalize on it. And the blue team tries walking in on point. McCree just going yep. in there. However, uh, the Genji's dead. I think McCree's taking a lot of pressure. Managed to survive. And the Diva being pushed. Oh, oh. Winston going for the Mercy. Mercy managing to get away. 
Mercy Res. Oh, what shut down. Scramble. Genji's gaming. Wow. Came back ah. to spawn into two. Double kill on both the supports. I thought Blue Team shut. was going to come out on top, but it was just such a large scramble that. It was such a long fight, and Red yeah. Team had the first death, I think. Yeah, and. They managed so he managed to, to come in, quickly. and it's never 2k on the unprotected supports. Yeah. And what is this fight? They are fighting on two planes of gravity. Yeah, um, the idea there is that the Winston stays on the high ground so he can contest it. And if they push a low ground, the Winston can just drop on them, deal damage, maybe get a pick, and then just jump back up to safety if he's getting pressured too much. Uh, now the Winston is 1v5-ing. That this is why you should stand on the high ground by default. But, uh, yeah, Genji Blade. You are just getting staggered. This is really brutal. Are they? Oh my god, they're actually staggering her. Oh. Yeah, I think Red Team has really good coordination as a team. It looked very, like, very equal. That, that Diva Stagger was evil. Extremely. In a good way. <laughs> For that but I'm really surprised the Winston game. isn't just sitting on the high ground and, like, keeping it contested. He is just constantly. Yeah, he, he's doing jumping damage. up there. Uh, the Ramatra pick could be doing a lot here. However, the red team does have a Reaper, and I don't know if. Blue team can even contest. Do they have a contest? Ramacho trying to go to contest, but uh, can he do it? Mercy contesting! Wow. And uh, now the Ramatra Mercy uh, 2v5. Uh, I doubt it's gonna work, but maybe it could buy it. Uh, Ramacho might be able to get alt if the team gets that. No, they got the Mercy. Ramacho's just gonna melt here. Oh, uh. Blade, but there's the barrier. But oh, that was an animal. Wait, no. What am I... Oh. Oh. I'll look like a setup for a great comeback. I, I think but... these are... Yeah, I, I'm really interested in what we'll see in future games because Red Team's cooperation is really nice. Yeah. However, Blue Team also has, like... Uh, for example, did you notice that Nano Blade there? Yeah. Almost. Yeah, they're like... Turn the tide of the These fight. are looking very good. Although it was a hundred to zero at the end, there were many spots where it looked like blue team would mm. take the point. Also, red team is doing a really good job at controlling where the blue team goes. Five. Like, they just couldn't even get out of spawn for a while. But then once they did, they have a lot of play. So it's... They played the angles. Yeah. The correct I'm, way. Like, Red Team is actually doing really good at playing the angles. Oh no! Blue Team split. Blue Team split. I think this is going to be really brutal for them. Unless the Ramatra pulls the entire team's focus. Ramatra has no heals here. Oh, wait. Anna got a lot yeah. of sight on him. So he is. Yeah, this safe. might actually pay off as wow. long as the Ramatra doesn't melt too hard. Oh no! I mean, ha ha. Yeah. Don't fall off. Lol. <laughs> Are they not? Uh, Red Team is not taking the point. Just trying to They're clean up instead. Yeah. yeah. But... I don't think that's necessarily the wrong choice, but also that is like 15% not yeah. taken. It's not like uh, the enemy team was already retreating, so... Yeah, so it's... Uh... This is interesting. The Robacha trying to push bridge uh, did not oh, learn from the Lucio boop. Yeah. That tank buff of I mean, the, the 30% uh, reduction for... Yeah, but the problem is, it's not just the Ramatra. If, like, the Arna tries to follow up, that's, uh... That's a boop. They, they do need to push from the left side. Like... That high ground is being... Wow, the mobility yeah. of the red team is absolutely paid. Red off. team is really utilizing the mobility well. I yeah. agree. Like this is, I'm They're... really impressed by the Winston and the way he's oh. utilizing the range. 
but oh no no Ramacha. Two, this is scary this is scary one. this is very scary just just like that oh oh, oh. oh my Mercy, boo. wow we were just talking about how the red team perfectly used their movement and positioning but the one time they were caught off guard it resulted in the team fight flipping over yeah, <laughs> that was despite the Nano Ramatra getting boot. And then, yeah, they just take it back with ults. Oh! The Blading Gage is purple. This could be big. Uh, he gets away. And. Yeah. yeah. Reaper ult. Death Blossom, but the Death ulting nothing. monkey does manage to make it not hit anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. However. One thing you need to keep in consideration is that Ramatra ult is still there. It's going to force the point clear. So. It's so strong. It's like Reaper ult, but on steroids for... It is definitely um, an ult that was designed by the Blizzard design team. Yep. And now the Reaper might on... be getting punished. Yeah, the Reaper is dead. They not have but... his cooldowns ready. And the Ramatra ult. just directly in the... Um, did not ult. Does not have heals. The Winston bubble was bopping. This was a oh. really nice bubble again. Yeah. Because blue team's healers just couldn't keep the Ramatra alive. So, good play by the Ramatra. I, I think the Winston heal. is doing so much. Like, a lot of little stuff that is being massive in these fights. Yeah. And they do not manage to get back. Like, red team has really nice, like little things they're doing that are just snowballing. Once again, all I can say is wow. <laughs> yeah, I believe this is going to be the... Yeah. See? Um, confined space. Genji ult. That's 4k. Huh. Yep. And the diva gets staggered there. Uh, it's... It is not a fun time for the diva in that situation. Not at all. And here we are back at the studio. Let's see, what will the next map be? Also, I made another sandwich. So, if you want to see a half-eaten sandwich, go to the Niji Cord Tournament Discord server. Yeah! I will post at the end of the stream the full sandwich. So, just think of this as the prepayment. I will quickly go check what the blue team wishes to do uh, for their map as I am in control of the lobby. I see, I see. Oh, and into the void he goes. Let's hope that his journey is swift and not... Not doing so a very thorough connection. He's back. Yay. Yep. My throat is still... Lucio, ah! I, I think there's a lot of things we can talk about from the last half. We had the Lucio boobs. Yeah. Like, absolutely massive. Then the Winston with the bubbles, the positioning. Really nice. Yeah. I just fell from my chair. Like, the whole chair went backwards. I'm on the ground. Mm, that's why you shouldn't have chairs. Furniture is dangerous to you. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Man, what gamer chairs do to someone. I swear. Invention made by most evil person in the world, I guess. Ugh. 
I mean, gaming chairs were made for gamers, so it is not surprising. I don't think gamers around the world were meant to have all this power. Oh, there's a True. piece that fell out. Oh, that's that's awesome. <laughs> Hopefully, I can find where that's it came from. Concerning. Uh... Oh, I have found the hole it came from. Yep, I'm okay. I hope you are. Yep, I'm just pushing a piece of rubber in a hole. Uh, now we'll have map two going. Oh, so. Yep. Back to scene. Entering game. Now, what map? We'll be going to Midtown again. Again. This will be another interesting one since Midtown has a lot of little ledges you can utilize with a uh, Winston based composition. Like, for example, uh, on first point, you have the stairs, which you can just zap people off of, or the fire truck. Yeah, those and just really get some poking. pokey spaces are very nice for Winston. But it does depend for what the attacking team is doing. Uh, there's some little tricks. Like, for example, we saw in the last game where they just rotated straight to point. So they never had to fight in a position that would be disadvantageous. But if they try to do that against Winston, there's a little door next to the point. That a Winston can just uh, like sit on top of and zap everyone as they come in. Ah, I'll just now both my teams. Later. Both teams seem to have gone to a Winston-based strategy. Uh, defense on Kiriko and Brigitta. Greg. What a yeah. wacky choice, huh? Uh, the attackers are. There is no attack tub. I am sad. <laughs> They're going for a pretty standard. Just rush in there and kill. There's everyone. the Reaper in there, but everything else are pretty much bog standard. And they get through. Wow. They just yeah. power through the choke point. I I believe going for the mirror against them is not the best option, as they do know how to utilize their own composition. They've hopefully been practicing. <laughs> they do seem to have, like, I don't know if they practice as a team how much, but at least individually, they are pretty decent yeah. players. And the defense yep. cleans up. Although, the... wait, wait a second. That's the offense. <laughs> yeah, that is the offense. I, I was wondering. <laughs> Where's the defense? Yeah, uh, I was about to yeah. say. Yeah. Now we'll see. And they These teams are once almost. Again. Uh, what happened? They are just going in. Yeah. Like, no pre fight poking. They're just. Oh! There's a. Yeah, no, this is the correct way to play these comps. They are just trying to kill the enemy team. Like, Trust you don't want to poke skills. with this comp, since your healing is lower due to the Lucio slash Brig. You just want to get into the fight and kill enemies and just keep killing them. That's, for example, why the Genji is so big on the red team. Because if you can just keep snowballing with the Genji, every single dash is an extra 50 damage on the next target. You know, a really good strategy, I thought, for going against these teams is just not dying. Well, That's yeah, that, that right? does seem to be the winning strategy. Most teams that win have less dying. Oh, true, true, true. However, correlation does not equal causation. I have seen teams lose with less dying as well. So you need to do it right. You need to not die on the point. I see, I see. So you do yeah, die. Yeah, it's a very complex playing. strategy. Possibly. I see, I see, I see. So here... I mean, not dying on the point is the core strategy of many successful uh, historic compositions, such as the 
Man. Uh, team fight. Yeah, this is a lot of alts are being thrown around, and uh, that's a lot of flashing colors. I think red team kept the death blossom, while blue team used up all of their alts. So, I know there's the pulse bomb and the death blossom, and everything else is almost equal. Yep, one alt for each team. Red team going for the sojourn. I think they're gonna try and go for picks. As the blue team doesn't really have a shield, so if they poke out without a proper game plan, the Sojourn can do a lot of damage. Yeah, sacrificing that short range burst. That's uh, with death. Pulse Bomb. Ooh, but... that's rough. And the Reaper just going in for the Death Reaper's blossom. just going for the Death Blossom. Gets a kill. Red team grab and... the Kiriko. Yeah, and that's a really good one to snowball off. Now, Blue team has uh, their own break heals. Oof. And uh, that doesn't tend to win fights. Mm -hmm. So as long as red team has proper target focus, I think they're going to go well. Okay, blue team looks to try yeah. and... and they're, they're trying, but I think red team should be able to finish yeah, them off. Yeah, it's a 3v4 yeah. with a tank. So. Keeping the Winston is really big in this kind of composition. Yeah, so much health, so much spread damage. It's the the burst damage from Winston. Yeah. When you leap at someone, and then you can just health finish them off. See here, you can also see a little bit of difference in the Winston playstyles. The blue Winston is a bit more aggressive in the, like, whereas the red Winston is really moving with his team. And that ends with a lot of cases where the blue Winston dies and the red one doesn't. And does this. You can see this is just slowly going in Red's favor. Yep, and does not see the Reaper behind him. Yeah, I was about to say, despite the soldier <laughs> completely ignoring the Reaper right behind him. And the Reaper does not. The Reaper yeah. trying to get the Death Blossom charge up, but um, 1v5 does tend to yeah. end you dying. Which, as we discussed, is a bad choice. Yeah, I was about to say. So you said that the Red Winston was playing with its theme more, therefore not dying more. Yeah, you, you can see a lot of this is like... Even just the Lucio going with him is doing a ton of work. Now, you can see the Kitsune there manages to turn the tides. Now, is the Winston going to try and be... A, yeah, the Winston stayed there as a teleport target for the Kiriko. Unfortunately, that did cost him his life, ultimately not necessarily being the correct choice. I don't know if 1v1-ing, well, technically not a 1v1, but close range fighting a Reaper does tend to have bad consequences for a Winston. Yeah, now we can see the red team the has two alts coming up next fight, while blue team has none. And red team has been pretty good even in altless fights, so... Oh, blue Winston in solo. He should be getting deleted. Wow. Kiriko manages to give him a bit of breathing room. But, uh... Kiriko gaming. Do you think, does he manage to survive? Does he manage to survive? Oh my god, this is massive. Survive. The, the Kiriko did so much there. Holy that shit. That, that was absolute Kiriko gaming. And they... But, yeah, the Kiriko had to use up all the cooldowns to save him. And now... He's keeping it up. And now... But you see here. The Winston jumps. Then Staggers they get... the Reaper. Yeah, this is not staggering, this is just finishing off. It's the last point. I guess, yeah. And in goes the monkey. Well, you see, yeah. The monkey in the... You can see, the red monkey is almost always next to someone. It's doing so much for them. And it's... Pulse from... so oh my help. god. Gets two. Almost full charge. Will I think Red third? Team is losing this fight. Blue Team managed to use their ult well enough. It's important for Red Team to realize that they cannot win this fight anymore. Even though the Sojourn got three pit, three kills that fight. Yeah, you know, the problem is Blue Team's respawn is there. Yeah. You can't take. You need to win the fight. You can't just not lose. How about now? Blue team has the high noon, which can do massive work if red team mismanages their cooldowns. And the McCree's looking for it. 
He's oh well, not anymore. Yeah. I was gonna say no, he's on they're the jumping the tree. And no. Yeah, this is exactly what I was waiting for. Get the Lucio. It it zoned them. They couldn't use the Kiriko ult effectively. And now yeah. You yeah. see, red team isn't losing this fight, but the problem is the blue respawn is right there. They can't win anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even a draw is a loss. Like, this fight is unwinnable unless they are, like, just, I don't know, incredibly good. And I don't think the team difference has been that big. And we were looking at red team as and if now we're they getting were a uh, third commentator. The... Hey, who is that? It is mine. I see. Like uh, uh, Legion to... Overwatch player. Let me put him on the table real quick. Um, da -da -da. Uh, oh wait, I can't put him on the table, or I'll change everything. Uh. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to do it like this. Yeah. I hate how you can't update spec size mid-match. Yeah. It'd be like that. Uh, do you want me to stream? Is he in game? Yeah, he's in game. I uh, just have him... If somebody disconnects, he's gonna join a team, but we'll have to figure that out then. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, we have both teams playing some form of dive, yeah. at least theoretically. Yeah. Both sides playing the monkey rush. It's just that red side seems to not up, up not for the Lucio, which is interesting. Because normally when you run this uh, kind of like monkey rush style, you usually want the beat helps you sustain through rush and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But it also helps we'll see how they work with the it. Reaper. Oh, definitely. Where is oh, blue side monkey? Was a knew it. Not with his team at the moment. She's still coming back yeah. to spawn. Blue team has having really big problems with the monkey not playing with the team, or the team yeah. not playing with the monkey. It is reciprocal. Anyway, it's just a standard ass poke in here. Blue side monkey. Yeah. Immediately goes to force point instead, which is an interesting choice to say the least. Since already comes out, blue blue gets a pick on the other Genji. This should go in favor of blue side. They have more pressure, more. Your surroundings on everyone, and yeah, everything gets cleaned up because of that. It's just area advantage in general. Looks like a repeat. Surprised that Red wasn't able to capitalize on that just jump there, because they split three two. Should have been fairly easy enough for them to get some pressure on that, but surprised they didn't get anything out of it. Looks like a repeat of last round, but <clears throat> way quicker. Seems like they got their strategy sorted. I think the incredibly aggressive Winston playstyle is paying off on attack, whereas yeah. on defense it was a bit of a detriment. Possibly, but no. usually in this kind of mirror... Actually, neither team is running Sojourn either, so that actually changes things a lot as well. Maybe yeah, we're it's, just, running. it's just whoever mods the monkey first, generally, in this content. Yeah. yeah. Susan comes out early for red side. And monkey... Blue monkey's in. I'm, su I'm surprised if he doesn't die here. Yeah, she just tends to go in and not die. <laughs> yeah. Just no picks at all for either side, despite how low their monkey is. Monkey's one! Finally goes down to, down to the right side. Blue pulls out the blade, trying to turn this blade. fight. But uh, I think it's just too far for them. Does not focusing too much on Lucio and can't get a kill there. Get a kill. And it's a fight one for red side. <clears throat> now the ults are looking in favor of red, having almost all five of them coming up. Hyun on blue side just swapping off the Genji to the Cassidy now. I'd expect for a rush to come out and a blossom if possible on red side, and I'd want to see blue side mirror with beat. That monkey Wait, just waiting we'll to drop down. Here. And goes Jumps in, don't agree with that. B comes out early for red side, don't think they really needed that one, and they just go with aid instead. That death block. By the way, that's only two ults used, none on the one for blue side. Honestly, if you're blue, I'd take that trade. You got yeah. beat out early, so you have a free rush here. And you can beat on top of the uh, free blossom. Just looking at the alt economy, blue should be winning this fight here. 
these teams tend to either either have complete blowout fights or they just take forever. Yeah. That's kind of how mirror mashups usually go. It's just whoever plays that uh, composition better. Reaper gets forced out. The timing is off for the Reaper and the Lonesome Dog. Reaper actually gets booped into blue side backline. Blue doesn't even get a chance to ult, and they've already lost this fight. No one's on the same page at all. Blue side monkey tried to blue side reaper tried to TP on top of the scaffolding, and monkey was just jumped in right as soon as he raised it out. Just no coordination on that at all. They're trying to be very aggressive, which worked out on them in the control part of the map, but it doesn't look like it is working out right now. As a monkey jumps directly on the payload. And the high noon. With red side Kiriko going down that early, it was going to be hard for them to turn around, even with the rush popped. Not surprised that Blue took that one, but knew it! What are you doing, good, there, good sir? You had an ult, you could have stayed alive through that, but he does not have to pop it. Instead, basically losing that team fight one handedly because of that one mistake. Feels bad. Seemed like they were because on I watched with the payload, but indeed they just came back and cleaned up. Yep, especially because of how Overwatch 2 is now with only one tank. If you lose your tank, you have nearly no chance to turn it around. And all situations are. still looking better for Blue. They still haven't popped that rush. They've been holding it for like three minutes now. I really want to see that come out as soon as possible now. On the opposite Bandit. side, they have beat mirror. They they're opting going under straight to point. Interesting. So instead of challenging for high ground, waiting for the drop, and then rush comes out. Yep. And they layered beat on up. top of it. Beat for the other and side, same through, but they still get a pick. There's still a couple ults left to be clicked. Indeed, there are. Easy comes out. And not necessary. Oh, good. It seems. There's mm -hmm. only the Winstons left. Maybe he could get a pick. But doesn't seem likely. Nope. And Red should just lift it back out here. Third point. And goes for the pulse bomb. Does not land it. Unfortunate for him. <clears throat> Anzian, Xcav, they both have their, their DPS ult here. I'd be looking for either one of them to pop off. Red side will also be coming up on the Blossom as well. And the uh, Kirka Rush. We did see a Nano Blade last round, but there is no Ana here, so we'll have no to No Ana, but there's also no beat on blue side either to respond, so I expect them to pop out with uh, that at a Blade as soon as possible. Instead, opting to focus the Winston, oh. and this seizes out, and I'd like to see the Blade here. Still holding the Blade, interesting. Still holding the Blade. And... Huh. And will anyone ult anytime soon? Yeah, it's like a team fight, right? No one. It's supposed to be a team fight, but no one's trying to <laughs> ult. No one's looking to win this. It's like both of them are poking at Shook like it was Hanamaru first. Yeah, I was just saying earlier. Wow, well, with these kind of comps, there is no poking. And then. Nira looking to try and go for the Death Blossom. Doesn't find anyone in front of him, so I'll just hold for it. Actually, I'm still just sitting in Shook, holding Blade here. Rush comes out from Hello World, goes in with the blade on top of it. You get 20 times the attack speed there, so you do, you get 12 swings in instead of the normal six. That's but a lot of only swings. Only gets the monkey from that. Indeed. 60 seconds. Now we just see the follow up come through, and get the last few picks. Blue side unfortunately just staggering themselves there, instead of dying on card. Now with only 40 seconds on the clock remaining, Blue needs to find it. A way to push it to that golden box of victory. <clears throat> we'll see what they, they opt to go for here. They have Rush, they have Beat, and they have Blossom coming up. They open with Rush. Good choice. Immediately pushing their backline back. But Nerot immediately pops the Death Blossom in the hey, blue backline and gets two there. And this should be a fight one for Red Side, considering the spawn advantage. But they opt to continue fighting this instead of going for a quick reset here. In my opinion, they lost that one early enough that they could have reset, but 
you just continue forcing it for the next 40 seconds, and that's just gonna be a one fight for red. Unless someone can pop out something being big, like Anzian going for the blast Death Blossom. And they're still on cart. Sort yeah, of. Stalling out for a surprisingly long time, but I don't see a way for blue to come back into this now. Yeah, I guess they must Not have thought a that death they had less five. time. Oh, does not... That's what comes wow. in, gets no one. Great bubble. Unfortunate. Maybe. As he comes in, that there's nah, there's no there's way that Lulu's going to turn this one, and this should... Right, they can't Tracer. get... Yo, Tracer gets a pulse bomb on Shadow! And the Tracer. That gives him an opening, but Blade comes in, Blade, and this should the mean the end of the oh. round. They, they stalled that for a surprisingly long time, though. Yeah. I That was surprising. Monkey played the game from Mew It. <laughs> Monkey just swinging his hands. Catch those hands. Alt gaming. So, what's the scoreline for the series then? I cannot remember. Two all uh, red team wins, I think. Yeah. Whoa, we're on the studio. Oh. Mine, you are awfully close. Yo, quote, Please unquote. get away. No, I want to stop going in your corner. Uh, mine. There's mine. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. So, I've been pushed away. Next I've been game rejected. will be. By the looks of it, yeah, it's Sailors versus the Quasi Quillers. So, the red team will be the same, and then you will get another team facing them. At least I think. Right, uh, blue team lost first round into... yeah. Man, the penguin talking is so good. <laughs> Shoutouts to... Uh... I didn't it. Wait, who made these? Is it Raider or Antian? Anyway, shout outs to our artists in the Niji chords. Some really cool people people here. I think I'll be needed as a sub for a team, so you two will keep going from here. I'll give mine the owner. Sounds good. What? <laughs> okay. I, I was also just given it, so now you get it. Huh. I don't think it's even necessary. Okay. There's going to be a new uh, lobby bar. And here we watch. Uh, as a boot yeah, gonna... is about to disappear into the void. In three. I'm just going to quickly invite you two in here. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, start subbing. At least, I, oh, uh, is it not working again? Well, I blame Blizzard. Mm. I'm out of the <laughs> match. Just a lobby. Yeah, So, what round of the tournament are we going to be watching right now? I do not know, because I have not updated on the bracket yet. I, see. Fact, I don't know who's on who, so... At least you just got here from my other tournament that I just played. And... Uh, went to Game 5 on that tournament, actually. And uh, it was at the Razor Store here in San Diego. Did you win? Yes, we did. 3-2. to two. Nice. Did you get like a free razor mouse or something? I could have chosen a mouse, I could have chosen a headset, I could have chosen the Xbox Elite controllers. Instead, Ooh. I went for the Genshin mouse pad. God damn, weeb. It's a base pick, okay? They didn't have any other newer mice or uh, on giveaway. They had the Death Hunter V2 and they had the Viper V2. 
If it was the Death Adder V3, I might have gone for it, but unfortunately, no. They do not have those. So, what team was this? Uh, Same red team as the last, but I don't know who's on blue side. I can't remember what red team as the last was that. Oh, I think this is a coalition. Uh, is it? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> Coalition and seeking someone, soaking semen. No, that was two matches ago, I think. Oh. Okay, there we go. There's the bracket. No, oh, there's crazy Just quillers in the soaking semen. Uh, sorry, but here we say the men of the sea. We don't want to get TOS. Maybe. <laughs> Once was a ship that put to sea, and the my ship was a billionity. Down the below, my billy boys blow. Soon may the willow men come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. When a tongue in his then we'll take a leave and go. That penguin really is putting his heart and soul into that song. <laughs> God, it's so amazing. What up? And there's the what CGD. Uh, <laughs> Mr. VTuber. Mine was <laughs> massively surprised at CGD's appearance. Well, the... who wouldn't be? <laughs> just uh, suddenly appreciated, uh, uh, appeared next to me in the studio. Like, what the hell? They yeah, really I got the stars. Anime powers, man. You become an anime boy, you gain certain things unknown to mankind. Jesus. <laughs> Apparently, you got the, t the uh, ability to transcend space time. Yeah, you know, fourth dimension and all that. I think they they made a movie about it or something. Is it Interstellar, that... wasn't it? <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Sandra Bullock and me go way back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, anyways, uh, is the next game started? I was in the bathroom. Awesome. It has not started yet. All right, Are somebody ping me. On? When will we start? Uh, time to read. Ah, oh, God, I hate reading. Imagine reading. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. We should have... Sen World versus Ronin. Wait, what? Yeah, it should be Sen World versus Ronin. I see. Oh, maybe that's the... the lobby that we're in. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we were in the other. Wait, lobby. wait, 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 but. That one not may not necessarily need to be streamed. Man, TOing is hard. Mm. It's your first time, don't worry about it. And I'm not even doing anything really. <laughs> and I'm feeling <laughs> like, oh man, that's a lot of people. But hey, no. oh, my dog's freaking out. That's awesome. Imagine having a dog. 
So we should be running technically the Senworld and Ronin match at the same time as the Crazy Quillers versus the Soaking Sailors. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're in the Sailors. Uh, Senworld, didn't Senworld and Ronin have already gone through? They should have been playing earlier, but they yeah, the didn't. Last yeah. Huh. Well, we got another game to watch. Oh, wait, no, because Sen no, Senworld literally just lost to Quillers. So now yeah. they're down there playing it now, this time. Okay. It's slightly offset because of the buys. I don't. I think people don't understand how um, the w brackets and stuff work. Because uh, trying to explain how there should be two separate games running at the same time, and everybody is throwing question matches, question marks up. It's like we're gonna have soaking sailors versus the quillers, and that's gonna be the one shown on stream. And then in the losers bracket, then you'd have Sen World versus um, whatever the Ronin. other team is. I can't remember. Ronin playing at the same time. <laughs> okay. Anyway, gaming. Yeah, it's making. Let's check to see if they have a lobby created. Um. All right, Whirlpool says he has a lobby. Are you guys friends list with Whirlpool? Nope. No. It doesn't matter because we're already in the lobby anyways, though. Uh, we get in here. Oh, oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for inviting me, guys. You're welcome. <laughs> I invited you earlier. You just never accepted it, SMH. I was trying to deal with a few other people. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, gaming, gaming, gaming. That's some three more shots. So enjoy your alcohol poisoned afterlife. Adios, bitch. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you in the afterlife. All right. So we're asking the teams if they're ready now. All right. Here we go. Hey, it's... I'm not going to say it. I won't. My goodness. That took a lot of effort, but we're here. Indeed. Yeah. Far too much effort than it should have. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So who's gonna go for the Lucio Reddit rollout and go for the boop on the bridge? There hasn't we been watched... any. Yeah, because what we watched earlier, Whirlpool's team was afraid of the Lucio rollout and they always went on the inside route. 
uh, and they re refuse to go bridge because they're worried about that rollout. So I don't know if we'll see one. It's odd, considering if it's first flight, you should just be going bridge anyway. It's the much faster place to go. If you can get that control of outside, you have a lot better angles to fire onto the enemy team. Is that a widow? What? Yeah, it's just it's just spawn trolling most likely. <laughs> it's not that odd for a widow maker to be playing here on the uh, garden stage of Li Jiang, but it is definitely an odd one to say the least. The Torb though, I can yeah. get behind. On the I other have... side, yeah, switching off the Junker Queen, going to the Orisa. Red side, red side going the same thing that you saw last map. So we have the Orisa May Reaper here going up against the Winston instead, Where Winston Genji. Both sides running the same support style. Yeah, Quillen's had reaching. a little bit of a mishap with the teleporter, but they've gone the same route they went before where they're going to play inside the lab <laughs> building. And here comes the fight. Nero has to go to his first early. x goes down early as well. And this is a clean fight from Red Team. Yeah, Quiller just gets getting destroyed loose, Despite by Shadow this getting Lucio death by Whirlpool. <laughs> Quite Man, that fight was over instantly blinking. You miss it. If any wow. Everyone died on blue side. gets a three-man boop, I will make a montage of them. Well, you heard it here, folks. So if you're playing Lucio, go for the three-man boop. Doesn't matter what map, he didn't say. Yep, any map. All right, looks like that the Quillers are again map. going to the lab side and we get the dive by the monkey. Team is a little this bit split surprising. right now. Reaper is by himself. Yeah, oh, Reaper gosh. gets cut off by the... Reaper, unfortunately. Lucio frontlining, sadly. Genji goes Genji down, down with the ridge irritatedly. Caesar comes in from both sides. Wall. It's, it's very scuffy from both sides. But the one advantage that Red Side has is that they still have their supports. There's no way they're going to lose this one at this point. Yep. It's another fight won for Red. Man, why do they keep going inside this tight corridor thing? Can't they have consideration for the cameraman? <laughs> <laughs> Just go first person for someone. And honestly, yeah. that corridor is not that bad, but like... And especially considering you're running the May Reaper, actually, you have the advantage in close quarters. All right. Well, the one thing that right. I really they're... like coming up from red side is that they're trying to hit them on the rotates. That's when this comp, that blue side is playing, is the most vulnerable. Yep. Same thing. Here comes the monkey dive. They're playing inside. Monkey's kind of cut off. He is a primal. He's got them trapped in a room. Blade comes out as red well. That's three there. They would have been fine with just the two. Yeah. But they just really wanted that fight win, apparently. And then we invested three ults while blue barely had a chance to even play this game so far. Yeah, they still have Maze ult and they still have Beat, so we'll see how that plays into. Well, only thing that's going to come up on the other side is maybe Beat and the Reaper ult for the red team. Mm -hmm. now, Same push for? again on the inside. But way faster. Here May comes May. in here. And apparently Nico eats the Dragon Blade because Overwatch is a great game. That is... B Wait, comes out for red side. B comes out for both sides. And Apparently she threw it into the Orisa, uh, and yeah. even still with those ults, they were not able to win that one. Man, if that I had to guess, the reason why I said that it ate, if I had to guess, Rich threw the May Blizzard, it got deflected by the Genji, and then it got eaten by the Orisa, which is why it showed up as Orisa eating a Dragon Blade. New Marvel <laughs> video incoming. That was coming. wild. Um... Yeah, a lot Just of people don't know bugs. that Genji can reflect uh, her ult, May's ult, but then the fact that it not mm. only got reflected, but then went into the recent javelin spin is so weird. I don't think I've ever seen that in all of my hours of playing Overwatch. Projectile. That's the first for me as well. <laughs> yeah, you have many I'm more the, than I'm me. The one that <laughs> I'm the one that plays tournaments. <laughs> yeah, you're the one playing collegiate. Yeah. Same thing with the teleporter. Or, the next time they're actually able to get it down quickly, but they immediately switch back off to May. Monkey is isolated. Monkey gets zoned up. Thankfully, he can just jump away to safety, which is very good for him. Yep. Not the target you want to really look to isolate. Now, Blue Side just posturing on point. I like this from them. They're running the Orisa, so they're better at staying still. They want to get Dove on and catch that. They immediately turn for the Monkey. They will they get the kill here, though. They do no, not, they and they actually not. lose their Lucio instead. The Suzu coming in clutch. Genji in the back line. Able to take Reaper down. And this is an easy Honestly, fight. Easy Honestly, fight for the red I'm team. Not, 
Blue side may be playing a little bit better tactically, but like macro wise, but they do not have the micro to keep up with the red side by the looks of it. Oh. We'll see what they can do here though. Because even if you're done with on micro wise, you can just, as long as you make the right choices macro wise, you should be able to win these. Did the Winston just They're looking out to, to roll out from high ground here. They're, yeah, I mean, they're trying to like the counter player. the monkey with the Reaper, but it's just they're not able to get close enough before the Reaper gets taken out. Mm. Playing the height. I mean, I'm not really a fan of this. And they're just sitting there, not really going for anything here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're... there's no reason and... that, like, the red team should go in. Okay, here's the push, finally. Here comes the blade. Gets one. Spends Ew. most of it focusing on the Arisa. Gets two. And there's a team wipe. Indeed. I don't know what Blue was sitting around twirling their thumbs there for. Like, you're in position. You have the advantage. You should be dropping to take that. Yeah, like... Instead of just sitting there for a good solid 20%. That's a fight that you could have had there. Yeah, I think they were like winning or waiting to see if they would get a lucky pick and it just never came and then they go the same strategy again where they're going to go play the high ground. What what I think I'm so, noticing here They have no is, one to get a pick. Yeah, they don't have I mean they have now the Cassidy, but it's just what happens is they have one they strategy the and the one strategy doesn't work then that's that. And here comes the yep. primal rage. Mostly to keep himself alive, but they take the Kiriko down. Kiriko already had burned Suza early. This yep. shit really low here as well. Kind of shot with a good primal. B, oh, and then here comes Rush. Yeah. Reaper ult. And that's going to just, just mop everybody up. Far more, just far more ults on the red side. Much better micro and macro wise. This one's just looking like a roll here. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised that this is like the first definitive roll we've watched. Oh, I, did I have the teams backwards where Quillers was the ones? Oh, I might have. No. I did. Well. Well, that was a definitive <coughs> match. Very. There's no room for debating that one. Yeah. I think the problem is that we saw the same strategy over and over and over again. And even though it wasn't working, it was still mm -hmm. do the same strategy. It'll work this time. And it just, you know, everybody I mean, always. Not only like, that, but there was no decisiveness at all from the semen. It felt yeah. like they yeah. were waiting for the Winston cooldown, but then they took a couple seconds. And by the time they committed, the cooldown was already back. Yeah. Or That's maybe they were trying the to like, is blue. wait for the bubble. I don't know. Yeah. The thing is, even on the blue side, they're just sitting around for a solid 20% on high ground, not really doing anything. You're the one that needs to push. You can't wait for anything to happen. You have to force stuff to happen when you're in the attack. That's why usually if if you're running like that kind of rush comp, you have to speed onto the enemy team, get onto their back line, and try to burst someone down. If you're playing the Sojourn or a long, longer range hit scan, you're going to look for someone to take multiple angles. So you have your tank probably with your main dps your primary dps and then someone else on an off angle trying to pressure them and pincer that's the way you usually get space but you didn't see any of that from blue side and red sides just had all the free reign to do whatever the hell they wanted because hey they're not the ones that actually have to force something to happen yeah i mean when you have point it's you just sitting there waiting to to react and i think there's an inherent advantage with that defensive but uh or position but mm -hmm. there was still nothing that was being done to actually make them think too hard about what they needed to do they it was just go out there get their monkey into the back line and then at that point the whole team turns around to go look at the monkey and their front line just falls apart as the rest of the crazy quillers runs in and just decimates them every single time mm -hmm. So we'll see here. Uh, the loser. Oh, it's Eichenwald. Okay. Good. I would cry Let's... if I saw Midtown again. <laughs> I'm surprised <laughs> that we didn't see uh, more of a like uh, 
King's Row because King's Row is a very beloved map and yeah. played so much that there's a lot of strategies <laughs> for it. So it's only been once. It's also one of the more easier to maps to understand. It's very linear. So yeah. there's not too many things special that you can do there. That's why usually you end up seeing the rush comps. But uh, our, we'll see what happens here. On Eichenwald, you you can run the monkey more often usually. But the horse has always been very strong. Here. Just even with the nerf, she still seems to be the primary pick if you don't have a Ramacha unlocked and don't have a Ramacha player. All right, we're going Which, in. I'm which is another thing I'm surprised about. We have not seen any Ramatra yet, or at least ever since I came. Oh, yeah, before you came, there was a bunch of Ramatra. Nice. Yeah, the guy that we played against in my game, um, he plays for Ronin. Uh, he plays Ramatra, and he plays a pretty good Ramatra. In fact, he was definitely carrying his team. The problem was is that yeah. uh, the rest of his team wasn't able to keep up with his aggressive play style. Mm -hmm. That is the thing with Ramatra. His ult comes online really quickly. Yeah. And it's also a very strong ult. He got a... Uh, oh, as long as you keep that going... One. Yeah, as long as you keep that ult coming, you're more than likely going to win the tank duel if they're not running Armacha themselves. Like, there's the few ways to counter Armacha, and I'm just theorycrafting here, is either Orissa, Sig, or Winston. Winston, you can defeat the ult with. Sig does basically what Ramacha does, but Ramacha does Sig's job a little bit better, in my opinion. And then Orisa, you could just kind of deny him like you would with a soldier and just run him down. Mm -hmm. But even so, Ramacha just has so much survivability with that block and them form. Yeah, it's block is like infinite. You know, it's a, yeah, I mean, it's something like a ninety percent reduction, I think. Yeah, and he can hold it forever. He can just sit there and hold it. There's no cool. For as long as Nemesis form goes up on, yeah. or for as long as Annihilation is on. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're going to see Pharmacy here. Monkey is Pharmacy the same for the blue side. And the yep. same comp as always for uh, the others. But this time, Xcav is actually playing the Sojourn here instead of the uh, Genji Reaper. And stuff that we saw earlier. Okay. Already down. Exo goes down. Good sleep on the monkey. But the is gonna turn into a scramble right now. There is no front line. Yeah. Sam Pre's down. There's nothing to be done here. Yep, this is already a point loss. This is just a mechanic. This is just a straight up micro diff, unfortunately. Whirlpool gets himself caught out on a monkey dive. I'm not able to hit the sleep dart. So first point taken in, what was that, like 30 seconds? It was pretty quick. I feel like I'm relegated to just saying that's rough because that's all I'm seeing. <laughs> that's okay. And Two commentators is, oh, you know, the, the traditional style. Um, but And I tend to talk a lot, and mine has a deep wealth of knowledge in the game. Yeah, I'm, I've been here all stream, so I'm getting tired. So I'm really <laughs> glad that there's two more commentators here. Yeah. Now, this is really odd from uh, from the blue side here. They're just sitting way back, almost on second point. And yeah, they gave up Instead ultimate height. Of, yeah, they gave up the center of high ground. They gave up so much space here that they're only going to get one fight on this point at best. Yeah. Like, this is very odd from here. Because they definitely should have pushed that castle and denied yeah. them that high ground while they are 4v5 there. Trying to play safe is what it's really coming down to. The problem is that by playing this safe, that you're actually giving things up. Yep. You really just can't take impetus anywhere if you're playing this far back, this passive. And Overwatch is a game that rewards being aggressive, if anything. Yeah. Because, I mean, when you get a pick, it's such a long walk back. Like, you you, then, you are guaranteeing yourself to put... Or guaranteeing your team to be in a really good position to go from a 4 or into a 4v5, because yep. the teams are going to be so and, much more staggered. And despite everything that happened, no picks coming out, but they still won that fight. This red side coming out with the overclock to engage. Very good choice there. Was that and the soldier gets one, gets two here. Looking for the third, can't get the third. Sigma responds with the Gravitic Flux. Actually, it's one. gets one here, surprisingly. Guess he didn't have the Suzu or didn't time it correctly. Although he could have just thrown it on the Reaper, buddy. Guess he didn't watch the car queue video then, though. Huh. 
But uh, that, that is a fight win for Red, but they are down there Kiriko, which gives Blue a chance to recontest with the Nano and the Overclock here if they, they wish to do so. They but don't. it looks like they will just opt to stay back. Very surprising. There's a like, It just feels like Blue Side has no confidence in their playstyle right now. Oh. Does my mic pick up? Chip crunching. Oh, Reaper on. gets sucked. That was an amazing sleep by Whirlpool to stop that old Reaper old coming in. This ends Very so. Overclock comes out. Party from overclocking herself. But unfortunately, it doesn't get anything with it. Yep, I don't know. They did put down damage. a lot of pressure, make the red side back out. But they just come right back in with the rush. And that Sig should die here, unfortunately. The Nano oh, comes no. out on red. She was very close to copy as well. So we'll see who she starts to copy. She goes for the Kiriko of all people. Which, okay. Actually gets a kill here with it as well. Very nice to see. Would have I mean, preferred maybe... for, to be a copy on the Reaper there, but it works, so uh, whatever. Free rush? Yeah. No, not able to get it. <laughs> no, not even. The only downside is that now Red Side has four ults nearly, while Blue Side has only the Sig Flux coming midway through the fight, which I yep. doubt he'll get up in time. And just from the ult advantage, Red should be able to cap all the way through. Whirlpool misses the sleep on the uh, Primal Rage going on there. Sig is caught off. And he goes down. Sig unable to back out there while trying to zone. So he goes down in there and just red, Dude. not even lose, actually lose his cannon shot. Even being a little yeah. too aggressive, not bubble dancing correctly. But other than that, fairly clean fight. Beat should come out to counter this. They don't need it actually. Reaper avoids it. Yep. Now they beat, beat after afterwards. it. It keeps the momentum going. The entire Death Blossom is actually eaten by the Sigma, which is unfortunate. But Ridge just out in the middle of nowhere gets shut down by Excav and has an Excav on a very good position just to do free damage onto everyone that no one be able to contest him. And he's just yep. cleaning up house here. Surprisingly though, Blue Side has been able to stall fairly well, which Yeah, but they just lost both their supports. So oh but the Kiriko was able to teleport just right back in. Well, this has been a problem for Red Side. They have not been able to clean up fights very well. They have been able well, to get picks, get hit positions, get fight wins, but when it comes to cleaning up at like the last fight of the entire point, of the entire map, they have been very sloppy with it. But Which hey, it's not a weakness that you'd expect in. from a team like this. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got going on here. So it looks like the only change really in team comp is that they're going to have the Cassidy that they're going to try to bring out on blue side to see if that will maybe allow them to get some more picks or something. It's just that that's going to be really hard to, I guess, I don't know. Would... Is he sitting at the spawn door, the Lucio? He is Hell sitting at the spawn yeah. door. He is. <laughs> Seems like my best chance to get to make a Lucio montage with that amount of Confidence? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. The Reaper hiding <laughs> looks interesting. I wonder if he's waiting to fall on the back line. He's just waiting for everyone to walk past so he could drop on them. Yeah. But instead, and... Blue Side walks right into the room that he's in. Kershaw gets slept here, so they're not gonna have any tank for a couple seconds. They burn Suzu there, which I don't think they really needed to. But Kershaw immediately jumping on that back line and getting a lot of pressure. So the Sergeant slides out and somehow doesn't get picked off for that. And they get split from their Ana actually, who gets knocked off the bridge into the back line. So now it should be a 4v5 in that little room there. 
But no one really deciding to do anything. Everyone's just kind of poking at each other here. The Lucio and the first pick goes red <laughs> Yeah. That's my no, blue is just surrounded on all sides, and it's just an easy cleanup for red here now. Once yeah, they actually decided to take impetus. Especially when you're down like uh, one of your supports, you just you you're trapped in a room, and then you got abilities like on uh, Sojourn where she can just take space away from you and do damage at the same time. Uh, you're you're not gonna live long in a tight spot for. Missed the sleep dart no. by Whirlpool. Excav, 80%, nearly 90 to the overclock here. While on the opposite side, they have both the support ults up. I'd like to see them open with a, with a, uh, with a Mercy Valk here. But we'll see what happens on what they decide to go for. Luce, it's just kind of poking, not really walking in here, just sitting at the choke. Here's Valkyrie, Sanfrey goes down, but they're going to get the revive. Yep. Excav, going for the overclock here, not... And he Got one. Rapid fire anything off. Gets to a counterpart on the enemy children, but nothing else comes from it. Which honestly is That's the best that you can do as a sojourn yourself. Yep. That's a big anti, but they have no way to follow that up, and the Kazuzu comes in through anyways, so that gets cleansed immediately. Oh, X guys. Beard and getting low, but Nirog goes in with the Death Blossom here. Gets both of the backline supports. Wow, <laughs> Shadow unfortunately <laughs> peeks out at the wrong time and gets one tap by the High Noon from Cassidy there. That's so unfortunate. That unfortunate. And Blue but. might be able to capitalize on this, but it doesn't look like they're ready to take the man advantage here either. And Shadow should be back in about three seconds. Yeah, we were seeing in Already previous back. matches that a lot of teams just did not capitalize on the enemy team being, well, dead. They just did not walk forward when they were at an advantage. So we're seeing that once again. This ends now. Blue side coming in with the overclock, coming in with, with the uh, result as well. And getting two for it. They should That's take this point. And a party getting yep. three now. And it's a fight one for blue side. It took him long enough, and they had to burn four ults, unfortunately, for it. But a fight wins a fight win. Yeah, yeah. especially when the game only had 30 point. seconds. Yeah, it only had 30 seconds left in the game, so they had to win that fight. I don't know if they would have been able to be a decent push coming back from losing that fight. With the amount Indeed. of time that was left on the clock. Like and now the ult advantage is severely in red side. Yeah, and you see where red is playing right now? They're playing on this ultimate height that is so powerful for trying to get this cart around the corner, mm -hmm. and I don't know how they're going to be able to do it. it. Oh, wow, that Lucio just decided yeah. to go for a ride on the spear. So they're going to play Blue... Baptiste. <clears throat> and Blue said, looking to go path through the castle onto the high ground, but still just sitting there, not really doing anything. And yeah, Mexico, but they're pops kind of... the overclock, gets one, Whoa. looks for the mercy, and does not get her yet, and inside finds the Baptiste, but still can't get a kill off of that either. That he only gets one dying. there, while the rest of the team cleans up on the in the uh, others of blue team. And it's another yep. fight one for only two ults. For red side again. <clears throat> red no side just been able to take up. much better positions around blue team, and just. Anchor from every yeah. single angle while well, blue team has just been sitting around not really doing anything waiting for the red team to do something but not being able to respond properly yeah now red does have a rush coming up but that's about the only thing that they can look forward to ults but blue team doesn't really have anything besides valk that might pop in the next fight although it's not really the world's greatest ult but it's still something playing on the inside of the castle again we get a pick on the oh, only that's a great body block from curry shot they actually denied the mercy from going to her team and that was a pick off so good. And that pick immediately led to the rest of the team falling apart there. That was an amazing play. It's those little things in Overwatch that you just make or break the fight. Because if he didn't get the body block there, that Mercy lives. And then they would have gotten in, all rotated into Castle and would have had a proper fight. But because yeah. he body blocked her from actually being able to get in, 
They got that fight for a lot easier than they should have. Watch this Reaper. He's the same way, they're going inside castle again. Reaper is in the wrong position, and he uses teleport. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And again, blue side, <laughs> they don't really push up the staircase either. They just sit at the bottom of it. Yeah, they're like waiting. Oh, Rizzo's here. trying to take charge here. Going in with your ult no! here. No! <laughs> the Reaper <laughs> gets like, goes moved down to off it. the map while ulting. That's oh, my that Lucio. That despite using four ults, they've only got two picks to show for it. Hit on blue side. Meanwhile, red side, much better they're looking in the ult economy. They should be able to take this at the bridge here and get a fight win because they have height, they have, have ults. They open with the beat and the overclock, immediately picks up the Baptiste, and gets two with the Thea Reaper, gets three with the Sojourn, and that is a great overclock from Xcav. And that shuts blue team out for this series, 2-0. All right, that was Quillers rolling over Seaman, correct? Correct. Whoa, now we know why. It's because the Quillers were secretly from Atlanta Rain. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, what these shot looks oddly suspicious. The name Cannon Shot looks oddly suspiciously close to Curry Shot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, who are you talking about Curry Shot? Uh, now, what you need to see about, like, is Sen still fighting? Sen and Ronan still fighting? If anyone was wondering about the food situation, I finished two sandwiches and now uh, I'm eating Doritos. The true gamer food. I just came back from a uh, trip to McDonald's because that's where everyone wanted to go. I wanted to go to Cane's, but they thought the line was too long. If anyone wants uh, an image McDonald's of some was. Doritos in McDonald's, go no, to the Overwatch. We're not going to look at your cursed cooking. No. What? If you want to see, okay. If you want to see this curse cooking, then you can join. Actually, let the uh, let the uh, lovely viewers know where they can join tournaments like this. Would you? They can join through any of the Niji cords on the affiliated channels. They will see us, the Niji Core tournament server, where we host various types of tournaments from Yu-Gi-Oh to Guilty Gear to Overwatch. So and Apex, which might be even coming, like say I don't know by March, maybe we have a tournament for Apex. So details to follow. Ooh, Apex. Yep. Stay tuned. Get into the Discord, and uh, look out for the announcement. Also, come check the Overwatch chat for food pictures. You know, my full image of the sandwich full will be posted at the end of the tournament so i know everyone was asking for that absolutely mm -hmm. but for now here is a picture of some doritos on the same cutting board doritos on the same cut why why do you have doritos on a cutting board what are you doing well i don't want to watch more I guess. stuff so like Fair enough. That's fair enough. Crazy... what? Okay, well, hold on. Crazy Dorito dude. DVD. I will snort the Doritos. Unfortunately, the power does not help me be a better Overwatch player. But, <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say.
Is it? Is my mic picking up the Dorito crunch? Yeah. It, no, no, no. No, it's it not. is not picking up the crunch. Okay, good. I'll mute myself just in case. Let me check something here. 12 plus. Two plus three plus. I need a calculator. Whoa, maybe I did my math wrong here. Okay, let's see here. When are we making a Pokemon tournament? That would be pretty awesome. RTS are uh, too foreign of a. Wait, Age of Empire 2. Is that AoE 2? Or are you talking about Sojourn's area of effect move, which is so good that it might as well be area of effect but 2? Cool game. I've never played it, but I've seen it played. And those sure are a lot of empires in that age. Of empires. Two. Isn't there like Age of Empires 3 and 4 already though? Or is it like a melee situation of, nah, the newer games are stinky and we don't like them? I am. Um... Yeah, fair enough. But I, I did not expect to sound like it, any dad of sorts. Well, if Age of Empires really wants to be a melee situation, because melee was Smash Brothers 2, so Age of Empires 5 has to kill 4 and become the standard along with 2. Unless there's already a 5 and it, people didn't like it either. <laughs> It ran into the next map here between, who was it, the Coalition and Sandworld. Bubbly reveal. Back to Lijang again. We're back to Lijang.
Whoa, technical problems, awesome. Wait, what happened? Restart. Somebody didn't make it in. Oh. Round one. Capture the objective. Oh. Looks like the server went down for everyone. Awesome. Oh. Un. Oh, technical difficulties for everyone involved here. Hey, I'm still in the game. Back to live chat reaction we go. Whoa, we're in the studio. No way. Wait, new lobby? I see. Yeah. I crafted one. Whoa, I'm in team... Oh, never mind. Not anymore. Seems like people are readying up, and hey there. it is time to bubbly reveal. Initiating match. That's a large tower, a Lijong tower. Okay. Blue side opting go for the Cassidy Mercy and Reaper. And red side opting for the Soldier Genji. No Sojourn on either side again. Which is odd to say the least, considering where I play, Sojourn is a must pick. Red team getting to the center of the map first. Immediately pushes. We seem back on the bridge. Ubisoft going in for the jump here. Let's crush it out very Lucio. quickly though. As a uh, cat was not able to follow up with that Reaper with his Winston. We had any pressure on there on the red side front line. Instead, blue looking to rotate over towards white. Cassidy and Mercy are far behind, but Cat still gets a pick onto the red side monkey, which is very surprising to see considering there was a 3v5. 
Pat instead gets traded at himself, but Hyun gets magnated, unfortunately. And Grievous back in with the res. They bring blue side back up to five, and they should win this one from here on out. That's twice that the Lucy has been killed by the Cassidy grenade. Feels rough to be homed into and exploded. <laughs> I'm in the center of the alts here, but blue side coming up on the rush, the monkey ult and the Valkyrie here. I'd like to see it come from, from one of them. The Valkyrie gets popped immediately, and should be a second pick for blue side, and that should be a fight one. With only the Valkyrie invested here. On the opposite side for red, they have uh, three alts coming up on the rush and the monkey ult, while on blue side they have the rest of their alts minus Valkyrie. Ready to go. And actually, red side opts to switch to Ramacha, which I don't agree with on this point here. He needs a lot more close quarters areas to work properly, in my opinion. Oh, that's a lot of. Ult. So I'm immediately going in. This is just an alt fast. Oh, everyone's here. pressing Q. Blade coming in, visor coming in. High noon. Oh. Four or five ults were popped in that fight there. And Blue still didn't lose anyone throughout that fight. Now Red's are switching over to the Tracer Reaper. Interesting to say the least. Cause that is not a comp that I've seen run anywhere except for ranked. I've just seen like two people a... walk on in the air. Hmm. Sounds like someone's disconnecting. But Red Tag uses that rush a lot better, a much better place to rush as well, and are taking a clean fight with just one ult used, I believe. It's 89% to 40. Lil only needs to win one more fight to win this, this point. Percentage ticks so much faster than you realize. It really does. Unfortunately, Ubisoft goes down without being able to do anything there. And the Annihilation also comes in. Clean up that fight. Yep. And that is another fight won for Red Side with only using one ult. And blue Unfortunately, side. it doesn't look like a cat will be able to get out here either. So there's a massive stagger on their end. Blue Side seems so this dominant. This will be, arguably, arguably, this will be Blue's last chance here after the cat gets back. They have to play safe. They have to make sure that they don't die early here. And actually, Hyun gets over aggressive looking for the pulse bomb and dies early. This gives Blue a big opportunity here. Especially because they also have the Valk. But Anzian going to the back line, trying to get a pick here. Grievous pops the Valkyrie. Unfortunately, Cat goes down early. And Grievous actually goes down mid Valk as well. And it does not look good here for Blue. So 4v3. Boggy Woggy still alive. Mr. X almost come in up on that high noon, but I don't think we'll be able to get anything from there. Gets a sticky onto Hyun. And actually, Mr. X turning this around with a left clicks here. Oh, wow. Getting both the supports and the tracer, and that's just a Ramacha left on point. Oh? Hansen going in gets both the supports, but arguably he shouldn't have done that. He had time to touch. I don't think it matters here anyway. Ubisoft, I need you to pop your uh, Annihilation here if you want to try and turn this. It doesn't. That's... Especially because that actually gives you healing with the damage that you do. The cat goes in with the Death Blossom, just confirms that kill on the Cassidy, and that's a 2v3 on point. With the Mercy coming back in a couple seconds. But unfortunately, knew it pops his Annihilation, and no one can get on point now with that at all going on. And this will be a fight one for Red Side, and this will be the point taken by Red Side. Unfortunate for Blue because if Yubi 
was actually able to pop that Annihilation there. I'd argue that I actually win that fight. Because not only do you get into Nemesis form, where you can block most of the damage incoming, but you also get uh, lifesteal from it, if I'm not mistaken. And what an unfortunate sequence of events. The basketball did not go in the poop. Unfortunate. That surely is bad luck and definitely means something about the game. Both sides opting for the Ramasha here. Bagiwa gets a lucky pick onto Chronic here, actually. He's in a massive advantage because now Red Time can take tempo. But both the Red Sides of the TPS are flanking right around. And actually, you get both the supports. This is not done for at the least. But Mr. X gets that kill onto Hyun. And almost gets Yudo with it. Actually, good cleanse from her and gets a kill onto Cat. What a weird fight. Ruby that was, and Mr. Huh? X clean that fight up. And take the point for blue side here to start a percentage. Only two people from the blue side were left alive, but now almost everyone is regrouped and engaging. This duel off to the side between Cat and uh, Anzian. Very interesting to see. It actually gets a kill on Anzian. And the Mercy gets a kill on Anzian, actually. <laughs> and Cat. Those What's five into Ubisoft really while stuck? That, indeed, I did. Mercy needs a buff. Give her five more shots on her Glock. And don't forget about the reduced cooldown of the Caduceus uh, change. Mm -hmm. Faster to weapon swap. Yep. <clears throat> Ubisoft has the annihilation here. I'd like to see him pop it here. That anti wears off. I'd like to. S he still has not. There it goes. Actually gets slept immediately, so he won't be able to get much with it. And that should time out now. Cat chucking that from downtown. Actually freezes two with it. That's massive. He keeps the annihilation going with that. With those freezes. Yep. And Anzin. Whoa, no! He actually used Death Blossom there. Now he won't have it for the next fight. That is so unfortunate. Wow. Arguably, he shouldn't have used it in that position anyways, but that is just a massive ult that they no longer have the chance to work with. And instead, he goes over to the EJ Silly to play. John chucks the pulse bomb, pulse bomb, doesn't get anything more for it though. And knew it. With a nano annihilation, this is a deadly combo here. And yeah, That's with that triple. combo, it just gets three. It is so hard to play in that Annihilation. Either the radius needs to be reduced, they are talking about adding like maximum time cap to it as well. But damn, that ultimate is just so rough to play around. Haha, <laughs> maybe just reverse the buff that made it nuts in the first place. Haha, <laughs> please, devs. Ooh. That actually gets picked off by the J Silly there. Just putting so much spam in, put so much pressure. Who's not even able to walk properly here because of the spam coming in from Anzian. Yeah, that Junkrat big really old swap really paying off. Ken gets over aggressive, gets picked off by Cat. And Ubisoft actually gets that Junkrat in turn. And this is a massive opening for Blue Side, who have four here to, here to take on the three of Red. Good wall from Cat to isolate the Ramacha, but he's just kites back towards his supports and gets healed up. With that block just reducing all the damage coming at him. Boy, he just does. How was Rush was just one with the beat. Pulse bomb, Suzu's, and Blue. Who's going out? A whole bunch of ults. Valkyrie also popped for Blue Side now. And this is getting really sloppy. With Bog going down early to Anana. Hyun going down. Hyun actually getting a kill on Ubi. And it's just two for two. Tyre comes in from Anzian <laughs> and actually gets two for her red side. Grievous wow, gets the gets res off onto res. Cat, surprisingly. But Cat, unable to finish off the junk right here. Actually gets the kill, and now it's just Kiriko and... What a weird fight. <laughs> what is this? This is so drawn out. Jesus. When it looked like Red, when it looked like Blue had it in the bag, Red turns around with that tire. Actually... Keeps point for them, and now it's 99.99. How? 
Nano Annihilation for red, Annihilation High Noon for blue, but blue's not even getting a chance to touch. Can't wait for him on to get the touch, but it's all for naught as the rest of his team died around him. Just TPing out, trying to live. Romacha touches point, but gets burned immediately, and Cat can do nothing but Wraith form and try to survive for another second or two before going down, ultimately to the red side, Romacha. And that is Li Jang Tower 1 by red side. Looks like my escape key- okay, finally works. Sorry, we're working through some technical back-end stuff. That's why I haven't really been talking. There's been a lot of back-and-forth going on with the staff team over some stuff. So we're working on it. Uh, just give us a moment to sort through these last few things. We got it almost pretty much taken care of, but just give us a little bit longer. Now entering King's Row. Initiating match. Hello. Blue side opting for the Ramatra on defense. Very interesting to see here. We're considering most people end up just running the Orissa here. While Red Side opting to roll out with the Winston Soldier Genji and your standard Lucio Kiriko on support. Cat 
that actually gets an early pick off onto Anzian. Which is going to put this push right on, on track. One on the brakes. Not going to be able to push here. They're already one down. Just a little bit of poke here going on for both sides then. This dude actually leaps over the top and gets into the back line of the blue team. And Cat isolated, killed, as well as Mr. X. And this went from blue team looking like they were going to hold easily to red team just suddenly exploding into the blue side's back line, getting all the kills and actually capping first point. This is an interesting switch. Mr. X actually opts to go on to the Symmetra here. Which, honestly, I don't... I don't mind. Symmetra's honestly a sleeper pick in my opinion. She does a lot of damage and that beam ramps up really quick now. So as long as she can get in range, that Symmetra is something that you're going to be worried about. As Newt unfortunately finds out by paying for his life. Going down to that Symmetra there. And the rest of the team just not able to push past Choke. The only ults up are the Nano Boost on Yuta and the Annihilation on Ubisoft. Knew it actually goes in early again and dies again to the Snare and the Sim combo. Mr. X just microwaving people down I don't think that wall was necessary and it's placed oddly as well just to flex on everyone just to say I'm doing this much value on sim you can't get past me impressive showing from Mr. X here now the nano blade is up on red side so we're gonna be on the lookout for that but honestly the only people I could see on getting a kill on here is a Symmetra which the blade comes in there's no nano follow up, but actually gets two already anyways. Gets three with the blade. The Nation comes out in response from Ubisoft, which gets three as well. And unfortunately, that will be another fight win for Blue. Despite the nano investment on red side. But ultimately, this should be Red's win here. Because of the spawn difference. Red only having to walk up about a quarter of the distance that Blue does. It doesn't look like Red's going to push in here, despite the numbers advantage. Now they're getting out, now Blue's getting out, and now Red is properly taking the space that they own. Cat, unfortunately, takes the wrong exit there, dies early on. That's a massive anti. That should be another fight win, possibly. Actually, no. It gets turned around, knew it dies early, and the Rush comes out from Bog. Pushes Red right back to their spawn room. They're getting way too over-aggressive there. Surprising showing from them. Hello, Considering how, how much space they own at the start of the way. By the way, Red looking a lot more healthier on their alt economy. I'd like to see the Nano Monkey or the Nano Visor here. Because they've been holding it for a couple fights. Cat actually gets to pick on Tion here early on. Which is surprising. But the Nano Visor does come in. The beat is laid on top of them to keep them all alive and healthy. And the Advisor only gets Mr. X here though. And the Annihilation comes in from Ubisoft. The I win button immediately pushes the rest of the red team back. And that is another fight one for Blue. Despite, despite Red's best efforts, laying four ults on top of each other. This is just crazy. Annihilation just keeps going forever, man. Blizzard, please nerf. I'll give it a crazy headshot there. Cat looking for an early pick again, right outside spawn doors. We'll see if he'll be able to do anything from this position. Actually opts to TP in. Actually gets slept immediately, has to race out. Oh, Chronic Lucio somehow gets away with that. Mr. X dies to that pulse bomb, unfortunately. But Cat. Oh, Dangerous Close actually gets Hyun with that. And Bagawaga drops, drops the uh, continued rush here as well. And Cat's just going to town with Mr. X. And they just 
Rich just cannot find a way past this choke here. That is so unfortunate. Red has been trying their hearts out and they just cannot get through the choke. Now we see the Plat Classic, if in doubt, go Farah. I really should be if in doubt go Sojourn at this point. Knew it. Going out with the Annihilation. The Nano applied onto him finally being used after holding it for four fights. And that's just the I win button for Red Side and a full team wipe there. With the bell. And Red will finally be able to get some push onto this card on second point. Only 30 seconds left on the clock though. They need to cap this on this attempt. If they want to have a chance at finishing this entire map. Unfortunately, on blue side, they have the Annihilation, they have the Reaper all coming up, they have the Valkyrie. And they only have B to respond for it on red side. And Fog oh, gets another pick on the Hyun, Ubisoft ulting. Neither the Annihilation, B comes in response, but that Annihilation will just go on forever since they cannot get off cart. But red team somehow turn it around with enough damage and actually get the fight win here. Very impressive, considering they only had the beat to sustain through that ult. They actually get the fight win here and continue on to the third point. Alright, mine, you don't have to do it alone anymore. I'm back. Let me Welcome back. meander my way over to the site. Thank you for handling all the comms. No worries. It was getting a little bit lonely being the only one here talking. Lux just staying quiet <laughs> as always. Yep. Alright, let's see what can happen here. A minute left on the clock for this push here. Near Anjin justice. Going with the blossom, but gets snared down. That's an interaction if I've ever seen one. <laughs> the red team. Two ults. Get the fight win there. That blossom unfortunately didn't get anything but Anzian, who was already snared down to the ground. Mid ult, which is it. Definitely an interesting interaction to see. Starts popping the high noon early if it gets slapped out of it immediately. Yep, I knew it pressing the, the I win button. Yep. And just nano plus the annihilation. No one can get into that aura. It's like playing Minecraft against a cheater again. And they get the, hit the cap here with 20 seconds remaining. Okay, that was a pretty strong push, although they did get the clock all the way down to 20 seconds left on that uh, attack phase, so that is a good defense. Not perfect, but good. We'll see how well they can step back up to this on their own turn. At offense. I wonder what composition they're going to go with. Cat before has picked uh, Widow to start off on the, the match. When they've been on attack on this map, and their well, Matrix this time will be, play Widow. Maybe. <laughs> it's Matrix. I have been calling him Mr. X. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's uh, did one of those things where he cuts out some letters. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. But it's such a mercy critical on blue side. Meanwhile, they're on Matra. Acidy Tracer for defense. I don't and really agree with the Tracer here. on the defense. I, I mean, I don't yeah. see Cass as being wrong, but you don't. Tracer's flank yeah. runs through this are hoping that the other team doesn't know that you blink through them twice. <laughs> Pretty much. Not much you can really do on Tracer on this map. He's been yeah. getting shut down quite quickly as well, as yeah. Matrix actually gets a pick onto Anjin to open up this uh, this first point here. Yep. Now no Red Tide mercy will be missing time. a lot of frontline damage. Ubi will probably get away with whatever the hell he wants here. Gets a yep. pick onto the Kiriko, next up on the Mercy. And that lack of frontline damage, really hurting them there. Yeah. Matrix actually being really aggressive here, grappling in onto point. Instead of actually using it for high ground. Nanjin immediately swaps off the Cassidy onto Junkrat. 
And now I don't see a way that red team can actually deal with this Widowmaker here at all. Yeah, it is the a strange thing. The only choice thing. they have is Hyun getting onto him. But, like, but he still got no the Widow anyways. <laughs> that he did. <laughs> actually, red team's making a solid retake take oh. argument here. He got the but Kiriko with the Miter Dumb. As well. And actually, red's good looking to have a good retake here. They might it. actually be able to knock them off. If they can get this Mercy out, Mercy's down. So it's just Ubisoft left. There is the uh, Widow shooting from afar, but they are able to knock them off the point. And actually come back for a retake. Surprising, yeah. considering how in control Blue looked there. Yeah, they were gave up only one tick too, not two. So that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. We'll see how they go for this fight here now. Anya gets to pick onto the Widow again. I don't know how he keeps hitting those picks onto the Widow. Yeah. And he was able to even get <laughs> the Mercy, too. Wow. What is so, going on here? I guess Junkrat does counter Widow. Is that what we're seeing here? I guess. <laughs> Apparently so. Like, that should not be happening. And Ubisoft, unfortunately, staggering himself in the back line. That's another fight they could have had. That just goes to waste here. Yep. Widow ult comes out, so everybody knows where you are. Make sure your pants are pulled he up, guys. He just swaps off anyways, so... That gets cut short. Yeah. Down to the Cassidy Sojourn here. Cat, very close to the overclock, so we'd be on the lookout for that. He's gonna swing right here with overclock. Here Actually comes. gets pulse bombed and dies to it, because he doesn't slide away fast enough. Get he does get the kill on Hyun, though. And at the top. Actually, no, Mr. X comes in clutch. Kills the tire. But he slides right into the trap. And knew it. Presses the I win button again. Unfortunately, yeah, I mean, to back off with this event. I think one of the more important things to think about with that ult is that it's not just that it does a lot of damage, it just takes a lot of space. Well, Matrix is just, just destroying the back line. Yeah. Surprisingly. If they can kill this Ramatra, they can just walk on the point here. Yeah, he needs to walk back where he can get to his Kiriko to heal him. And said he was just trying to duel 4v1. Yeah. Yep, and uh, kind of goes down surprisingly quick for being there. Yeah. Yeah, this will be the point taken. Here, though. Indeed, they'll finally get it at the uh, first point here. And Ubisoft, despite getting trapped, gets out with his life. I don't know and if you noticed that, but pick they, on Yuta. they stepped off the point for a little bit there at the end before it was yeah, all the for a moment. <laughs> We'll see how this fight develops. They have Rush on blue side, and they've been using those Rush to great effect on their end. And is on another pick. Cat. He Rush keeps comes getting out. these picks on Junkrat. Chronic Rush fairly early. I don't really like it. He did it way too early. It doesn't even go past the choke, so they can't really make a use of it. And now yep. Bog should be able to just walk in with a free Akira ult here. Which there it indeed goes. it gets dropped, but it runs straight into the library, so don't, they don't even get the full effect of it either. Primal Rage comes you know, out, this thing misses. But Ramatra is Ramatra. down. You just cannot be staying there, my friend. Yeah, right in the middle of the rush, in the middle of four people. You can't be doing yeah, that. You gotta know that your whole team backed up. Mm -hmm. See, Tracer works better here now as... That was not an ideal uh, pulse bomb. Yeah. But in this section of the map, there's actually flanking routes for Tracer to go upon. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that, well, earlier, not a strong pick is a better pick now in this stage of the match. Definitely. But unfortunately, gets one tap by Cat here. So that thought will be completely shut down. Yep. Suzu burned early here for Chronic, actually. While the Romatra is very low on HP. And it's a 5v4 here, should be. I said it's indeed a 5v4 at the moment. Bobby gets sent into the middle of the team. Uh, oh. near it with the nano I win button again. But okay, he's having but trouble finding people to latch onto here, actually. He's got he's got Bob. Yes, he does have Bob, but that's the end of his ult and for nothing there. Yeah. Well Bull was able to just kite it all out, surround him, and just pick off the rest of his team. Like if if I was Utah right now, I'd be really sad because they put the sleep on Bob, they thought they were safe, but then their tank activated his ult and his ult hit Bob and woke him up immediately after mm -hmm. sleeping and then just got decked. So there was no supports available. 
It was just an unfortunate combo that people weren't expecting. With an impressive one clip actually onto Cat, and they actually turned this around for right a last second break. recontest again. Wow. And the monkey goes down as well. Now with only 30 seconds remaining, they only have one chance to actually take this. The Kiriko rushes will be matched mid-fight. But other than the high noon, there's no other ults on the field. Hyun gets picked off early again. He, he almost killed the <laughs> Mercy, but that's not the right time to the be flanking. The number of times he's gotten picked off is too many. Yep. Matrix taking a high noon from the flank here and actually knew it is completely caught unawares. That rush, rush. unfortunately just goes into the back of the point, so it doesn't go anywhere else. But it is uh, still enough to cap this point. Yeah, we'll, we'll say it was the rush's job. The rush did it. It may have been the shortest rush, but it got the point done, so it was the biggest rush. I, I've had a shorter rush before. I have had it to the <laughs> point where you don't even see the tiles. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Uh, when you get blocked by that like one little light post, it's just such a bad feeling. Hey, Hannah's on getting another pick. Grievous. Mercy down. Backing up, they throw the Kiriko cleanse. Not enough to save Kiriko herself. And unfortunately, Blue needs to back out here. Yeah, because otherwise they're getting slow staggered right now. Mm -hmm. And now Red Side is coming up on four ults this fight here. Well, yeah. Blue only have the Primal Rage and maybe a Bob and Valkyrie to work with. Valkyrie is online. I'd like to see them open with it. Well, I'd like to see Red Side open with a Kiriko Rush if possible. I think a lot of teams don't understand to use Valkyrie ex offensively to prepare for, like, heals. Amazon goes down. He'll come back out of spawn, though, with it. Actually. Yeah. I knew it. Ramatra ult. And just gets melted through it. Just pops it yeah. when it's too low. And he had no one with him to help him out either. Yeah. Wait. This is the problem of the uh, the 5v5 is that you are the only tank. And he's playing a lot like a main tank and hoping that he would have like an off tank to come and support him. But that off tank isn't there. No, to come and in. save his team. With the tire gets two. Yep. The rush comes no, out. Matrix, and unable to get anything else with it either. And Nano. this should be Red's fight win. Yes. And this will be the map win for Red. That, I believe, is 2-0. I was not paying attention during the first half, so you will have to tell me. Go for Sin World. Hey. Next up, we will have Sin World versus the Soaking Seaman. Hey. If you would, did you get the other team in here? I'm working on it. I just let them know who's playing, and then I, oops, I tried to accidentally save a photo of the bracket. That's not what I wanted to do. Technology, man. I sure love technology. So we just need to get soaking in here. Anyone? What, what, who's a representative from soaking ridge? I don't think I have anybody on their team at friended. I really wish you could just drop an invite link, you know, yeah. It'd be way easier. Or like a lobby code.
Oh, I pinged Ridge. We'll see what happens. Whirl. Okay. Mine. Oh, no, I can do it. Uh, no players in available. My, am I not allowed to invite people in this lobby? You should be able to here. Oh, I don't have. Uh, I don't have them. All right. Ridge. One one eight three seven. Oops. Whatever. They'll join here. Oops. I accidentally invited them to the group instead of to the match. <laughs> Either one works. Stoke. Either one goes into the it. lobby anyway. All right. Let's um, set it to Li Zhang again. Yep. Li Zhang, my beloved. No Li Zhang, I'm begging you. <laughs> Why is it always Li Zhang? I mean, normally, yeah, you do change it up for different rounds, but like... Normally you'd have a little bit of foresight and say that. <laughs> wow, we have an offer for kissing people on the lift to play or lips to play Ilios. That is Yeah, no thank you. Uh I'll I'll pass. We are mathematizing responds the other team. One moment. <laughs> Chat is getting a little spicy. Man, I'm checking the Overwatch category and $100,000 tournament, day one. Huh. <laughs> Damn, we stick it with Lee <laughs> Shay. Indeed, we are. <laughs> it's the Mafia way. <laughs> Let's go fire this thing off. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. It's Lee Jong time. Hey, it's nighttime and we're playing. I don't remember what this one's called. We're playing Night Market. Oh, it's Market? I thought it was Pagoda or something like that. No, this is Night Market. You know, I just noticed the Omnic that's like chopping sushi, but it's actually like, it looks like a shark and he's got the whole skin on and he's just friggin' whacking it. Mm hmm. One of them does sushi. I believe the other one does Batsy. Oh, Which, they're just. Am I allowed to call you a nerd? 
you know what, dude? I want some udon, actually. That sounds kind of good right now. Honestly. So, I was already he, debating getting a, getting some Mexican food as well, getting some tacos. I just ate tacos the other night, so I can't say that I'm looking forward to that. But I do I do love tacos. Don't forget, I am in San Diego, so I get the best tacos around in America. No, you so. get like street tacos. like crazy. The only other place that has better tacos, surprisingly, is Texas. Yep. Hey, blue side going immediately to the point. <clears throat> oh, it was red. <laughs> Walking to the back, and they had no idea that they came there. The ice wall set, yep, separates right the post. Yeah, that wall separates new it out. Unable to capitalize. Unable to capitalize on it, and just blue walking all over red team for this fight here. Yeah, that May yeah. wall is so good. If you are good at placing it to isolate off parts of the enemy team, oh my gosh. Wow, the, the, ch the chat is popping up in here. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to sue them for a couple thousand dollars uh, for infringing. I think they're, re they're, they're referencing uh, the team that unfortunately just got eliminated, the Coalition of Uncircumcised Men. That's what they're talking about. Oh, that yeah. They're going to become Coalition of Uncircumcised Men. That is their acronym. Unfortunate. Hmm. Hyun, oh. You're on the off angle, actually, looking for a pick here. Is unable to hit the shots to actually get a kill here, though. But ends up finding the Kiriko at the end of it. Nico gets the air tank counterpart in Yuron the Ronatra. But Hyun still just going in, to, going to town on the blue side backline. It make this fight much more scrappier than it needs to be. Yeah. But at the end of it. There goes the reset. Yep. Wow. Um, at the end well, of this it, means still it comes out on top. Yeah, the tank advantage is then going to be put on the red team, and then the wall has gone up, so you know you're not going to get walled off again, Newt. Knew it? Knew it? Well, still ends up dying. Mm. Reaper in your face tends to not be good for your health or sustainability. Indeed, it does not. And not having your team at your back also does not help if you're a tank player. Yeah. I want to see if we can get some adaption here. If we're going to know that May is going to try to wall us off and isolate us from our team, or if we're going to do it again. Th there was the caution. The wall, not so good. I like this pincer push from Red here, but they just, they just get a blizzard on the front door, so they're not really able to do much with it. Beat and Blossom also comes out for Blue side, but they do not sustain through it, and they also completely forget about point as well. So yep. despite winning that fight, they just didn't have anyone to touch. And this point goes over to blue. Score. Letter number. <laughs> yes, C9. Letter number. Indeed. I'm going to grab some more tea. I'll be right back. Damn, fancy pants with tea. Funny number, woo! Yes, exactly, Harp. Everybody calling each other cute at the start of this match. I'm glad that we have such a fierce competition. These guys no. just don't like the side of each other. I mean, do. This community is very supportive, and we like to show that. I'm not really sure what Anazon was doing there. They were going for the flank, but... They were completely isolated and just got three manned. Mm -hmm. We call those creative plays. Yes. Uh, the flanks are effective if you can get, like, if you time them correctly. Yeah. But doing it alone as well, that is not how you want to do it. Yeah, because they weren't really, they had nothing else to look at. They weren't getting shot at from the front, and so they just all turned and shoot you. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Lucio is going around the, the world. Same mistake. Taking that off angle, nowhere in the LOS of his supports, and dies off in the middle of that fight as well. New fight here. Anizan gets his Wraith Force immediately. Well, yep. knew it. unfortunately, feeds right into the middle of blue team again. Yep. You really need to start looking around more and see where the hell his team is so he can play accordingly. 
Now that engineer is big, gets Nico really fucking low. Actually gets the kill on her. Yep. And Anzi and Hyun start cleaning up the rest of the blue team here. Yeah. No wraith form for that reaper to save him from the magnetic grenade. Unfortunate, and then red team is able to take control of the point for the first time this match. Yeah, man. Wall so misses. Avoid. I knew it. Again, face tanking into four. Rush comes out. Here comes the old from Amazon. Beat comes out from red team. Wow, there was ults all over the place. I think there was also yeah, high there noon. Was. There was. Hun blue team only invested the Kiriko rush there, but red side. You may need to pause. Hun's not moving. I pa pause. Said pause. I pause. You should pause. He's not moving. He crashed. They don't like call. He's, he's a, he crashed. They don't call a pause. I shouldn't. Like they have to call it. I've never seen a man just stare into a window or into a wall. It's just normal human behavior. <laughs> <clears throat> Parents probably okay. <laughs> He's being murdered. Okay, well there you go. Well, that's mean, escalated quickly. Once again, normal human <laughs> behavior. So like, <laughs> yeah, humans are capable of terrible things. They say he's back. All right, there he is. He's in chat. Let's go. Gaming time again. Take a shot, everyone. You're not actually getting caught out here. Almost oh, a little anything. bit. Here comes the May ult, and he's stuck in the middle of it. He's going down. Mm -hmm. Reese is down, Nico so now they take advantage. Early. Yep. And the Annihilation... And Nano comes through again. Red it's, side. Look, it's we can be mad about it, but it's so ult. strong. <laughs> like It is, but arguably they didn't need either of those ults there. No, they did not. They could have mopped it up because they already had the Risa down. It was just the Reaper and the May. Mm -hmm. Now the old favor is much more on blue side. They should be able to take this fight in the next, as long as they can get the point and touch it. But they have beat, so they should be able to just beat and rush. There's the sleep, though. And Exo goes well, down. Exo goes down early. This is not good. Beat to open up. Don't mind it. Sempre going and for the... Yeah, that's awesome. Actually, he finally gets a kill onto Newt. Hyun also goes down off screen. And this is a fight win for Blue, although a very expensive fight win for them as well. Was, they they used the Death Blossom, the Beat, and the Terror Surge for that. They used all of it, and Anazon is about to come up on his own Death Blossom, and then maybe we'll see Han come in with a uh, McCree ult. I know. Gosh, I was thinking of High Noon. <laughs> uh, so, advantage mm, is definitely now in the red side. All they have to do is win one fight. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but if Blue does play this slow, they can build up the Kirika Rush, they can build up the Blizzard. Here comes the ult! Fight. The boot! Is on this boot going down the tank still goes for it. He gets the Lucio there. They're able Gun to get goes X around, actually gets the Kiriko as well, so this actually looks really good for Red now. Kind of. And with a oh. massive anti as well, making putting Nico and Ridge at 1 HP with no healing. And Red actually turned this fight despite being at an ult disadvantage in my opinion. Whirlpool kind of just sat there instead of going forward. Well. If Blue took a moment and played that a little slower, I argue they would have won that one. But no, they just get killed immediately. Unable to back out. Unable to kite. Unable to stay alive. And unable to win that fight. It was a huge block on Anazon's ult. They had the boot perfectly knocked him away. And then, I don't know what happened. They all just decided to go back to point and forgot that there was a team that was still coming from spawn. And uh, left their mm -hmm. Kiriko out, and she just gets the, the Bakri combo. It was shot once, and then the Magnetic Grenade, and she didn't have anything left. She used Suzu. She didn't have Cleanse, or the Cleanse Step. 
So that was that. Teleporter comes out. Lucio falls off the map. <laughs> not what you want to see happen. <laughs> I think that We've is all done it, worthy. But... You know, he almost he saved is. himself, but man, that, that's embarrassing. Indeed. He made the jump this time, though. Although, a little late for his team, and he gets immediately the combo from McCassidy. Well, it doesn't really matter because the blue team wins that anyway. Despite yeah, being a man he, down for most of it. They just need to put their, you know, trust in San Pri's uh, Reaper and then go for it. <laughs> yeah. It's been working fine for them here, so. Yep. So far, we're looking at Arisa with the, and San Pri with both almost half ult charge. So maybe after this next team fight, we'll see some ults start to come out. May Wall gets the team cut off, but they're able to break through it. Reaper by himself in the back line. Nana's on backs off. Teresa down. Fight is turning into a bit of a wild melee. Kiriko goes down. It looking like it's going to swing Red's way. Sampri with the death blossom gets three here. That's and a huge do anything ult. Counter out that. It's another fight win for Lou. All right. Well, we have beat. We also have Nano coming up on Red Seam's side. We'll see what they can do with it. Looking like they're going to choose to push Bridge side. I'm wor I'm worried about always pushing Bridge side with an Arisa because there's a a javelin as well as. As her spinning, and then she goes down anyways. Doesn't need that. And, uh, or no, because Ajax. May walls them off, and they just die here. Yep. Almost got the back cap, but there's no way they were going to let that happen. Mm -hmm. And Izan is able to escape. Has ult. There's three ults on the side of red. They're going to need to contest pretty quickly. Not much time left on this, mm -hmm. uh, percentage left on this game. And red looking to go on, go around white side here. Or will they even be able to touch point in time? Anazon with a yeah, massive I don't think he just goes straight through the blizzard. But it doesn't matter because the annihilation just keeps them all zoned away anyways. And they actually got the team fight win out of that. But it was I very, very, very expensive there. Yeah, they beat they... The Death Blossom, the annihilation, and the nano boost. Yeah, and now we're looking at Rush coming in on a blue side as well as a Risa Terra Surge, and there's also a beat. Just for a good measure, or why not? Uh, so, mm -hmm. this is scary, gets, especially when. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, because it gets is one drawn point. much further oh. out. And Anazana messes up his TP and gets booped off immediately. But that's a massive <laughs> boom on the side of Chronic! Getting two that off the map! Three. It was two. Sempre actually helped us back up. Yeah. And, and that's that a fucking. Hell. That boop! That was huge! That boop saved their fight there. God, like. They would have lost that fight. You know what's also unfortunate? Last fight where uh, Red Team Lucio used their ult, it was an Ajax. Wait, he Ajaxed because he went into the blizzard? Uh, no, he just died. <laughs> like, he, he just died off the map with it. Oh. oh what? Blue rotating towards the white side, going indoors. Romasha gets walled off again and knew it. I don't think he'll be able to get out of this either. Actually, he does survive, but there's a rush coming in from blue side, even though they're down two, down three now. Terror but surge. they still keep investing ults. Terror surge and the Death Blossom comes in. Get three. They're actually going to turn the point. Possibly. Is that a Nano Lucio? Oh, yeah. Indeed, it is a Boostio. Point turn. But can they can get back for the not touch? do anything. And That's blue, despite being down in numbers on that previous that. fight. Despite being down in numbers that previous site, Blue is actually able to turn it around and close out the map. Play of the game. Yo, with the boop! Mom, get the uh, Unfortunately, you don't get to see the boop at 
at all because it actually just popped off stream. That is unfortunate. Okay, loser pick hybrid. Wow, that was some intense gaming that I've uh, I've ever seen. All right, I really enjoyed that match. That's my carry. Yes, heart popping off in the chat. See the Lucio Bustio knock things off. Eichenwald is the call out for the next match, but that was a really fun match, and it definitely we got to see it go to three rounds, which is always cool. It means that your teams are actually pretty well uh, matched. Uh, no team went really rolling each other over, but then that was able to just be out. Be decided there with some of the, the old choices. I feel like if uh, some of the old choices were, were saved, we didn't use four ults going into a fight, maybe we could have seen that match swing in a different direction. Indeed. That's been a common theme for a couple teams here. They've been constant in popping multiple ults, more times more ults than they actually need to win a fight. Yeah. It just ruins their economy for the following fight. And they just keep going down into that that little uh that cycle of death. Because then yeah, it's they may have just won a fight decisively, and they have nothing else for the uh fight following. And so they lose that. And because they lose that, they can't build up ults again in that fight, which means they lose a the fight after that as well. So they're only winning like one for three. It's the definition of winning the war but losing or winning the battle but losing the war. Winning the battle. Where yeah, yeah, winning the battle, losing the war. Because what happens is that, yes, you won that team fight. But if you had lost that team fight with the amount of the ults that you invested into it, we'd have a lot more questions for you than <laughs> anything else. But mm -hmm. it's what's biting them in the butt. And I think that comes down to a bit of lack of coordination on the team's part. Some of these teams are like a pickup team. Like they, they have never played before together. So knowing, you know, what how each other are going to play and how, uh, you know, when somebody's going to ult or when they uh, – is going to do whatever kind of movement they just don't have. And so I still think that we're seeing good coordination. It just could be a little bit better if they want to walk away with a win on this one. It said rolling out on the realm voucher here. Blue side actually going for an early hit here. And actually gets the kill here as well. This just brings a surprise shot very early on ahead of where you normally hold here. That's impressive. On some level, they have to know that Ridge has been doing that this whole entire time. On every single map, they've been doing this where they've been isolating somebody off of their team. You've got to be prepared for those angles. Don't just blindly walk around a corner like you normally mm -hmm. would. Agreed. And honestly, I'd like to see them run the Winston here instead of the Ramatra to counteract that. Or even, actually, no, they have the Kiriko as well, so they can sustain with the Suzu. Well, that is there. They just aren't able to keep him alive long enough. Now red team just really afraid to push through this bridge here. Which Another cutoff. We knew it really needs to start blocking with that nemesis form a lot more often. He's just being caught trying to punch constantly instead of just staying yep. alive when he gets walled off. Yep. Oh, they're Utah able with to a get nice the snipe onto XOB. Yeah, he can get a lot more sustained. Like, if he finds himself in a situation where he's trapped on the other side of the wall, like what's happened many times this game, is to uh, go and just block. Just right wait for your, block. Yeah, wait for your team to come through. Ooh. It doesn't matter, because in this fight at least, because the uh, red team has already gotten picks earlier. I have the spawn advantage, took the fight, 2v5, and now it's the rest of the three that were coming back. Yeah. But yet again... They keep using but, ults in situations that they don't really shouldn't need to. And these two anything, on top of that. One ult, one ult, uh, you know, maybe use Cassie's ult because it's pretty situational and there's not very many times where you can get great use out of it. But mm -hmm. using Ram's ult on the top of it is just. Yeah. Uh, one or the other. Not mm. both. But it's okay. They, they it's, were able to get the point. They're just down on an ult economy. They, they did it with plenty of time. So there's four minutes left on this clock. Let's see how the, they take this engage so far blue Indeed. is with not the, taking especially with the height. nano blade up on red side yeah so keep on the lookout for that utah actually able to keep new alive this time throughout that wall yep 
Cart is starting to make the I'd first like turn. I'd like to see the Nanoblade come out here as soon as possible. Suzu came now out. Cool Ice Block came out. Go for it here. He's still holding it. It pains me so much. They've used so many cooldowns. And he's still holding it. And Whirlpool's down. Now that's a 4v5. There it goes. And now he pops it. And no Nano Blade. It's so long of holding it. Oh! Helen was able to take out Centipede right as they're about to use their ultimate. That could have changed things. But again, there was also the rush at the same time, too. The rush, I can, I can understand a little bit. Then Blossom came out, the Terror Search came out. You need something else to respond to both of those. And you're only using Blade at the first point, so... I'm not gonna say that was a bad one. But now Blue Side comes back in with their own rush. Exactly. But new it gets. Where's it's why is the mail? <laughs> Nobody was there. Eh. No, that's a good zone. You don't have to get someone in it. Unfortunately, new it was not able to build the uh, annihilation in time. If they had that, that would have been a one fight and a cap point. But now, blue. Able to set up for the defense. They have a uh, Lucio beat dropped to respond to the annihilation as well. It's just will they be able to kill him in time or will they have to kite away? We'll see what Newt starts to do here. Oh, After the annihilation, Suzu comes beat? out, beat comes out, but they're all still inside of the annihilation. But he gets knocked back and he's low, so this annihilation should end in a moment here. There yep. it goes. And now the terror surge is coming up on blue side as well. Blade coming off for Hyun. Ridge goes down early to the Magnetic Nade. Aid from Cassidy. And Nico gets anti and burned. And now Red shouldn't need any more. Let's fight, close this fight out and cap the point. Great anti. Stopping the heals on horse, either through doing an anti or putting an orb of discord, is so mm -hmm. powerful against her. It is very powerful. And I'm surprised Exo hasn't adapted to hold Suzu for that. In those clutch moments when someone's anti didn't really low, that Suzu would have helped us so much there. Mm -hmm. Would have cleansed the anti, made it possible to heal, and would have made them vulnerable for a second and a half. Now the blade comes in for Hyun, but he gets walled off, so he's not able to get into the back lane, and he gets killed by Ridge. But yet again, the nano, the anti comes in, just pushes them back constantly. But knew it. Ella thing has supports, unaware of where they are, and dies again in the front line. And. So unfortunate here. Yeah. That was an amazing wall to counterplay the blade. You don't need to always kill a Genji immediately to counter his blade. Sometimes you just need to get in his way. And when he uses Indeed. that cooldown, he no longer has a uh, a dash. And so then it's so much weaker without that dash. Now, this is definitely an interesting rush from uh, Blue Said. Don't really agree with it because they didn't really follow up on it. If they had followed up on it, it would have been better. But now they also have to invest the Blizzard to actually get the kills and win that fight. But on the other side, Red has not used anything there. And they're coming up on four ults. Hyun's all the way halfway to another blade. Despite that, basically what was one long drawn out fight. The only thing that Blue Side has to counter is a beat and a terror surge. And maybe a death blossom in the middle of the fight. But we'll see if they can actually make use of any of those ults here. I always love looking at the Genji middle play or neutral play where he's just sitting there doing double jumps, throwing at the peak of his, <laughs> you know, jump. All right. And as you see, the Nano Annihilation comes out. That Reaper is anti, so he should go down here. But that Nano Annihilation will not get cost. any others. Indeed. And now Red Side down two. And they won't be able to win that one. Anzian. Walks off with the J Silly here, which I actually really like that pick. Third point, it's constantly downhill from the attacker side. So junk nades just keep going further and further here. So you get so much value on him. You see Blade come out. Here's Rush. No blade, but the blade? Rush comes out. blade comes in with it now, and he gets XOB. 
Yes. That's two more in Sensory and Ridge now. And Nico goes down to the Martyrdom as well. While Whirlpool, just being a Lucio, just skates away. Getting away with his life. And now we're into the overtime stages. With no ults on either side, so this will just be a complete neutral fight until Ridge can get his blossom. Genji is trying to reflect Ridge the... gets a block oh. out early. Yep. And another anti-nade has just been coming in clutch for Utah. No picks in this wild scrim. Yep, no picks so far, and Ridge has his blizzard. He'll pop it right here. He's done so many people out. And knew it. Frozen. Now to keep him alive. And very close oh. to Annihilation. Pyre also comes out. Oh. Goes immediately for the Rift instead. And knew it. Comes back towards point. Keeps that Annihilation ticking. And no one's able to touch. No one's able to kill. And Whirlpool just gets knocked so <laughs> high up. And Ajax is because of that. What did I just see? Holy crap. That was amazing. He got hit all the way into the rafters. Holy cow. He did. That Junkrat man blew him way up to the sky. Unable to touch ground, unable to drop that beat, and dies mid cast. Yeah, that is. I mean, it's an Ajax, but it is not your traditional Ajax. Normally, you don't see uh, a Lucio go sky high before he's able to touch the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, other than that one team, this has been very close either way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they almost kept it off of that third point. And the third point is a hard area to fight in when you're on defense. I feel like once you turn that corner, the, the oh, attackers no. do have a bit of an advantage. I think it's fairly even for both sides, honestly. Sure, attackers do have a natural high gun because of the way third point slopes. But there are a couple of ledges that defense can stand on that just make it yeah. really hard to dislodge. Yeah, they just take time to get there, and that's what I think a lot of people are afraid of taking the time to get into a better position. Mm -hmm. PC build div? Bro. Five, four, three, two, one. Incoming. Defend All right. Huge anti-nade. Hits four anti people. These antis have just been hitting so hard. Rounds in. On the JCL, he down. gets a kill there. And gets the martyrdom kill as well. So many people dying to that. Man, makes me think of the salty days on Call of Duty back on the Xbox. Guys that played with martyrdom, I hated them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Unfortunately, I'm not of the COD generation because I did <laughs> not have a console growing up. That is okay. You did. You honestly, you're just saved from hearing a lot of every racial slur possible. All right, that was the True. Xbox <laughs> experience. True. I was saved from a lot of terrible mics. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna get another early pick onto the Reaper for Sanpri on Sanpri, oh. and he and Sanpri actually opts to switch over to Sojourn here anyway. Suzu comes out, keeps him alive. Ridge down with Ridge no also goes point. down with Jay Silly. And now Anzian with the tire, arguably not necessary because they already won that fight, but just goes for it for the highlights. Blue side switching their entire comp around actually. So now they're on the yeah. Sojourn. Fara, Mercy, Baptiste, looking to the shut down the projectiles on red side. That is a whole team switch. Indeed it is. That's very expensive to do. Not as expensive as it was in Overwatch 1, I mind you. But still a very expensive switch. Yeah, and coming actually in the next match. completely counter comp red side as well, so. That is true. They have this fight. Oh, Newt uses his ult and goes down. Probably shouldn't have yeah, used it. Yeah, he should that not was... have used that. He was the only one alive. Yeah, that was a losing fight. But yeah, coming with the next patch in Season 3, that um, when you switch characters, your ult charge will no longer be 30% if you had it. It'll be 25%. Mm-hmm. 
So just know it's going to get more painful to switch your whole comp if you got old charge. Arguably, if you're switching, the debate around that entire like 30% if you switch is that if you're switching, something's probably already going wrong. Yep. But like, that 30% just makes it so much worth, more worth it to switch than to stay on it. Yep. If you weren't we getting any ult charge, then you would actually have to debate, do I want to keep this ult and actually use it, or do I want to switch and probably win the neutral? And then knew it, oh. as to the barrage, get solo barrage there, actually. Uh, yeah, you know, he almost had the uh, SIG there, because the SIG was anti it was a pretty big one. The problem was is that he just didn't have enough damage. Now the Nanoblade comes in for Hyun, gets one, gets, gets two. two. And that's a 2v2, 2v3 actually, as the blue respawns come in. But Hyun actually gets more kills here, not smack to a 2v2 yeah. with a tank and, and Kiriko. But no. Yeah, Kiriko is not going to get away from that. Oh. Unfortunately, unable to get away, indeed. And knew it yet again. Alone. Wow. Where did that... He threw the lamp all the way over the wall and it landed perfectly on the fight. That was a frisbee toss and a half from Whirlpool. Holy cow. Where mm -hmm. even was he? I did he was not. on the other side of the wall, dude. That was a toss and a half. I mean, oh. it didn't end up being needed, but my goodness, if it had been, that would have been an amazing play. Now, Whirlpool pops this window up here. I don't really like the possession of it. Yeah, it's... Like, no one can really take advantage of it. It would have been better off in front of his sojourn if his sojourn was also on high ground. Unfortunately, they have to give up high ground now because Whirlpool was the only one up there. And Anzi and just... Cleans up the entire blue side backline. Yeah, That's Yuta a hit a great them. sleep on Whirlpool there, and so they were able to just continue cleaning up that fight, and Sig decided he wasn't going to get staggered and figured the bottom of the map was better than dying to the enemy team. No, fell off, mm. laugh. We laugh at people that fall in bits. Sorry. It is how it is. I'm sorry that, I'm sorry that your brain is too small to comprehend <laughs> the greatness of that stepping off. <laughs> Yeah, a small brain laugh. Small brain <laughs> together. All right, going inside the castle, all the way to the very bottom and down and around. We're going on an adventure here, jump? ladies and gentlemen. People Definitely a forget. rotation, if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Not one that I've ever done, because it's usually one of the worst ones to do. Well, as new it will that... uh, show taste to us here with that annihilation. Still dies with it up. He really needs to start blocking and stop playing outside of his supports LOS. Ramash is only unkillable in that if he has the support of his supports. Yeah. Oh, there either way, Anzi. Indeed, getting those kills there. Ridge with that copy gets the rush out. Unfortunately, now alts, even if they linger, get the lead once you exit the copy. Now Hyun coming back in with the visor. It was a 3v3, I don't mind it. Again, you probably could have saved it, but you don't need <laughs> to have used that. Alright, so we're looking at two mm. ults that are coming in on the red side. Well, we have Sig with a Gravitic Flux, and then we should get an overclock coming in soon on San Pri. Yep. Oh, but XLB goes game. down early, Jesus. That was a nice track from Hyun. Yep. And they only have like 20 more seconds. They're gonna lose both their supports before the fight's even started here. That was a great sleep followed with an anti nade by Yuta. Yuta has been popping off with these sleeps and anti nades. Honestly, one of the main reasons that their team has been able to do what they're doing. Another anti! <laughs> it is ungodly the amount of times he's gotten an anti off here. On. That'll be a win for Jim. That's 1-1, one, one, I believe. Yeah, that is 1-1. One one. They're ready with that. They just want to go straight to circuit. Okay. Well, that was a short-lived transition. <laughs> Indeed.
Back to the <laughs> game we go. No, not yet. They're still uh -oh. deciding defense or attack. But that was a good that was a good match so far. I mean, we got two really good teams playing out here, uh, taking each other to the third game to see who gets to go to the finals and play against uh, the crazy Quillers. Uh, somebody. That's assuming DM. if. That's assuming the other stuff doesn't happen. Oh. We're going live. Welcome to Circuit Royale. Initiating match. Red team here looking to roll out on the Bastion Sojourn, interestingly. I was neither team has chosen Widow here, considering how strong she is, actually. Red team taking an interesting rollout here. Knew it again. Just face taking all of that Bastion damage. Anzin peeking right into it as well. Does immediately here. Good Suzu to cleanse the anti nade. But knew it. I do not think you're going to be able to stay that far up, buddy. A Sampri gets a great real shot on your croc. And blue team just falls apart here. Unable to respond. Yeah, that first area is a... You know, if you can't hold it, it's not that big of a deal. Because this next area, as long as you can stop the cart from going too far, is actually a pretty decent area to hold. Because then you turn into this like high point you have up there the other part of the map that's going to give you great sight lines where there's not very much cover for the uh, attacking team so they need to move forward they need to stop this cart but keep somebody still up there so nobody's looking to move to touch the cart the thing is though, gets close no one on, there really isn't anyone on blue side that really takes advantage of high ground unfortunately so even if they had it there's not much they can really do with it if they had hit scan up there like a widowmaker it would have been amazing mm -hmm. but they don't, so they just all drop onto the low ground and just get the kills. Drop onto the red team's head. And Gooba stop him. Unfortunately, Anzian is off at no man's land, does in the middle of red side's back line. And despite the artillery coming in, no kills for that. And Hyun goes in with a nano blade, gets Ridge, gets Sanapri here. And should be able to, to clean up on the rest of the team. Mm hmm. That was a good ult able to get their space back. Start moving the cart back from the final point there. Or, sorry, the first point. Final destination of first point. Yeah, we'll go with that. They've got some ground now that they can work with, but they got no one playing on the high ground. You just trying to sit over here to, to try to be able to give support to the team as they're moving forward. Amazon is really forward. Here comes the tire. Doesn't get doesn't anybody get anything forward. those steps. You know though. Good cleanse from Whirlpool. Yep. Actually save Ridge from that Agrovetic Flux. And Anzian. Unfortunately being too aggro again. That's right. 
No, Red can just swing wide with that overclock, with that Bastion. And I would be surprised if they don't get a pill here. I... Actually, they really don't. Well then, that is something. And that's back to the neutral. Sanipri oh. going crazy, sliding in for that kill on Anzian. Yeah, but Hun just reflected the, the Bastion shots right back into his face. But unfortunately, blue side just cannot sustain long enough. Yeah. And red team will just eventually. Eventually, maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Here comes the this rush really to see if they can. Kiriko goes down. I was assuming you would have been made into Switch trees already, but. Oh, how did he stay alive for so long? I, I don't know. Oh Dude is gosh. still alive in the middle of their team. And he's gonna sign oh, them here. Flux. Huge one. Oh and but it finally dies. Oh you had stayed alive for guess. so long though. That was insane. Newt was literally in the middle of all of the team and just doesn't die. How does he do it? Indeed, how does that man do it? Now the cart slowly making its way up the hairpin, around the corner. While blue team pulling up top, around the corner. It's the right place to do it. It's a good rock onto Ridge. And Anzian opens up with a visor, along with the rush. Just runs them all down. Buddy front lines too hard. Ridge dies to Hyun following up on the net. Good anti. Also gets XOB mid res, but it's 3v2 here. Big stick. Can you get the finish? They do, yes. and Sanpri gets to finish off by Utah after getting slept and anti. And Kiriko, oh no, you TP'd in at the worst time. Unfortunate. That's another death onto her tally as well. Yep. And Hyun with a massive pop off, finishing off all the low players there. Comboing well with Utah's anti nades, who have been. Who are, those anti nades have just been so good for them here. So Bastion can survive being stuck by a pulse bomb? Because he, he was down to one HP after bomb, that one. The Pulse Bomb does 300 damage. Bastion has 300 HP, but also has armor. Which is why, if he's full HP and gets stuck, he will survive with 5 HP. Yeah, because armor does what is a mitigation damage. So it reduces it, it some of it. It reduces damage taken by 5 if the thing that you're taking damage from is less than 10 damage, I think, and if it's, I mean, if it's more than 10 damage, if it's less than 10 damage, then it just reduces the damage taken by half. It's something like that. Mm. I don't remember the exact numbers, but it's something along those lines. Oh, the Gravetic Flux is knocked out by uh, the rock thrown from Nico. So that is a wasted ult, but they're still able to pick up the Bastion. 13 seconds left on the clock. Pick Man, on Amazon. Will they even get a touch here, though? They might not. They've been taking this fight so far out that they're not, they're not even going to touch the cover. I don't think. Oh no, they will. Okay. They almost wow, lost that fight out by Portier. Yeah. But now they'll actually get to the hairpin. <laughs> <laughs> Would you look at that? We're using F1 callouts in an Overwatch Indeed. 2 tournament. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> no, not Indy Car. F1. <laughs> All right, looks like this fight is going to go a little bit longer, but by this point, blue team will have time to fully reorganize, and they're going to have... Oh, a nano justice! It is rough to survive. The Gravitic Flux actually able to get, actually able to get two of them. With the Flux. Gets Was one, able to get unable to fill off the Pharah, though. And this is a slow death for Red Side. Oh, oh maybe? The Bastion ult? Oh! And they C9. Oh no! My mouth went open wide for that one. Wow.
Right. I just really want to know what they, the thought process was behind the design of the highways out there on the other side of the harbor. Because it mm -hmm. is definitely just going around like it's a racetrack sir no it's more like a roller coaster i don't know if you see that out there but that is yeah the ones are way out there yeah it's a wild design i don't know if it's really a fit more efficient to get to your target but it'd probably be fun to drive definitely now there's a what was it the 52 junction here in san diego it connects the five with the 805 and keeps going across that thing albeit it is smooth but it's just rolls constantly. There's just like, you'd be going 88 and you just feel like you're in a bouncy chair or like a car with hydraulics. Just constantly <laughs> going up and down. Big anti nade. Big for Nico. Right? Yep. And both sides we're actually seeing, on the Sigma now. Yeah, we're seeing the, the way that it's played at high level, other than there's only one Widow in the game. Said we have a Genji. Yeah. Genji gets picked by the Widows. <laughs> Honestly, this is just a straight up comp lift in my opinion here. This ridge and center can just control this entire lane down the first point. And Anzian and Kyun can't do anything about it. Kyun will usually have to burn his dash if he wants to try and get on the back line. While uh, Anzian just gets outranged by both, both uh, Sojourn and Widowmaker. So as long as the uh, red side DPS plays safe. They shouldn't lose this until they have to get into an ult fight. Yeah, and even if they do get a pick on one of the DPSs that are up high in the back, they still have Mercy there to go and get a res to maybe turn that thing around. Mm -hmm. But this it's going to be hard to turn this corner. It's the same reason why I ended up losing to UCLA twice. My DPS just couldn't yeah. deal with their DPS on this map. <laughs> yeah. Because Circuit Royale... Once you're actually very. playing the meta for here, it's very DPS dependent. Yes. And blue team opting to try and switch to the Winston, try and get on that back line, but I argue that is not the right way to take this one. Because these are just such long lanes, it's so hard to get a dive on, and there's not many angles either. Yeah, because what happens when you, you dive? Really you... Need, like, you really need to run the same Widow Sojourn on your own if you really yeah. want to take this one. Because he's going to dive, he's going to land, you know, where the Sojourn, where the um, Widowmaker is standing. But also standing there is the Ana, ready with a sleep dart, ready with an anti. Oh, there's a pick there because they switched to the... Oh, there we go. This is it. They need mm -hmm. to capitalize on this. But the team is so far it's behind. Now Mercy, actually, to keep her alive. Jesus. John gets a diff onto Ridge twice now. And there's the sleep dart, the anti, and he hits the mm -hmm. wall. It will try to escape and is not able to get out. Need. They do Need move the cart chance. forward, but not enough. Yep. They really needed to get her around the corner there if they really wanted to get some push going properly. Yep. Hun uses his. Ridge ult actually to do switches it. off the Widowmaker now, goes on to the Cassidy. Maybe Which, he got diffed too sure. hard, I guess. Probably. And actually, Anzian off onto the far now. And Nico he is just off out. in no man's laugh. And yeah. unable to back up with her team. Well, Whirlpool gets a good anti to finish off that frog. I think Anazon maybe just booped that Sojourn out of a headshot. <laughs> maybe. Thirty seconds remaining. We're in last fight territory. Gravitic flux is coming. We should also see a primal rage. Justice at the wrong targets. You don't shoot justice at flying targets. Mhm. Mm and you don't do it from that high up either. Hyun actually gets Unable two headshots here though. Nuke but got the rest slept. of his team is dying around him, and unfortunately, yeah. they will not be able to really click enough heads for this one. As morals yep. keep coming on for red side. And more people keep dying on blue. That will be the end of this map and the end of this series.
of the game. All right. Okay, so let's see about getting the next teams in here. I got to go update this thing. So this was 2-1 to mid scores. So it's now the Quillers versus Soaking Demon. So we need to invite now a representative from Quillers, which was... Uh, who was that? X Cavalier or something like that, if I remember correctly. Oh, everybody left this uh, this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> fortunately, back in here. All right. Uh... Was it X Cavalier? I can't remember anymore. Like everybody's got different names that they have in Discord than they have um, in game. Yeah, ex Cavalier. Let me see. Oh, they're already in the game. Well, there you go. We are in the finals now. Final match, no bracket reset. Whoever wins this one wins it all. This one is a best of five. So the first team to three wins, which means that we may actually see a push map, depending on if we get two or two uh, maps per team. So we'll see how that goes. I know some people aren't the biggest fans of push, but I think push is actually a decent game mode. I don't think it's terrible. I think it's a lot better than 2CP as a minimum. <laughs> Koth, hybrid, escort, push, Koth. Yep. You <laughs> see? Right, yes, it is then. Yep. Both sides have agreed. Yep. Here we go. Final match. Luke, flip us over. Luke is dead. All right, he's alive now. Meanwhile, let me crack open a uh, can of Sprite. It's not called Sprite anymore. It's called like Starry or some crap like that. Huh? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, yeah, they like changed it. There's no longer. It's one of the ones. There's, oh, Sierra Mist is now Starry. I'm sorry. Uh, Dumbass. The, whatever, man. Like, I, it is one of the traditional things. Like, how am I ever going to call? Like, I'm going to ask for Sierra Mist. It'll be like, sorry, bro. I have Starry. Like, is that fine? I'm like, ah, what is this? It's the same thing. Is that a, is that a ball? There's no way they actually say ball. I mean, looking at the comp they're running, it is suited to run that. And my team has scrimmed with the ball here before. But no, they'll go into the Winston and they'll play that Lucia Reaper. Round one, capture the objective. 
Nope, Kiri Lucio. Just running out on meta minus the sojourn. Playing height. Yep. You know, red team going in for that. Oh, the move oh, from no, no, <laughs> That was getting beautiful. a little too aggressive there. Point is about to unlock. So far, the only thing that's been removed is a uh, one tank. Red is going to pick this one up easily. Blue finally moves in. Reaper goes down to Ridge. So I'm not impressed with Red's position here. I know like they got they've the been winning. Out. They should have pushed out on it, but they don't. They decide to just turtle on point. At this point, they have nothing they can do but that, which. Arguably decent because they blue side is the one on Winston and they can melt him easier B comes out from red but Blue no smartly backs off but they don't it. yeah, they, they don't push out while they have beat here comes the blade then Cannon gets to and pre They rot gets XOB and, and we might XOB. see a flip here <clears throat> There goes whirlpool Nico and Ridge just sawing for time in the ice block. Eventually yep. goes down to Hello World's fists. That'll be a flip for Lou. Still 51%. That's a solid first point held. We'll see how well Blue can come back and take this point from them. Or sorry, Red can come back and take the point from Blue. Colors are hard, you know? Interesting strategy from blue just sitting waiting for them to push out Take the middle building where the what is that a medium is or a small? I don't remember what you call those things Primal rage comes out Good disruption Exo goes killing down XOB. B comes out on blue side Reaper roll. Didn't need the bead reaper all tries to turn it doesn't get anything for it Yep. And it's just more resources wasted for red. That's another fight we want for Lou. So far they got Rush in their own uh, Death Blossom, but Ridge also has his uh, the Icicle Blizzard Storm, and then we have Terror Surge and another Rush coming in for red, who are, looks like they're just going to go for a point. And amazing death blossom One twenty percent to go ready's really up against it here blue side yep. only have the blade to work with while red have the beat counter and the terror surge to try and do something with but they, they really need, need to, to get go going now point, get on point racer okay, gets the point touch XLB burns Kuzu early, unfortunately. Where's B? B comes out to counter the blade. Now the Terror Surge should come out on point soon. Great boot Somebody there, goes. actually. That's yep. Shadow. Now the Terror Surge comes in on point. Suzid keeps everyone alive. And now the next ult coming up is XCAS Primal. All he tries to look for something to do here. He's just doing nothing but beating up on the winds. The Orisa. Well, XOB goes down to near yet. And it's just become so scrappy and blue side. Just able to stay alive because they're supposed to stay alive. And get the clean up here. First point goes to blue. All right, here we go. Comp staying basically the same. Mirrored each other. Arisa is out. 
We have two monkeys now. San Pri, though, is, switches to Tracer. Monkey comes in. No oh, other well, bubble from Nico. Monkey goes up. He's low. He's low. They might get him. He's one shot. And the first one to go down then is cannon shot. And we got three, four down on blue. Five down. On five blue. down. Team And red kill. team finally get their first team kill on blue. No one close to any ults yet, so this fight should go and should play out like a neutral. Mhm. Mm You're not just being a pain in Nico's side there. Just pumping him full of damage, and Nico goes down early. Just doesn't look at his health bar and doesn't kite out. Yeah, needs to know. I mean, Lucio is not going to be able to save you, and here comes the kite back to spawn. Yep. Point's going to flip. Lose your tank. It's so much harder to keep the fight going now. Yep. Nico, yet again, jumping in deep here. Yeah. Both one goes in, but doesn't find anyone. They do get Nehru, so now it's a 4v5. Mm -hmm. Beat comes out from he red. over the top for old pool. I don't like the usage. I really wish they'd stop using the beat like that. It's all right there. Because you really need that to counter out the Kiriko ult. We're not going to talk about what just Excuse happened me. to Nico. <laughs> just went for a leap to try to get over to where the Kiriko oh. was. And, um, yeah, don't worry about it. He's just going for a skinny dip down the cliff. Uh, yeah, you know, we all sometimes need to cool off. Yep. Oh, is this a bush play? Kinda. But it, we'll see if they'll get anything done with it. No one's set up for it. No. Ridge. Well, Sounds out Shadow to get killed, so it does something. But I no one was set up for it, so Yeah, if they had delayed them there, then it would have been okay, but oh here comes the blade. Yeah. Two oh she Ajaxes the rush. Blade goes yeah, down gets unfortunate. There's a beat that comes out as well, which I don't think was needed, but it's in use. I think it was used in response to the Kiriko rush, which ultimately didn't come out anyways, but it doesn't really matter all that much. That's three ults on the, used on the side of blue, two ults on the used on the side of red. Now it's just the uh, dueling monkeys and a sticky bomb for Santa Pri. Yeah, we'll see two primal rages. Oh, wow, there's two picks on blue side. Pulse bomb gets the Genji though. I don't think I have a chance to turn this around. They're down their tank and their main support. Yeah. Well, main support, flex support. Doesn't really matter what you call it at this point. A lot of yeah, people Lucio consider er, Lucio as the main support. While Kiriko as the flex support. Because Kiriko brings a lot more utility. Apparently. You know, I, I can see the argument for it. But like, it feels weird to me. Yeah, I would still call Kiriko the main support for reasons being of that she heals way better for a single target yeah. at least, um, as well as that rush is so massive. Mm -hmm. Like I, I don't, I don't think you could say like beat is important, but rush is even more. Yep. But on the other hand, Kiriko with that TP, with that Suzu, and with that rush just has so much utility to share with the team. Man, Beat was able to hit most of the team and just didn't pick up San Pri, although we're fighting now here on yeah. point. We're getting one dead on blue. Down to just Lucio heals, but Exo goes down as Both well. Lose here comes... And blue actually has their beats I mean now. And yep. this is looking rough for red side. They're not able to sustain through this. As Curry shot and shot actually. It comes back in with the uh with the blade, finishes everyone off. Yep. First map goes to blue. Right. 
You want to change their team names? Uh, the team on the left should be Crazy Quillers, and the team on the right should be Soaking Semen. We'll see what the pick comes out to be. Did Bog just give out a gifted sub to Butter Cutterer? Well, thank you very much, Bog. All right, let's see here. So it looks like Whirlpool and Sanaka are going to switch roles. Looks like Whirlpool is going to be playing DPS this time instead of playing as support. Oh, King's Row instead. And Sanaka will, or, which is a Santa Pre in game, will switch to playing as support. Whoa, it's I'm gonna like we're a pro sport. We're doing the yeah. lineup switches already. Oh, yeah. Yeah, somewhat, but we don't exactly have orders here either. Like we don't order anyone depending on what their role is, which is what you normally do. But this ain't all that serious. We just toss them in. We just want to go for the attack first. Interesting. All right, back just in time, huh? Mm-hmm. It's a run out of a monster here. Definitely an interesting one. As Nico gets yep. so low early, but that goal comes in and takes out Excav. Yep, doing the same trick that they've been doing with that uh, uh, May the whole day, and it works great. Teams mm -hmm. just haven't really been able to figure out how to deal with when they get mm -hmm. isolated from their team. It is very effective against someone like Ramatra who doesn't have a mobility ability. But Xcav notices that deficiency and immediately swaps over to the D.Va of all characters. I probably would have went Winston, but D.Va is arguably a good pick as well, considering they're also running the Reaper on the side of blue. Damn, that wall is just giving every team that they go up against so many problems. Yeah. 
They just, just don't know how to do it. And just pinned against it. Yeah, because you get the... Uh, there's extra damage from the sphere when you get pinned against a wall, if I remember correctly, right? There is. Or is it just a stun damage? It's, uh, it's 50 on hitting someone, and then another 50 for getting them into a wall, I believe. So it can be a total of 100 damage with a decent amount of uh, stun as well. Huge Another anti. massive anti, but a really big cleanse coming in on top of it as well. Yep. And then an amazing Rich. mail. Indeed. Wow. They've... But they did have to burn both Kiriko ult and Blizzard. And on the other side, the Quillers have all their ults coming up online here. Yeah, we'll definitely see Nano Blade come out in this fight. Definitely. That should be the first thing that's happening here. Actually, well, they force up to force rush. beat first and then rush into it instead. B gets two and Jeez, then. the amount of ults being popped here. Die, die, die. And Quills they still lost every... the fucking fight. Oh no, they yeah, won the Quills fight. Have used... No, Quillers lost the fight. They they used three ults there and they still lost it. That Admittedly, the other side, the Seaman also did use three ults with the beat, the blossom, and the terror surge. It was a three for three matchup, but damn. Well, they should have yeah. won that fight with how many ults they and now, now there's nano blade, or nano, but no blade, so it's like, do you just. It's gonna be Beyblade this time instead. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Reaper's oh. in. Nano blossoms. There's the Beyblade combo. And there's the kills coming in for the Quillers. Anyone else? Team kill. See here, they're electing to hold the bookstore corner. I don't really want to move too far up. They're worried about being too close. Bookstore, library, a couple call outs for that place. Uh, it says bookshop on it, so that's where I call it. <laughs> Everyone else just calls it library. Well, they better well, learn how to read. <laughs> and a big blizzard comes in and a big Suzu on top of it. But Kenshot still gets frozen, still gets killed, near yet. Actually gets the kill on Nico. It goes down for it. Both sides use Rush to try and keep this fight going. But it's only the supports for blue side. While red side have spawn advantage and their Zarya still up. Just yep. melting with that high power energy beam. And so eventually red side come out on top of that. And now they it also have a left on Surge here. Yeah. Graviton Surge with a one Genji dash right through the hole of him is just so disgusting. I mean, the Genji dash on his own only has 50, but the amount of resets that he can get from doing so... Dude, he'll crazy. get a ton of ult charge. And there it goes. Graviton oh. gets four. They opt to blade into it for the blender. But the beat comes out on top. And Cannon is just not able to find any kills with that, despite getting so many people low there. And eventually, Whirlpool tried to do the hero, gets killed mid alt. And the Quillers come out with another fight win in there. So glad to be 559. Zako Tun, welcome to the Dragoons. Interesting, switch to the Ash. Here like comes the Blizzard, like and they drop the beat. a good place to get a lot of fire from. Ash is constantly occupied by that Genji. Their entire front line, meanwhile, is dying because they're lacking that front line damage. Yep. And now Red 
team. If they get three on, it'll be hard for Blue to even get a touch here, actually. Ridge needs to start going now if he wants to get a touch in. But well, he's going to get boot back and just unfortunately unable. Oh, Oracle actually races. gets in on top of him. But it doesn't matter anyway since everyone else is already dead. It's a red team. Cats it with a minute 41 remaining. It's a really strong time bank here. Shadow again sitting at the spawn doors. It's a very favorite pastime of him, I suppose. Five, four, three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. So rolling out with the widow from spawn. Let's see if she can get any shots off here. Able to actually get any picks there, so it's just back to the front line fight here. Next, you have on the Ramatra, Nico on the Orissa. Good wall, but it was in behind their entire team, so it doesn't really have much effect. But Xcav taken solo and picked off immediately. Nico running straight at the enemy team, his back line. Ridge is melting through everyone as well. There goes a javelin pick as well, and that's a full Ridge gets team three. wipe. And that is indeed an effective team wipe. Okay. Not one that will get you the bell, but it is in effect a team wipe, and they get this point. Now they can get the cart rolling on to second. Zaka, we're actually on the very final match, but there will be more tournaments in the future that you can be participate in. But thanks for the interest. Anyways, Ridge was a little bit too far forward. Mm -hmm. Well, Whirlpool does have the overclock here. Let me see if he opts to use it or not here. But with going down this many players, I don't think he will use it. Now, red side. Blue side has five ults. Red side will also have five ults. Don't be surprised if you see each and every single team popping all their alts here. <laughs> but the well, one to look out for, in my opinion, Xcav without Annihilation. Yeah. I don't know, man. If he it's drops the Annihilation a... and if he just gets stuck in a blizzard, then that's that. True. They can walk away from the beat, it. Now. There is the Suzu. He has a lot of utility to try and keep him alive. They need to we'll walk see up what on happens. This. Both sides should open up with Rush. Actually, oh. no. They opt to open with Blizzard. Suzu comes in. Overclock comes in. Alts on every single side. Three already used on blue. Four used for red. Oh, gosh. Four used for red. Yeah. You that know, is a total... They that is a total of seven alts popped that fight, my dear friends. They had the ability to get the annihilation to go away, but they didn't back up. They should chose to to take the fight. And I feel like if they had let that died off, it would have been a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Maybe different because that is just a lot of just free, you know, 
damage yeah. on your whole team. They had invested the uh, Kirk ult as well, though. And they were trying to force too much value out of it. And XCAV running in on the Ramatra there. In the Nemesis form, does a lot of damage, more than you'd think. And Blue Side unable to respect that tempo. And just falls victim to it. Had a really strong opening, but uh, struggling on this second part of the, or second phase. Oh, he gets stuck again. Wall. There he goes. Next, yeah, just gets focused down. I'm near yet. An amazing death blossom. He kills both of the supports for blue side and turns that fight around. Yep. Despite the pick on the tank, you can't do anything if you don't have any heals from your supports. And that's another fight win for red. Moira switch. Whirlpool. Oh, well, getting a good pick onto Whirlpool there. Blue can't even start this fight while they're down one. That's in essence another team fight win, another 20 seconds off the clock. Yep, but we're looking at another, you know, four ults on each side. This is going to be another yep. massive one. Here comes Blade. Flush Annihilation comes in for red. Beats on both sides. And, and there's uh, Blade. Four ults for red, three ults for blue, another seven ults used this fight, my good friends. And then Annihilation just keeps going and going. Whirlpool, Whirlpool gets two there with the Death Blossom, but I don't think he's going to have the mechanics to clutch this, though. He's up against the Genji know, and his... Lucio. His own Lucio also came back, and now Zamora's coming back, and now they should be able to win this. There goes the Lucio. Shadow falls, and now Cannon Shot falls. Yeah, I think the difference here is that the Ramatra is just so oppressive just over time because of his ult there that even with mm -hmm. them playing perfectly with their ults, they're just not going to be able to stop him because they're just taking constant damage from the Nemesis uh, or the mm -hmm. whatever. Suffer. Suffer as I have. Annihilation. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's, it's called. It's a lot of damage. Yep. Annihilate it does. Uh, Moira goes down. In my opinion, you know what would be an interesting rework for Annihilation? That you do a flat 100 damage, but depending on how many people are in it, it gets divided upon him. Yeah. And Genji is able to take out Shadow, and this is yeah. probably the yeah, end of the match over. right here. Indeed. A 3 0 victory. All right, and the final one would be Escort. We already played an Escort. We played a Koth. We played an Escort. We played a Hybrid. That's three. That's the end of the series. Are you sure? Because yes, it we goes... played Circuit. I think. Did we? But no, Circuit was the was previous game. Else. It's yeah, a previous game. Previous. The next one is Escort. Yeah, yeah. okay. My, my brain dump. Don't worry about it. I forgot about something in my tournament as well, so.
So escort maps, we have Dorado, Route 66. Turkey, uh, Havana, Junk, Ancient Bali, and Gibraltar. Yep. On top of the ones you mentioned already, which was Dorado and 66. Hmm. It would be interesting to see Shit. that. Oh, wait. We lost somebody. Oops. That's an accident. Did you actually kick somebody? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, mm. How the fuck did I change that around? Bali. There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> What is this cart delivering? Like food and stuff? I think it is food for the Omnic Monastery, which is funny because it's like. They don't what? necessarily need food. Yeah. Yeah. Should just be normal supplies if from anything. It'll spawn in once the match starts. Boop. Blue is rolling out on the uh, normal monkey comp here. <coughs> well, the semen going for what I'd argue is the better comp for this map, the Sigma double head scan. But unfortunately, they're not taking off angles to really make this comp work. Yeah, they're sort of getting... You need to take multiple angles if you really want to make this work. Get them in the crossfire. But without doing that, it's just... They just let the cart roll by. Now, it's red on the defense. And blue on the offense now. Shadow goes down. Get pick up the shadow. And Senepri gets traded out for the, their troubles. Sort of, they just need to get a reset. They're so out of position. Dude. Mercy going out to get a little bit of extra damage. Although Winston says, comes to say hello. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Excellent pull. dodge by Smiley the Ash. Going through that. <laughs> It's really going through the window there. It's not one that a lot of people actually know is there, surprisingly. 
Yeah, I've seen the window used for people to come and shoot through, but I've never really seen somebody jump back up through the window like that. Oh, no, Ridge. Oh, still alive. He's got a mercy pocket with him. And there's Blade. Beat. Red side. The binds are shut down. Oh, that's there. Again, four ults, seven ults totally used again in that fight. Three Lucky for blue, number. four for red. Honestly. Seems to be the game of sevens here. Bobo comes in for the blue side, he's zoning the rest of the red back, but Nerya gets into the back line, gets two with the Death Blossom, um, and gives red a massive numbers advantage here. And red just keeps pushing on the pressure, keeps getting the kills, and Nico's the last one left alive, stalling on cart. will eventually be going down. Red team eventually capping second. Blue team has switched over to the bash and trying to melt that monkey faster. But if that actually happened or not, was yet to be seen as XF has been able to jump out. Now they're coming back in with the beat re-engage. The Valkyrie comes out to respond and now the, uh, the gravity flux has been used. Try and kill the cannon shot, but no. Kills have gotten out from that. Meanwhile, you know, XCAV just eating those bullets for breakfast. Just gets made into Eminstral as he just Gets riddled with bullets by that bastion. Nyrit tries to run away, but Big gets chased word. down by that Moira. That Next Reddit one, DPS yeah. Moira just chasing <laughs> me down. Look, sometimes you gotta do it, man. Your what attack you do do? is pretty long range, surprisingly. And your skill orbs, always exciting. Mm -hmm. It is, I believe, 10 meters. Or 15. But yet again... Visor used, gets killed by the blade, but the blade gets killed, and the rush is also used on the red side. And despite all that, I really would have liked... Eh, they didn't have any more to respond with either way. The blue, unfortunately, will have to back up here, as it's a lost fight. Exob ends up getting staggered here, unable to escape. Any more Whirlpool, I'm assuming he's going to be using the salt and swashing off. Now, with these staggers constantly coming in, they're just trickling onto point. Not gonna have a proper touch for this last one. Oh. Except can't even get the touch in. We're now asking each other what we're going to eat for dinner in chat. I do that occasionally as well in games. <laughs> Just pick That's for fun. me. High submissively. Oh, God. Luke, of course, with the peanut butter sandwich. The classic. Peanut butter jelly time. No. 
Sorry. You said walking on the ball here, and I like the Widow pick. Despite they saying that they were going to meme here, that Widow is actually a very strong pick on this map. Torb eventually on the making his way out of spawn. Indeed. But late. His short stubby lugs can't keep him up with the rest of the team. But Sanapri on the brig, that is an interesting pick to say the least. Especially when the rest of the team doesn't really want to be brawling. But Whirlpool oh, gets the his counterpart in the next guy. <laughs> well, what is Whirlpool? Why are you in a Kefri spot, Whirlpool? <laughs> Whirlpool is in a freaking Kefri spot. The hell? I like how it's called Kefri because of just all the weird shit that he does with Widow. Yep. He has a couple of those spots around it in every single map. There's that one that Whirlpool just showed us. There's one on top of the satellite this year on the corner that the card is on. There's so many places. Girls, I'm a if only Lucio had a long range sniper. Cannon shot just getting three fun? here now. Might get four with X sub and the fifth on Nika. There's a team kill in effect. The red side. We have now the blade, the rush, and the beat coming up online. Well, blue team, unfortunately, just popped their coalescence, so they will not have any ults. They might get rush, Ellie, and mines throughout the middle of it, but other than those two. I don't think anything's really going to be coming. And Sanapri looking to get that rally up, but she's going really deep to try and get it. And Cannon Shot just turns around, goes for the Moira, and gets the Brig. And that should be a team fight one. The red. Oh. This is a load of molten metal over and gets cannon shot there. As Nico also pod drives onto the back line, ends up getting shadow. And you're oh. trying to do it, but doesn't is not able to get the kill as a whirlpool showing us the other Kefri spot that it existed on top of the satellite dish that I mentioned. Unfortunately, whirlpool gonna get beat up by Winston. Can't get to the mega in time. Actually, I'm looking to find another one on Santa Pre, but is not able to get the kill there. As the rally comes out, they should be able to stay through this fight and win this fight and cap the point. But Shadow but comes in with a beat, beat. So try and look for the recontest. And Rich actually goes down, and now Red Team actually have five here. And it looks like they will actually turn this one around. And when we thought Blue was about to cap with that rally invested, Red turns it all the way around and sends him right back into the spawn room. Next so, oddly enough, uses the coalescence here, which I would have rather saved that for a recontest. You had the time. But instead, in a panic, I guess, they just ended up pressing it, thinking that they could win that fight. Now, I don't think anyone's going to be able to touch in time either. Ball will. Actually, indeed, Ball just will <laughs> roll right in through. I actually gets near out here, but the rest of his team is dying around. Curry Shot pulls out the blade. Actually, is in danger of dying to the mines, but eventually gets the kills, and it's just Whirlpool and Nico left as they both stall out for the last few seconds remaining in this series. God, Whirlpool stalling is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Got my hammer kill, I'm happy. Hell yeah. There's it. And there you have it. Yep. Zero. You know, I like how when Lucio's got the zombie one or whatever, his hand is still like moving to a beat a little bit. It's like vibrating. <laughs> yep. Here's the grand trophy. It is golden. 
And it's a trophy. It's golden and it's a trophy. Wow. That yep. was beautiful. That's a thing. To the live chat reaction we go. Entertainment. That was entertaining, right? It was a match. Yep. And there's mm -hmm. a team shot and team fired bullets and, it, and so some people swung hammers. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, I am tired. It has been a long stream here. We started this at like 12 o'clock. We're over six and a half hours. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Uh, that's just technical <laughs> difficulties and everything else just gets wrapped up. But that there is it. <sighs> what a wild trip. I wish I did better myself in the tournament. <laughs> yeah, rip. I told you. I told you to come to me for coaching, but you never did. Yeah, we were, you know, busy or whatever else. <laughs> Just busy. Lazy or something or whatever <laughs> it happened to be. Uh, definitely need to spend more time learning how to be better Overwatch mm -hmm. players. Especially since I had to play DPS, which is not something that I normally play. With the hammer kill at the end. Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. Interview? No. No interview. No interviews. No. Oh. Okay, let's go look at this. There's a lot of conversation that's been going on with in the background here. Yep. And here's a shiny trophy to look at. Oh, I... Oops, that's not... Okay. There. The grand trophy. Here it is. It's flying. Wait. Let's make it sit on the desk with us. <laughs> uh, Anyways, so in the back half of all of this, uh, that it's kind of been going on in the behind the scenes, is that we've had some information that's slowly trickled and turned out to us, which it's always unfortunate to hear about, but because we do these things for fun and we do these things where we do the our trust of people that are part of the community and stuff like that. And the information that's come out is basically that the crazy quillers team, well, really isn't like in any of the discords for any of the Niji Sanji discords. They also lied on their applications for who they were playing with and their ranks. Uh, so that way that they could get lower ranks um, and fit within the rank limit of this team. I don't know if you're watching this, but they, Obviously, a much better team than what you know they say they are. Just you know, guys that are one Masters player, one one Diamond who said he was plat when he first applied, and then uh, a silver and some golds. There's no way teams play like that. And so I hope that they had fun coming and you know beating up on teams that were you know playing for fun and having you know submitting fairly on who they are. So I hope you guys had a great night. But uh, that honestly sucks. And so we're disqualifying you guys from the tournament and you guys can say goodbye to being in the, this uh, server as well. So really don't appreciate that. We're trying to do these things for fun. So everybody has a good time. And when you come in and you beat up on guys that you're clearly not supposed to be playing, it puts a huge damper on everyone else's fun. So I'm glad that you guys had a fun Saturday. I'll see you guys, you know, hopefully never again. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to give this thing actually to soaking semen as the guys who win this uh tournament so and everybody like that, that participated today <laughs> i appreciate you guys coming out we all have we did have some fun even if it was kind of dampered by this this information and uh, uh, people have questions like we definitely could go and prove all of this we have the screenshots but gg to everybody <laughs> thank you for playing uh I wish we could have had a, a little bit more fair of a tournament, but Soaking Seaman is the one that's going to go with the Champions Hall. Those guys won. Those guys put themselves into... Well, well, put themselves up against these guys at the highest level and still were able to eke out some little wins here and there. And just like that, yeah, the seems... trophy is anxious to fly away to the Soaking Sailors. Yep, definitely the Sailors. Ooh, here it goes to... Or pool here. It's right beside your name. Yeah, there you go. We'll we'll make sure to send you the PNG. 
you could you could print it out <laughs> yeah but yeah i i hope it doesn't actually you know that this is an organization thing that we could deal with it's just we operate a lot when doing these tournaments uh with trust uh trust that the people that are going to say that who they say they are is who they are and that, that they're going to you know not go and hide the fact that they're a higher level or whatever else that it is it's just it's unfortunate um but i think it's uh at this point now we've had it happen enough times where people have lied and cheated and whatever else to to our tournaments that we just no longer can do that we we're gonna clamp down we're gonna get a lot better with our organization and find when people are you know trying to to fool us <laughs> even though it's a fun event you know right we're supposed to get together and all have fun um we're gonna come out and we're gonna start checking actually ranks we're gonna start checking who these people are making sure that they're actually members of the niji sanji community um as well as just you know who they say they are that they're actually not somebody mm -hmm. that's gonna come and smurf a tournament because we have people in the community here that are really good players like mine sitting beside me is a yep. you know top 500 support um, and Ooh. he would have loved to have played in this tournament, but he stepped uh, back. Yeah. <laughs> Step back to let other people have fun. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's rough. You had fun watching? Oh, thank you, dog fan. I appreciate it. You know, it was still a fun time here with us. There was a little bit of a dampers, but enjoyable overall. Some lessons to be learned for the next time. And we're definitely going to take that to heart. We're not going to let this happen again because we're about having fun. There's no prizes here. There's nothing, but hey, there's still a some trophy people. PNG. Well, yeah, there is a trophy PNG, PNG right? and just the ego. <laughs> or your own ego. That's all this is. Yeah, it was really fun. Your first trophy was good. Well, that's awesome because we're definitely gonna do more. We have an Apex one that we're looking to host again, uh, and I actually really want to do two of them. Um, <laughs> I want to do two of them because I want to do one that actually picks up like a C region because we have so many people that are from the C region that just aren't able to enter these things because time zones and all that jazz. So <sighs> you guys still had fun. Well, thank you, Sonaka. You guys are the winners. You're the real champions of today, and we'll make sure you go up in the champions hall. All right. Is there anything else that anybody would like to say before we wrap this one all up for today? This dragoon with a gun is so cute, goddamn. It is. <laughs> it's very cute. And it's approaching uh, the trophy, watch out. It might just seal it. Yeah, that was done by mm -hmm. Lost underscore YTH uh, on Twitter. The dragoon's on top, yeah. Thank, God bless thank them. You. Thank you guys for your support and all that and joining up and making today possible. Like, honestly, these things don't happen just out of the blue. There's a lot of people that work on these things. So, uh, and it's also you guys in the tournament that come out and play. Like, it, it, it wouldn't exist if this community wasn't here. And I'm really grateful to be a part of it. So mm -hmm. we're going to keep doing what we're doing. And I'm really proud of how you guys did today. I'm proud of everybody for mm -hmm. the work they did. Proud of bits <laughs> and... Uh, everybody that was working in the background, Peanut are doing comms as well. Really proud of our whole staff team that we have here with Luke and mine. And we also had Arteezy working in the background too. And Renee was working in the background. So I appreciate all you guys. I really, really, really want to keep doing this. And that's my final message. I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, end stream. Yeah. yeah. And anybody wants a PB and J sandwich, you know where to go. Luke Hell makes them. Yeah. Dude. I'm about to send <laughs> right. a screenshot. Well, not screenshot, the photo. So uh, here, here is to another tournament with peanut butter sandwiches. Goodbye. Bye, guys. Adios.